I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or Cal for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished designer secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas Cal fun. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford, also known as Sew Girl. I'm based in Worthing on the south coast of England and I work in my lovely garden studio, which is where I am right now. So uh, my sewing journey began as a child. Uh, my mother used to surround the house with Laura Ashley fabrics and wallpapers and I used to patch together some of the scraps and uh, make little quilts for myself and uh, dolls clothes and things like that. So one of my top tips in dressmaking would be to definitely make a toile before you start. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're using expensive fabric, it's a good idea to make, some, make the garment in a sheet or a cheap fabric, just so that you're absolutely sure of the fit. An interesting fact about me is that I used to be a knitwear designer back in the 80s. And once I made a jumper for the singer Sade, which was really exciting. Uh, I worked in Paris for six years and when I came back I fell back in love with fabric again and I started working with magazines and books and writing projects for them and that led eventually on to me designing my own collection of dressmaking patterns. Uh, my philosophy is that I love comfortable clothing every day, things that are easy to make, easy to wear. I like modelling my clothes myself and I wear pretty much everything that I design. So I always think that if I feel good in them, then other people will. I've been working for Sewing Street since it's been, since, almost since it began and I love it there. We're like one big family and I'm on the show about every two, mo two months and so I look forward to seeing you on the next show soon. Bye. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Jan, wake up. Jan, I've got loads to do, so I can't spend ages waking you up this morning. How are you all? How have you been? Today's early crack pack show. Such a pack show today, I can't even tell you. Early bird, early bird. Right, here we go, straight on with it, because we haven't got time to mess around today. Assorted sewing pins pack, 6 99 but you know it's not going to be 6 99 don't you? You know it, because it's the early bird, we're going to crash the price. Shall I open it? No, don't open it, they said. They said, do not open it, whatever you do. Whatever you do, don't open it. Look, you've got butterfly pins. You've got flat-headed pins. Crash in. Aren't they lovely? Cute, aren't they? Nice little Christmas present, I'm thinking. Stocking filler, $4.99. Oh, Secret Santa. Most Secret Santas are under a five, aren't they? Secret Santa, $4.99. Keep going through, keep going through, quick as you can. At four ninety nine, it's going to be a rush today. We've got so much to fill in, so much to fit in. I mean, oh now, multiple buying, multiple buying. There's approximately two hundred and forty pins here. Good luck if you can get it open. Isn't it funny? I watched a show the other day. Oh no, there you go, there you go. So you've got your flat-headed pins. You've got your butterfly pins. You've, now, don't iron over these. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, 
You didn't hear that, but that was a big old sneeze, that one. Do you know what? I was just saying, I haven't been sniffly or coffee for the last three days. Walked in here, I can't stop sniffly now. Must be filthy. I brought an air freshener for the boys' toilet. Brought more bleach in. I know. Four ninety pounds and 99 pence. Galeni says good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. Cousin Susan says good morning. Donna says good morning. Claire says good morning. Patricia says good morning, Job. Love you from Blackpool. I really need to come to Blackpool again soon. Are the illuminations on yet? Oh, there you go. There's a still. Say it rather than me. Oh, hang on. She's just cropping it. Four ninety-nine. Uh, Cat's mum went to Blackpool to watch Funny Girls, thinking it was the Barbara Streisand film, but no, it was uh, Funny Girls. It's a drag show. Anyway, keep going through. Uh, lots of you there. Lots of you there. Two hundred and forty pins for four ninety-nine. Oh, Jan's up. Jan's up. That's good. Linda says good morning. Doreen says good morning. How are you all? How are you all? Oh, I do apologise, but I mentioned both me and Fiona. <laughs> Sniffling away, yeah. Doreen, you have said good morning, Doreen. 4 99 There what? Good morning, says Bernie. At 4 99 keep going through. Lots and lots of you in for these. Multi buying. At 4 99 you must check out your basket. Remember that's your PP done for the day then once you've checked out. Jill says good morning from Tewkesbury. Low says on her in a motorhome on the way to Oktoberfest. Jeff's in his laid hosens already. I'm in a funny place again, aren't I? This some I think somebody keeps moving this camera. Yeah, I'm alright now. I'm alright now. Right, I've got to move on because I've got something else to show you. I've got something else to show you, right? Look at this, look at this, look at this. If you're wondering what this quilt is behind me. We're not demoing it. It's coming up in the next hour, though. Look, 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 look. Now, last time we had a William Morris quilt. Uh, Rebecca Reed had it on. Completely and utterly sold out in minutes, right? Isn't it gorgeous? Look at the picture of it. It's got, uh, it's got all sorts in there. It's got Strawberry Thief. It's got the lovely vine. It's got flowers. It's got snakes. Said, bring the graphics in. Bring the graphics in because I don't know how much it is. £149.99. It's £149.99. You get 19 printed fabrics, over six metres of fabric. And the finished quilt size is 132 by 161 centimetres. Split pay, split pay, split pay. At three payments of £49.99. Now it's very, very simple. What you do, I'll just show you on here. You literally show, sew your squares, your triangles together and you sew them together that way. It's so easy to do. It's brilliant. We'll look more at that in the next hour because obviously I don't want to take up any of Fiona's time. Uh, if you want it, grab it now. I thought I'd just give you a quick preview of it. Give you a quick preview of it. Right, that's nine o'clock. That's coming up at nine o'clock. Right, let's have a look at Now, I've got a lot to do while we're reading this menu. Let's have a look at today's menu. Right, here we go. So the menu starts here, right, with the So Girl Maisie Top and Tunic with Fiona Hesford. Uh, have a look at the picture. L oh, Oh, I say, that's their nice pictures, aren't they? We obviously haven't taken those. Fiona's obviously taken those. Uh, oh, look, there she is on the beach. Very playful. I don't think she's got a visible panty line on there either. She's got a bikini on underneath. Um, where's, the where's the table cleaner? Oh, there it is. Uh, so that's the first hour. Then uh, second hour. Uh, oh, now, I need to warn you, the first hour might go over a little bit because obviously I've taken some of Fiona's time up. If you looked at the original uh, menu for today, it wasn't on until nine, but it's all changed now, you see. So we might go to about five past nine or ten past nine on that hour just to get everything in. Then there was something else actually to do. Fabrics and pre-cuts coming up after that. Right, I'm done. I'm done on the head. Uh, we've got some... Uh, uh, we're going to do the William Morris quilt, but also... Fiona, you can come in now. It's all nice and clean for you. Uh, we've also got some uh, Tula pink, black and white, and we've got, and what? From the line work range, and we've also got, right, now, I've got to tell you, oh wait, this is really awkward, right? I haven't got a screen here and it's really annoying because I can't see myself at all. Where's Elliot? Why hasn't he fixed this? Have you rung him? Oh, honestly, I, I can't see you, you see. So I'm looking at a great big blank screen. And, I, and if I want to see myself, I've got to turn like that. Um, it's thrown me completely. What was I saying? Uh, you know the scrap bags, right? The Moda scrap bags, eight ounces worth of uh, fabric, right? Uh, 
Uh, I've got less now than I sold on Sunday. So if you want that, that's I'll, t I'll tell you about that when I go through the uh, through the menu in a second. Uh, right, what else we've got? Ursula coating in a military hat with Fiona. We love this. There's the hat. That's not the main, that's not the mainstay of the show. There you go. So there's the coat again. Now you might have seen it before in linen or that lovely black and white fabric. But today we've got it in boiled wool. It's a hack, right? It's a hack to the pattern. It's gorgeous. You have to come in and get that. I know, I know. And then now at 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock, Gary and George are in from Franklin's. It's called The Professional Show. We have got... We have got, right, a sewing machine that does straight lines and go very, very fast. We have got the most incredible iron, industrial iron, which you can have in your house. We have got Neil's favourite, the electric scissors. And we've also got this fantastic machine that does a blind hem, for, a blind hem, um, blind hem, blind hem. There it is. It's the ugliest of machines, isn't it? But it does the most brilliant, brilliant, brilliant job. Oh, I really need you to call Elliot. This has got to be fixed. I can't deal with this, I'm afraid. Um, okay, so um, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email at studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, you can send a message on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. Uh, good morning, John says Susan. Another Susan says good morning, John. Princess says good morning, everyone. Suzanne says good morning. Derek says, morning, John. Looking the like of Fiona's new pattern. Could it be a unisex hoodie? I don't see why not. Oh, well, her husband's wearing one. So it goes up to size 26. Goes up to size 26. That's the only you can hear witching in the background. There she is. Have a quick wave to the, wave to the people Hello, at home. Hello, everybody. Hello. Look, doesn't she look well? Doesn't she look well? Uh, Georgina says, good morning, John. Jean Carroll says, good morning. Um, I hope you haven't got that hideous cold that's going around. No, Linda, it's the dust in here. It's filthy. I can't tell you. Carol said, love your shirt. Angela says, good morning. Blackpool Light's been on since the 1st of September. Oh, I'm definitely coming up then. Laurie says, good morning, John and team. Crikey, loads of you there. Right, the third way is by the website. So you go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Oh, God, oh, hang on, which one am I looking at? Uh, there we go. So you click on Watch Live. That's what's wrong with sitting here. I can't see what you're showing. That's the problem. Anyway. You click on Watch the Show Live. See the little white box on the right-hand side there? You send a message in there. Kat's going to write something. I can't see what she's writing. So, girl, launch. Right, then, if you scroll down the page, you'll see there's two, two columns, right? Today's show deals are all the things we've shown you already. And then if you click on pre-order, that's everything for the next five hours. Oh, five hours, I know. I don't know. I'm going to talk for five hours. So, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go back, go back, go back. There's all the gorgeous fabrics. For the hoodie top, there it is. You can wear it long or short. Derek, don't make it into a dress version for yourself. You know your knees won't be able to take it. <laughs> then we have lovely for around the house as well. Also going out for lunch in Brighton. Anyway, then there's the overlocker, because you can sew it with an overlocker and a sewing machine. Then we've got, there's those lovely big scissors for going to be using, 580 sewing machine as well. Um, right, so then what? Then I've got, oh, here you go, here are all the pre-cuts. Got five inch squares, 10 inch squares, design rock. Well, actually, they're jelly rolls because they're motor, aren't they? Everything you could wish for in there. I, if you want any of those, check it out now. Get it and check it out. There you go. Beautiful, aren't they? So carry on, carry on. It's pre cuts, pre cuts, pre cuts, pre cuts, pre cuts. All right, stop. Then Fiona's back to do a coat again. That's an unusual picture, isn't it, that one? And the hat. We've got Colette in. Colette, no, Colleen. Colette. Oh, it's Colette, it's Colette. Beautiful boiled wools. Really, really lovely boiled wools. They're already bundled up for you, but we also have them by the half metre as well. Uh, then, this is the professional show. So there you go. Oh, hang on. Nobody told me to take your money off. So we've got the steam iron with £50 off. There you go. Now, if you're one of the lucky winners, was it during the birthday week or Christmas week? Two people have already won that. I'd love to know if you're one of the people who've won it and how, how brilliant it is. So they've knocked 50 pounds off that. What's the one next to it? Blind hemming machine. Right, how much are they taking off that one then? Oh, you get threads with it, so you're saving six, six pounds. I can't see the screen from here, I'm afraid. Then you've got your machine, your great big machine there. Just as a straight stitch, nothing else. Just a straight stitch. It's fantastic. It's very fast. Very, very fast. Oh, and then we're, we're letting... Um, now, 
you know Gary already. Gary does the Juki machine. So Gary's here. He's going to be demonstrating. And then George is also here, who you've met before. He did a cover stitch machine. Um, but he's also, he's one of the Franklin boys. He's one of the Franklin boys. So very, very busy show. So, right. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. This is uh, the um, So Girl Maisie sweater dress and top. Size is small to du double XL. Goes up to a size 26. Goes up to a size 26. So look, there's that version there, which actually Fiona's wearing. There's that version there, which is on a mannequin next to her. And there's this version here, which is right next to me. But it's got a hood. Or you could have like a little um, like a funnel high, top. Yeah, it? it's like a high neck band. High, high neck, neck band. band yeah. High neck band. Anyway, it's brilliant. Size 26, that goes up to. How brilliant is that? 17.99. And can I tell you what the most brilliant thing about Fiona and her So Girl is? She has a blog, right? You can go to her So Girl blog and everything you need to know on there. So mm -hmm. while you're doing this pattern, if, you, if there's anything that you don't quite understand, it'll be explained on there. And not just this, but all of her patterns. She really, really, really goes the extra mile mm -hmm. for her <laughs> for her ladies and gentlemen because she mm -hmm. does, there's so much on that blog. Even if you're not going to buy this today, I would go and have a look at the blog just because it's it's fascinating. It's fascinating, the work that goes into it. Anyway, everything you need to know is on the back of the pat pattern here. Oh, there you go. There's the blog. There's the blog. I think it's great to be able to see what you're, what, what's involved before you buy a pattern, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. You know, and then you can see whether or not it's something you want to well, do. And you know? also, we only see it like you're wearing it as one of the mm. mannequin. That way you see every bit of it That's on your right, blog. And, everything yeah. to do. and you'll point out the bits that might be a little bit more difficult, or you'll point out the bits that are a little yeah. bit easier. All that. There yeah. it is. Back to the blog. There it is. That's the one, we, that's as well. one she's wearing Stitch now. Look. Fabric links. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And that's the one that's next to me on the mannequin. Yeah, I love doing my blog. It must such take fun. up so much of your time, though. It's such fun, though. It's like in between that and sitting diary, on the beach. You know. Yeah. Fantastic, right? So that is your um, pattern, seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. Right, fabric wise. Now I've got this one here, which is the blue one. Now we've already bundled it up. Do you want a number, Cathy? All right. Um, now, why is this plastic bag being put in here when it's not got a little sticker on it? <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, this is half a metre, right, but you're buying three metres of it. You're buying three metres of it in the bundle at £35.99. pence. It's denim sweatshirting fabric bundle. Three metres for £35.99. Now, does three metres make the biggest size then? Is that what we're saying? Let me have a look. Uh, yes, yes, top, top. Well, that's for 112, so it's 2.1 for a top. Oh, yeah, 2.1 for a top, 2.6 for a dress. And oh. that's right, 2.6. So you have, but you've got to, you could use um, the extra half metre for the lining the hood. Of course. Because that, that is a half metre extra if Lovely. you want to do that. But we also have it by the half metre as well, don't we? Do, we do. So it's 35 99 for the bundle or by, by the half metre. Six forty nine. Six forty nine for half a metre. It's lovely. Feels it would be sixty wide, wouldn't it? Look. They're all wide. Oh, oh this is gonna be divine to wear because it's fluffy on the in Oh I've got the hiccups. It's fluffy on the inside. I'm having a right. Look, 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 there you go. It's so snuggly, isn't it? Snuggly. Snuggly. Snuggly wiggly. <laughs> um now do you need to sew it with a ballpoint needle or can you sew it with a normal needle? I suggest using a, a ballpoint, ballpoint needle, needle yeah. because sometimes it can push the fabric down into the feed there. Um, but having said that, I actually I did without and I was fine. So it just depends on whether or not it's got any elastane in it. So, okay. just, I, but I would put a jersey needle on just for sort of security. Perfect. Right. I've also got it in the uh, mustard, same fabric but in mustard. Oh, ochre. We called it sorry, ochre. Again, there's your three metre bundle. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologise. I just need to get a new job, really, don't I? <laughs> 35 99 I need to go and live by the sea. No. Put my feet in a de up in a deck chair. You come and live in Worthing, John. Worthing. It, 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 back in the day, Worthing was where all the old people went yeah, to. Yeah, that's right. It? But now it's... Like me. No, 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 no. But it's now super <laughs> hip and trendy, isn't it now, Worthing? It is actually. By they're the moving out from London now. Huh? They're all moving out from <coughs> London They certainly now. are. Six foot yeah. I'll tell you where else is... Uh, St. Leonard's on Sea. St. Leonard's. Hill. Yes. All of those, Hastings. which were like kind of lost towns, really, Definitely. are all Eastbourne. Yeah. Hmm? 
Anyway, 6.49, 6.49. Then I've also got it in the most beautiful teal colour. Most popular on pre-order. Now, would you call it teal? I think I'd call it kingfisher. Sapphire. Oh, this is the one you're going to be using, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Gorgeous. Morning, says Justine from Luxembourg. Ooh. Hayley says, morning, John Nefong from Western Supermare. Oh, is the sea coming yet? Uh, Hilda says, good morning, John and crew from Sunny Kent. Oh, everyone's doing their, their uh, location, eh? Emily says, morning, and everyone. Beautiful. That 35 nine times for three metres, but if you want to buy it, buy the half metre. Oh, be careful. That's the most popular. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the most popular. We'll do it by the half metre. I'm just rolling my sleeves up because it's boiling in here. <laughs> Three meters enough to make the large one. But if you want to make the little short top without a hood, then you only don't need that much. So you can buy it by the half meter. It's lovely. Isn't it? I don't think I've seen this sweatshirting before here. Right, then I'm moving on to this one. This one, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologize. <coughs> this one is not available by the half meter. It's only by the bundle. Now, this is a f much finer. This is much, much finer, this one. Green soft sweatshirt jersey fabric, three meters thirty five ninety nine. It's a much finer. It still it still make a lovely. It'll still make up beautifully. It's fluffy on the inside. It is fluffy on the inside, but not as thick. It's a much light. If you're like me and you're having your hot flashes, then this is the one for you. This is only available as a bundle, though. Oh, and be careful, because that's very, very popular. And now, last but not least, is this one. Now, they've done a four-meter bundle here, and I'm not 100% sure why. But again, it's gorgeous. Now, the stripes go across the fabric. This one hasn't got a fluffy interior, and it's quite lightweight, this one. Four meters. Don't know. Don't know. Oh, Jade. Omar, Omar, Omaru. Luxury jersey. What do I say? It's lovely, it's lovely. It's very soft, very drapey. This Take one's very drapey. Do you know picture. what you could do in this? A lovely cow, not on this, but your cow neck. If you're doing a cow mm. neck top, that would work beautifully in this. It's got I a mean, lovely drape to yeah. it. What colour have we said? It's jade. Okay. It's got a bit of jade in it, yeah. Oh, and this one comes by the half metre as well. Oh, only seven of that bundle left. Crikey. You've been fast and furious on that one. Seven ninety nine for half a metre. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to say to you is, uh, you can use an overlocker, but you will need a sewing machine as well. We're only going to be using a sewing machine in the demonstration today, but Fiona will mention the bits you can overlock and not overlock and things like that. All right, should we get on? Because poor old Fiona's got to cram an hour's worth of his work into 45 minutes now. Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you, Joe. I can't it's get over how well you look. To see you. Pardon? you look fantastic. What? It's all fake. It's all you should have seen the way she came bounding in this morning. We were all like <laughs> sitting there waiting. She wasn't due for another 15 minutes and suddenly, the, well, the door was already open because obviously with COVID we have to leave the main door open. Burglars are aware. Um, but literally she came bursting in through the door like this. No bags or anything like that, just her. And <laughs> then her poor old husband came trudging through with all the husband. bags. <laughs> I said to my husband, I'm just going to get in and you bring in the bags. <laughs> and About five minutes later he came in with all the bags. That's the story of his life, poor oh. man. Yes, I He's an artist. Dearly. He's an artist, though, you yes. see. He has to look after his hands, doesn't he? Yes, an artist that come bag man. That come bag Baggage man. candle. Right, OK, so where did the where did the inspiration for this uh, lovely little outfit come Do from? Do you know what? It was me talking about my life down in Worthing on the beach. Yeah. Basically, it's, it's that, because I've been wild swimming, John. You've not. I have. I have. I've been swimming in the sea. Did all, you have a wetsuit? Every suit? single day. No. <coughs> no Just it's going your bikini. It's getting, it's getting a bit cold now. Yeah. yeah it's hard. But I be, belong to um, a, a, a swimming group called Wear Folk. Yeah. Hello, all the Wear Folk who are probably not watching because well, they're in the, the water sea. by now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just wanted something that wraps me up really, and a bit more snuggly and warm for the for the oh. autumn. And you know, something that it goes all year round really. This this garment, so yes. it, it depends on what you make it in really, doesn't it? So so it's really really about that. And then originally it was going to be called Georgie, and then I had a lovely email from Amanda, who's one of my followers, so girl followers, and she sent me this most lovely e email about how much you know her my patterns. She enjoyed them. 
and her name was Maisie. And then, of course, we've got the little Maisie as well, of haven't course, we? Of course, six Bix. months old now. And I just thought, I can't ignore this. So it was Georgie was out and oh, Maisie no. was in. Sorry, Georgie. And we've got little Maisie and I've made little Maisie, a little, oh. a little mini Maisie. Look, and I put a little bit of Liberty in the oh. lining. So Is that like for Maisie cute. Maisie? Yeah, but I think she'd probably have to be a bit older to wear that. But, oh, something know. to look forward to grow into. The, Isn't that oh. cute? Yeah, I just, I just reduced the size of the pattern, so... Oh, that's good. Not, not quite my size. No, exactly, exactly. So anyway, Fix, when you come in tomorrow, there's a little Prezi for you in the base. She's coming in tomorrow, is she? I think so, yeah. No, I, I, well, she better not be. I'm in tomorrow. I wish. <laughs> right. <laughs> they told me she was in tomorrow, but anyway, there you go. Next time she's in. Yes. So, um, yes, yeah, so there's lots of options with this pattern. So you can make it with the patch po pockets or the side pockets. So the side pockets are quite good for... Well, you know, if you've got a stripe, it's quite nice not to break up the stripe with the, with the patch pocket. So, you know, pop the side ones in. But if you've got a plain, like I have with the blue, it's quite uh -huh. nice to put the patch on, just a little bit more of a, more of a feature. Yes. So I think that's why I kind of wanted both choices of the pockets, because I just thought, you know, it, you've got the options then. And then you've got the option of making it short or long for the top and also the different necklines. And as well, you know, if you really wanted to just make it a standard round neck, just reduce the, the width of the neck band, because it's yeah. quite a nice high neck band like that, but you can obviously make that much thinner yeah, if yeah, you want to. Yeah, some people don't like that, but then it's not yeah, high it's not on very neck, high, it, no, no, but, but it kind of keeps you nice and warm. Yeah. And I've done it a nice cable knit here, which we haven't got today. But, but is that you know, a jersey? This is like a knitted fabric, yeah. It looks, wow. it's, it looks like a cable, but yeah. actually, yeah. So it's no, no knitting and no and knitting And I love the jumper. fact it's a raglan sleeve, so we haven't got to worry about setting a sleeve I in wanted a really like easy sleeve with yeah. this one. So I just thought, you know, and I, I, you know, I've got lots of jumpers, and I just sort of like, which is the one I really like to wear, and it was always the one that got the oh, raglan Also, Kat sleeve. saying, like, for the last t two years, we've been in our pyjamas because of lockdown and everything. This is now... Yes. Moving out this the house in something that's still comfortable, loungewear for outside. Yes, exactly. I've started wearing my pajamas outside. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so um, so this is the pattern here, and you've got like the step by steps. I don't know. Yes, yeah, should we get got me in the camera there? Yeah. So um, now the the hood has got an option to have a lining in it. So the lining is an extra half meter. Right. Um, but uh, what I did, which is a little bit interesting, was I didn't have anything, but my husband had a really good T-shirt. I had. <laughs> he had, he had one, poor chap, uh, which had shrunk. So I just, you know what, I just used that. Oh, fantastic. So, now, you know, does the lining anything, have to be a stretch? No, well, I did the little one in a, a Liberty. In Liberty, yeah. And, yeah, I mean, obviously you don't have so much stretch around the neckline. So just make sure that you're kind of like you can get it on and off. But I think it's absolutely fine. Brilliant. But just use something lightweight, yeah. you know. Uh, so I think like something like a ton of lawn or like liberties. Like your husband's t-shirt. Yeah. Or my husband's t-shirt, yeah. Uh, or just buy half a metre of jersey, jersey fabric. But yeah. it's quite nice to have that contrast, you know. So a stripe in the, in the, in the lining or a different colour or a pattern like a, like a liberty or something. Does this teal, does this um, last one come by half a metre cat? So you can get, if, if you've got any of those bundles, like the ochre, the, the, the denim, the teal, maybe not that green one there, this would look lovely inside the hood, wouldn't it, half a metre this? Because it's a much, much lighter weight and it's got the stretch. Yes, yeah, so you can line that with the same fabric. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely fine, yes. Beautiful. So, So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to do a top with side pockets and a hood. So right. I, I don't know how far I'll get, so we'll just have a go. Um, so I'm just going to pop my other glasses uh, on. Georgina says, I bought the Peggy top by So Girl and I loved it. Jill says, I see Miss just rolled in in Devon, so she's not going out. Jan says, don't forget the cuff hack on the, hack on the blog. Oh, what is that Jan? That yeah. Yes, thanks, Jan. Yes, there's a cuff hack. Yes, yeah, so if anyone doesn't like this sort of, uh, you know, loose Floppy. fitting. Yes, it's got a very wide hem, so if you want to make it a little bit longer, but I quite like short because I can wash up in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can make it longer if you want to. But... Um, uh, yes, there's a cuff. Here we Hi. go. It's just a very simple pattern for a cuff pattern that you can add on if you want to, okay. and it just tells you how. Thank you, Jan, for reminding us. Yes, right, thanks, so what are you Jan. doing now? Right, so now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch on the side pockets. So you just pin them on each side of the front and back piece mm -hmm. um, at the straight side edges. So now when it comes to stitching, if you've got the, the fleece back uh, jersey, you probably, it's quite lofty. So you want to probably extend your stitch length. Right. And um, 
I'm just doing a, uh, a straight stitch, but you actually do have a, also a, a I'm not going to use it today because it takes a bit longer, but it's like a triple line stitch and that's your stretch stitch. Yeah. Now that's good when you're, when you're pulling your thing, your garment on, you don't want your stitches to break. So that I would d definitely recommend using that mm -hmm. straight stitch. And you've got a walking stitch. foot on, when you say a walking foot. Was I've got a walking foot because this fabric's, you know, it's quite bulky once you've got a few seams um, going over, especially around the neckband, mm -hmm. you know, you just want something that's going to give you a bit of help, but a bit of help. But if you've, if, you've, if you've lengthened your stitch, you should be fine with an ordinary foot. Okay, so now most of it could be constructed on an overlocker, but there are certain bits that need to be on the sewing machine, aren't there? Well, I would say um, when you're doing the neckline, the neckband, I would uh, definitely sew it on first and then overlock it afterwards, just because you've got quite a lot going on. But I do recommend to hand tack it on first anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, if you're sort of a person who's sort of quite used to working on the overlock, you could definitely overlock it. If you've tacked it first, I yeah. think that that's really the, the main thing. So, yeah, so I'm sewing on the side pockets. Uh, morning, John and Fiona. Bought my pattern and denim bundle. I absolutely love Fiona's patterns. They fit so well. Thank you from Sue in Tamworth. Oh, thanks, Sue. And one from Kirsty that says, love Fiona's blog. It's great to explain the complicated bits. And she has some great hacks for our patterns too. Kirsty in Northamptonshire. Thank you, Kirsty. Why well, have you got the light on in there today? What complicated bits? <laughs> Sorry? I was going to say, what complicated bits? I haven't got any complicated <laughs> bits in my patterns. They're all very easy. Linda <laughs> says, I love Fiona's patterns. They're simple to make and the finished garments are so stylish. I think what I like is something that doesn't take too long to make and it's sort of, uh, you know, so it's quite loose fitting, so it's quite, um, you know, uh, forgiving, you know, mm -hmm. that word. So, um, so that's the one side, so I've done the back and now I'm doing the front. Right. I see you've labelled up all your pieces with some masking tape as well. I have, so because know. the front and back look quite similar, yeah. so, you know, and especially, um, if you want to, um, you know, <laughs> it's a, a bit foolproof, isn't it, today? I had to wake up super early this morning. I don't normally get in so early. That's why I was rushing in. Okay, Kat wants to know, if you were to assemble it on your overlocker, would you uh, disengage your blade? I never do. Uh, no, 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 I would... Um, the, the thing about it is that it's getting the seam, and it's a one centimetre seam allowance, so if you want to just sew it to the seam allowance, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but sometimes what I tend to do is to, uh, you know, sort of, is to sew it and then overlock it afterwards. Yeah, that's what, that's what I would yeah. do. But, if, if you, but you could also make it with your, if you, you, you made one and an you know the size fits you, because there's no point yeah. in making it with an overlocker if you then have to alter it, because there's it's, a lot of yeah, unpicking. Yeah, it's nice to, to be able to try it on yeah. first, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I love that idea of being able to make it on the overlocker, but there are s issues, aren't there, about yeah. sort of having to undo all those overlock stitches. If you need if to you alter need it, If you need to alter it or, to, yeah. you know, do anything. But you, once you know the size is the right size for you, then go ahead and just cut it off. And so, as long as you sew, set your overlock. Set your, you can't hear that at home, apparently. Um, mm -hmm. Set the overlocker to one centimetre seam length, you'll be fine. Yeah. Really tempted to buy this pattern to make a few hoodies for winter. Go for it, Derek, go for it. Have we got any that's my size? Derek, are you about the same size as me? I could try one on for you so I could model it. I haven't got any 2XLs here. Oh, what, you, what are you saying? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're a man size. That's man size. Nice. Man size ones. <laughs> She's so naughty. I'm so isn't rude, she? aren't I? <laughs> Not as rude as you. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sue says, morning, lovely. Uh, looking good. Love this pattern. <clears throat> Love the present you've made for Maisie. Oh Yeah, it's so cute, isn't it? It took me ages. <laughs> <laughs> I've changed the hood so many Thinks times. Thinks obviously isn't watching because she'd normally text in. Oh, yeah, she's obviously not watching. So anyway, so with the sleeves, here's the sleeve piece. Uh -huh. um, you've got a back, so you've got your two curved side bits which join to the front and back. And obviously you've got a back and a front and they're notched at the side. So if you notch them, but what I like to do is just to stick a big sticker yes, on the back and then I can see very, very yeah, easily. Yeah, because people think raglan sleeves are the same on both sides, but they're not always, are they? Not always, no, sometimes. So we're going to now pin the 
sleeve and it's such an easy s sleeve it's a joy really mm -hmm. because um there's no inserting sleeves it's just basically sewing on the curved edge that's all and you know if you match up the knots notches then you should be fine yeah all right so yep that is definitely the back and so you pin that on like so but jersey is quite you know i haven't actually done a jersey pattern before I don't, I don't know why because it is i like the forgivingness of it yeah. you know it's sort of you know i probably could make this in a size uh, smaller and it would still fit me you know just because it would not you know just be a bit a little bit different fit yeah. but um but i quite like that aspect also it depends it. on what jersey you use as well doesn't it? it's important to yes. have a nice jersey a good quality jersey that's to right make it in. yes now again you know use your triple stitch triple s stitch stretch stitch setting and so it seems very slow this let's speed it up a bit oh, there you are. and you know the 580 machine that Fiona's using <coughs> it's so nice and quiet isn't it yeah. mine is much noisier than this yours is what noisier mm. I could do with a new one I think it's got a fabric cutter on it. I know, I keep forgetting because I don't have it on mine. So oh, I'll use my big nice scissors. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right, so there's one. And then we're going to put the other side on the other side of the back. So we need the other sleeve. Where is it? Here it is. Does this jersey fray? No, I mean, so I think don't need to really I don't think you really need to finish the edges. edges There's on. some jerseys that you would and some that you wouldn't. Yeah. But um, this one, this this fleece, definitely. Uh, I think we've just got fleeces here today, yeah. haven't we? Um, Terry back is also quite a good fabric. Yeah, as I think well. you'd have to finish this one off, the the, the stripy one, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't think you it. would actually. Oh, don't you? oh, that one. That one. Yeah, I think you do. You know. would have to finish that one off, the finer one. But, you know, I did that one in a striped jersey uh -huh. um, and, you know, it's sort of quite a nice weight. You don't want anything too flimsy, but um, it seemed to be fine. Mm -hmm. But I, I think if you've got an overlocker, definitely overlock the edges oh, yeah. because, it, you know, it does make a nicer finish, doesn't it? And good in the washing machine, you know, you yes. don't have to worry about it when it goes in the washing true. machine. Right, so there we go. I'm going to sew this other side now. And, you know, as I said, lengthen your stitch as well, because, you know, when fabrics are lofty, you definitely need a longer stitch length. Sewing over. Uh, loving the show. I have a large collection of Fiona's patterns and just finished a Peggy top and a way to start today on a Maisie top. Oh. Tracy in Aberdeenshire. Who's that, JC? Huh? Who is that? JC? JC, that one. JC. Uh, hi, sorry, Mr. Beginning, when you might have said, but will three metre bundle do the 2XL size? Thanks, Jill. Yes, it will, Jill, because it's 60 inches wide. For the X, the 2XL size, you actually need uh, 2.1 metres. No, that's wrong. 2.6 metres. Two point, hang on. What, am I, what did she ask? Sorry, let me just ask again. The dress or the top? Okay, it's fine, you're fine, because it's 2.6 metres you need for the, the double XL dress and 2.1 metres you need for the top. There it is, got it. Thank you. Sorry, I got confused then. <laughs> right, so I'm do, I'm jo I've joined the uh, sleeves to the back, mm -hmm. you can see there. And so now I'm going to join those two front side edges. What size are you making there then? Uh, this is size large. Right, okay, because it's quite voluminous, isn't it? It's quite it is. Well, I mean, it's got a quite a loose. Are you wearing thing. a large? Though? Yes, this is a large size. Yeah. I think it looks bigger in when it's not sewn together, doesn't it? Because it's you're seeing the whole. You're seeing front and back at the same time, aren't you? So it yeah. sort of looks a lot. 
but it is it is loose fitting so it's sort of you know quite comfortable it's a comfortable fit and the sizes that small medium and large that they go up in two sizes I, yeah. I don't think it's sort of quite obvious on the pattern but so the small is, is an eight, eight to, ten. to ten medium yes so I will adjust that on the blog I think yes. if anyone's yes, confused the pattern's about not that quite right on the back the printers yeah well yeah so what size are you cat Cats are 10, but you're a tall 10, aren't you? So you, go, you should go so for the medium, I think. So you're probably a small. Oh, yeah, you say eight small? 8 to 10, yes. Yeah. So She's small a big 10, is, though, is, isn't she? Well, yeah, she might want to medium then. Yes, yeah. I mean, a small is the, the largest size, so it's a more like a 10. Yeah. So I mean, the small would fit you. It depends how much you want to snuggle into it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. Finished bus size on a small is 40, and the finished bus size on a medium is 44. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but that's with all your ease and your fullness and everything. That's right. I'm right. surprised you haven't done a jersey one before because I, I think I, you think of you and you kind of think heavy jerseys. And yes. Things. Well, I've got the I've got the bug now because my yeah. next one's a jersey as well. Mm. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say too much about what it is. So you're onto your next one already, but we're only launching this one today. Yes. Yes. Half the stock well, of this I'm, one's I'm, gone already. I'm back on in, in December, so... December? Yeah. It's ages away. Well, I know, but it takes a long time to, to get do patterns. patterns sorted, yeah. yeah. So, um, I have to start, I have to start early. I spoke to, uh, you know, Adam from the Great British, Great British Chamber, it was his birthday this week, and I said, have you got a date when you're coming in next? He went, and he reeled off all these dates till next January, and I was like, we don't even know what we're doing next week, <laughs> presenters-wise, and there you are, the, the, the guests know months in advance. I think I'm on the 16th of December. This is the next one. Okay. So there's a, there's a date for your diary, folks. Oh, 16th of December. What day of the week is it? I think it's. A I'm always on a Thursday. Oh, are we you? like Thursdays. Yes. Okay. I don't know why we like Thursdays, but. Oh, it's not cat that day. It must be Hannah, is it then? It seems to be a bit funny. Oh though. no. Right then. So. So this last sleeve on, and then we can get to the hood. <laughs> right, right, so pins out. Hello, yeah. something's attacking me under here. Oh no, you're all right. <laughs> Okay, so there we have the front and back join. So you see how quickly your, that's come together. Still a pin there? Oh yeah. Right. So we've got the sleeve there. Uh huh. And the front. So take if I take a moment. It's on the other side, isn't it? So let's just see which is the front and the back. Right, that's the back. So there we go. Now, what I would do now is probably join the side seams, but what I thought of doing is just moving on to doing the neck. Okay, so perfect. So, in real life, you do the side seams. You go down. Have you, you go done inset pockets on, on that one? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, down. Let me just explain. Yeah. So, you, 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 would, you would normally p press these outwards yeah. like that and then top stitch down the uh, pocket side, yeah. just near the seam. And then when you're sewing the front to back, you'll put the two on top of each other like that, and then matching up all the seams, yeah. and then sew all the way down, down and round, round the and okay. down. Perfect. Okay. Um, Kath says, would this pattern work with a stretchy terry toweling fabric, thinking of a beach cover-up? Yes, definitely. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and Susan says, uh, morning everyone, lovely pattern Fiona, it looks so comfy and the colours in the studio look great. Thank you, Susan. Uh -huh. This is very colourful here today, yeah. isn't it? So moving on to the neckbands. Right. Um, now, let me just get my pattern out because... Um, I've just got to remind myself about how it's done. <laughs> so you've got the neck band, which is just a straight. So you're doing the funnel. neck band that you're, you're, you've well, got. Well, I'm just going to show you this yeah. one. Um, well, let's do it, shall we? Go on. So then. 
we just sew down the slanted edges. Uh-huh. It's all in the instructions and it's all on the blog. And then it went, it's just such a cinch really. Now the seam that you've just sewn is going to go to the back. So right. that's you're the centre press, back. Pressing that open and then fold it over. Match up all the raw edges. Mm -hmm. And then what I like to do is just to tack stitch that together just so that it holds it. So if you pin it first. It's also, if you've got very bulky fabric, you could just trim down your seam allowances as well, just to make it a little bit less bulky at the back yeah. there. Depends on your fabric, really. Uh, hi, guys. Sorry, John. I missed which stitch Fiona was sewing with. Great demo. Thanks from Anne in Cheshire. How are you, Anne, my love? Right. What she said, normally she would use the three stretch stitch on her machine. You know, the one that does three, 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 three. But for time, because that takes longer. Go, da, 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 da. She's just using a straight stitch at the moment, but you're better off using a stretch stitch. That's right, isn't it? That's right, yep. yeah. And you can overlock you have got Can have I just say stitches. something about this overlocker? We had this on on uh, Rebecca Harrison's show the other day, and I know she and I are seasoned sewers. We threaded this up in the matter of three minutes because it's the air threader one. And uh, one lady, and I can't remember her name, I'll look on my Facebook page later. She bought it because she just said the demonstration with Rebecca was fantastic. Literally, it, it took minutes. It took minutes. And if, uh, the one thing about overlockers that people hate is the threading, isn't it? The thing that frightens people and puts yeah. them off. Because the, the lower loopers are done by the air threader and the top ones are just down, round, through, down, through the needle. Easy. So easy. Easier than the sewing machine thread up. <coughs> Shelley loves my shirt. Thank you, Shelley, my love. So I'm just tack stitching around uh -huh. just to hold it together so I've got no pins. So have you made your stitch very big? I've then? made it the longest stitch length right, here. No. So they're going to be easy to take out. You might not even need to take them out. You, you might not, no, if you, especially if you're um, overlocking it as well. So. So that gives you the idea of what it looks like before it goes in. And that little kink in the sea on the side seam just allows it to sort of sit more snugly uh -huh. around the neck. Yeah, so if you were making it into like a t-shirt shape, would you need the kink in it or would you just literally, if you were making it just like you said, if you didn't want the high thing, it's made a very... I think you still would need, need it. it. Yes, yes, just to... But I know what you mean. It could just be a straight piece, yeah. couldn't it? Mm -hmm. If you're if you're folding it over, so it's sort of like that. Lovely. And then you need to locate your back uh, centre back point. Mm -hmm. So it's just really finding that, locating the back seam first of all which is that one. <laughs> <laughs> I put it Always on the wrong double side. Check. I should have my stickers on the back, really. And then you put a pin there, and then you can sort of put your back seam there. Mm -hmm. And you have got notches which co co correspond with all the side seams. Brilliant. With the, the two on each side for the sleeve. So if you match those up as you go round, yeah. and you're literally putting the right side, I mean, obviously, there's no right or wrong side with that, yeah. but uh, one side to the ro to the right, right side, side of the, the yeah. of the. Yeah, because normally when you were doing something like that, there's not notches on it, so you'd have to do your half and your half and your quarter and your quarter. That's right. But if you've done notches where the seams are, then you don't need to worry so much about no, that. No, look, you see, you've got notch there, notch there, yeah. so you can just sort of like you know, so you mm -hmm. know that you're going to be even the space. So you pin that on, stitch it on. Press it up and then um, I think we top stitch it, don't we? Yes, top stitch it down. <laughs> you wrote it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so top stitch it afterwards yes. on the yeah. on the on the on the garment side, not yeah. the neck side. Yeah. And that just holds that neck band nice and firmly yes. upwards. So, so when you've top stitched, you've top if you push your seam allowance. Seam down, allowance goes down. So then top stitching so top into stitch the seam. Allowance, it, yeah. yeah, so you're top stitching where the seam allowance is. Lovely. So I've got Mr. Kate. 
saying, Morning, John and Fiona. Great demo. I love Fiona's style and how she explains things. Her dungarees are fabulous. No, I like my dungarees. She's got them on underneath there. You wouldn't know, <laughs> would you? Yes. My dungarees. Okay, so you're going to show the hood. The dungarees are always very popular whenever we do the dungarees. Oh, really? So yeah, you're going to show the hood on, on that So here's one. the hood piece. Which okay. Is Actually, it looks enormous, doesn't it, when it's not sewn together. So, um, so what we'll do is we'll sew the two pieces together at the curved edge. Uh huh. And this so instead of you don't have to do this and the neck that we just showed you. That's either or. Isn't either it? or, yeah. yes. <laughs> Unless you've got two heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is that. There's a film, isn't there? How to get ahead in advertising, where he grows a second yes. head. Have you seen that? Yeah, film? well, I've seen. I think I've seen some of it. I don't think I've watched all of it. With the lovely Richard E. Grant. Yes. I love him, don't you? He's, he did a recent a program recently about Italy. No, no, a lot, it sort of went all over the place, like yeah. talking about literature and things. So that was really good. Yeah, he's just lost his wife, hasn't he? It's very <gasps> sad. Has he? Yeah. Oh no. Right. So. I've pinned it like that. Hang on, let me just get it right in the camera. Up. Yeah. And now I'm going to sew all the way down to here. Lovely. Here we go. I'm now, looking after my uh, friend's cat at the moment, Harvey. Oh, are right? you? And last night, uh, he loves it. He loves coming to my house. But last night, there was this awful noise. I couldn't figure out what it was. And I went into the lounge. He was climbing up the chimney. Inside of the chimney. He was what? going up the inside of the oh, chimney. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. oh And he's quite a fat cat. So I was a bit worried <laughs> he was going to get stuck. <gasps> anyway, so you've sewn around the right, curve. Right, so I've sewn there. Now, you could put a lining in. That's fine. So that's going to cover up any seams on the inside. Uh -huh. uh, if you want to leave it raw, you could, you've got a, a, an overlocker. Why not, you know, use a red overlocker with, um, uh, you know, with a teal, you know, use a contrast yeah, colour, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, just yeah, make definitely. a feature out of it. Mm -hmm. The other thing, I haven't actually mentioned this on the blog or in the pattern, but you could actually cover it with seam binding if you wanted to. Just if oh, you like didn't want to. So you, some Liberty, some Liberty yeah. Tarna Lawn Ooh. would be lovely, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, Would you have out. to cut it on, on the bias? Would have to be on bias. Have to be cut on the bias, it? yes. Just so that it's got that give. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you know. But otherwise, just press your seam allowance open there. Um, I'm just going to press it at the top. Okay. Um, these are good for you know because obviously you've got Taylor's a curved ham. edge. Taylor's ham is really good for pressing mm -hmm. anything that's curved or anything in that matter really. So. I'm just going to press it at the top because I just want it to be open where the seam is open. Okay. So, you know, I, I don't think you really need to worry too much. You can always press it from the other side after it's done. Mm -hmm. So it's just so that those seam allowances are open where I'm sewing it onto the, to the garment. Oh, Vix is watching now. Can we show Vix? Look at this. Vix, 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 look at this. Fix this telly's Minnie not working, Maisie, so I can't see. Fix. It. Look, Minnie Maisie with Liberty lining. How gorgeous! She'll probably is go. No, I'm not wearing that. <laughs> oh, like she'll wear children. it. She's told to wear it, my girl. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> fix just got up then, ten to nine. That's nice. <laughs> right. So, okay, what are you doing with that hood then? Now, I'm going to show you with or without a lining here. Right. So, if you're not doing a lining. Then you just literally fold it over, so you're making a hem at that um, straight edge, like so. Yeah. And then all the way down, just fold it over one centimetre, and then again, I think it's two centimetres. So you've yes. left more on that thing there. Yes. So you're you're just literally pinning it all the way down, making a hem along that front edge yeah. here. Now, if you're going to do a lining, I've Cut and not just you. You just cut another hood, basically, out of your lining fabric, and you can see I've sewn it again. I've sewn it just as I've sewn the hood. Now, the, before you put it into the um, the hood piece, what you have to do is to trim off two centimeter, 
is it two centimeters? Yeah, it says in here. But yeah. you trim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sit down with a cup uh, of tea and read your pattern first. So you trim off two centimeters from yeah. this straight edge here, okay? Right. Because what you want is you want to still have that hem of the outer fabric on the inside. Right. So that just allows it to do that. So I'm just, I don't, I can't remember if I've trimmed it off yet or not. Oh, uh, no. Yes, I have. <laughs> Honestly. He's so mean to me. He's so mean to me when I come. Anne says, morning, John. Lovely show with Fiona, as always. Aww. And another Anne says, maybe John, maybe Harvey was looking for Father Christmas. I think he's more likely to be looking for Food. the jackdaws on the roof. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, message. Hi, John and Fiona. Just want to, if you want to line the hood with a woven fabric, would you cut it on the bias from Jenny in Tipperary? That's such a good question. And that's such a good tip, actually, because I think that... Oh. oh. Get, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you need to. No, do I don't think you... Um, I suppose it's got the stretch then, hasn't it? It has, but where would but you would put you the really bias? Need, yeah. I don't think you... Just have something lightweight. As long as it's a tarna lawn or something like yes. that, a very fine lawn, then you'd be yes, fine. Or a fine jersey. Whether well, it's a jersey, you don't need to It doesn't actually it. sort of stretch the hood, yeah. really. Only sort of at the neckline when you put yeah. it on. Well, we'll soon see, because we'll, we'll make Maisie wear hers. And if Fix gets it stuck over her head, then we'll know <laughs> that it needs to be on the bias. Well, originally, I just... I thought, well, because I don't really do children's wear, so I thought, well, I'll just reduce the size of the pattern so the body fits, you know, and I worked that out. But then when I made it up, the neck, because heads, children's heads and are bodies they? are actually sort of different proportions yeah. to Alfred, to adults. So, um, so I had to make the the uh, hood yeah. a yeah. different proportion to the body. So oh. it was a bit of wangling there. Crazy um, Lorraine says morning to you both. Who's Thank Maisie? you, Crazy Lorraine. Crazy Lorraine, that is. Oh, Crazy Lorraine. I thought you said Maisie Lorraine. No, Crazy Lorraine. Right, uh, morning, quick question for you both. Walking foot, yes or no? I don't have one at the minute, but looking to get one soon from Susan in Merseyside. Susan, I use mine such a lot, even on just ordinary fabrics. It just makes sewing just that little bit easier when you okay. go over bulky seams, doesn't it? And in other words, you can make it. So if you bought this today and you haven't got your walking foot yet, you could make it. But if you've got your walking foot, it would be an even easier make than yeah. it would be without. They are pricey, but they are worth the money, yeah. I think, because they just are, an, for me, it's my, an essential item to my yeah. sewing. Okay, so can I ask you then, you've cut your two centimetres off your lining. Are you just matching it edge to edge? Now? Yes, I'm just matching it edge to edge. So you obviously have the lining that's actually two centimetres shorter. So it's going to pull that hem. So instead of hemming, it's, it's, it's yes. just going to be sitting. So your finished edge will be sitting inside yes, the hood. You've not right. got an edge going round the outside of the hood. Yes. Because you could have it flush to the edge, but it's quite nice to have that no, hem yeah, on yeah, the yeah. edge, isn't it? Yeah. So. Jackie says, morning, Fiona. Jackie from the Wirral. Hello, Jackie from the Wirral. <laughs> oh, now, Vicky Vix has just said good morning. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Did you miss it again, Vix? <laughs> Here it is, look. <laughs> for the third time. For now. the third time. This Vicks. is for Maisie. Mini Maisie. <laughs> um, Alison Marion, blimey, they're all in this morning. <laughs> Would it help to have a woven bias around the neck, ed neck edge where you put the head through? Woven bias. Um, uh, oh, right, okay. I don't quite understand that. Vix one. has missed, missed the whole point. Uh, Vix, it's named after your Maisie, as well as another friend of Fiona's called Maisie. It's named after both of them. Marina says, I made a hoodie for Sammy when she was three. It was a bit big. She's still wearing it now. She's in her 40s now. <laughs> um, okay, Alison Marion, would it help to have a woven bias around the neck edge where you put your head through? What, here? No, here. Here, woven by a uh, tape? You want to have that a little bit of stretch, I think. Oh, she's I, in. Well, she's in, not tomorrow. She's in tune. She, Alison Marion, Marion Allison. Oh, is that Alison Marion? Yeah. Hello, Alison. Yes, you could oh, she's in for a I week. I thought I read somewhere she was. She's most probably panicking at home now. Go. <gasps> I'm not in. I'm not in. I'm not in. If you want to line the hood with the woven fabric, she's talking about now. So. Look, 
but you still need the edge that goes around the bottom to be on the bias for it to make any. I'm just trying to work it so out. Is he talking account. about where it joins the yes. body? Yeah. Yes, you probably would. If you're going to bind it there, then you yeah. would definitely. Yeah. Uh, Vicky says, Oh, I love it. Thank you, Fiona. At last, she's seen it. We've only shown it three times, Vix. <laughs> I'll leave it in the studio, Vix. Yeah. Well, I'm going around for coffee to oh, the new you? house. Oh. But that's not till, not till the end of the month, I don't think. She'll be in here before then. Yes, I think, to be honest, it looks like a size four to five, maybe. So you've got a few years <laughs> yet. I just <laughs> thought she was a bit older, because she's only six, six months, months old. Six months she was, yeah. I know. I just... um, OK, so Carol said what? What colour is the teal jersey fabric? Because it looks different on two cameras. It does look, it doesn't. Right, pick hang up on a sec. Let me have a look it, at. That's, it's a bit brighter than that one. Can you do it from that one? Oh, hang on. We're just coming around to it's the. More oh, like where a are you coming one. to? It's like a peacock. Peacocky, kingfishery. Light petrol. There you go. That's it. That's some more real colour. Oh, my sapphire. big water bottle in the background. I'm oh, sorry. It's like a sapphire no. blue, isn't it? Sapphire. Mm. There's only two of those left, though. There's only two of those left. Look how nice it looks with this red and white. With your husband. With yeah, but we don't sell that because uh, we don't have all your husband's old T-shirt. He's sitting there going, what have you done to my T-shirt? He doesn't know. Yes, he does know. But. Oh, look, I've given Alison Marion a panic attack now. Yes, I just had a bit of a panic. I'm in next Friday. <laughs> Sorry, we were looking at what was coming up and I just remember, I said, oh, am I on with that? And you're not, you're on with, uh, are you, is she on with Vix? Was it Vix she was on? Oh, no, she's in with me. Oh, it is with me. Oh, I'm getting so confused. <laughs> me, you, me, you, Alice Marion, and uh, Kat, next Friday. Kat uh, be absolutely exhausted because Kat's also working in theatre at the moment on a show called It's Not Unusual. Oh, it's the wrong show. <coughs> oh, what's new, Pussycat? Same, same difference. So, you know, uh, other producer Hannah, she's doing an MA at oh, the moment. She? While she's still working here, She's doing a part-time MA, which is why all the shift patterns are going to be right. What's she doing an MA in then? Uh, it's something to do with f art and event management. Oh, she's okay. got a pop-up in Selfridges at the end of the month, which we've all Has got to go she? to. Yeah. Oh, how fabulous. I know, but we did. she started. And on the first day, they said, you have to find a group of people. It's, just, it's kind of like, find a group of people, then get that group of people to do a project for their cause sort of thing and, that she, and she went oh that's fine when will it be and they went oh in the three weeks time so <laughs> she's got a lot to do i think it's, uh, she's good good i mean I, i'm so proud of her she it's brilliant that she's doing Very it good, but yeah. it's exhausting because i don't think she realized quite how no, there's much work, yeah. work there is to do that's so nice. she is exhausting cat's working in theater backstage in the theater she seems to think it's her show she says my show this my show that <laughs> well you do get a bit possessive don't you yeah. <laughs> The way it's done, right? You know, yeah. no one does it as good as you. Actually. No, she has got a a, a, um, a strap on her head with a torch on it, though, <laughs> when she does the quick changes and things. Uh, you told me. She's a professional, you see. We didn't have those in my day. You had to do it by now, touch. <laughs> excuse me for interrupting you, but I just want to show you what I've done with this yeah, pattern. Please. <laughs> so I basically have pinned the. Uh, lining so I've sewn it and I've pushed it into the hood right. and then I've pinned the raw edges together and now I'm just going to tack stitch it along there just so that I can remove the pins okay and it holds those two together brilliant I mean you know the other thing you could do is zigzag tack it if you wanted to um, and then it just uh, sits along the edge yeah you know the tacking stitch is just on the edge but I'm just going to do a running stitch simple straight stitch along um, the raw edge there and um, within the seam allowance so I'm just not I'm not really going too far in and it's you know it's good it's good to be able to hold those two together because then you don't have to think about it anymore message from Amanda wonderful bit. job Fiona and John Maisie G here and very proud that's the other Maisie <gasps> Maisie oh I Argyle and Butte she lives so why is she called, is she called Amanda Maisie? Maisie Amanda? Yeah. Oh. And she's not, she's been a bit poorly recently, so get well soon, Amanda. Oh. Maisie. Get well soon, yeah. Uh, no sign of Elliot yet to fix this screen. Yeah. 
Right, so I'm just... Um, just so you know, we're just going over by five minutes so okay. that you only get it finished. So you can so, see... Because the next hour is just me. Now, just, I've just um, you know, because it's on air telly, I just want to point out that I've actually sort of not matched it too much, too very well on... on, on so I would... I what are you trying to say? No, I just ignore that bit. <laughs> so you'll sew yours better, just, is that what you're saying? Yes, you will sew yours better, because yeah. mine hasn't been sort of matched up properly. So with the, once you've done your hood, you're going to match up the back seam to the back. So right. again, make sure you get the back. Uh, there we go. I'm going to just take this off and I'm going to move it there. There we go. Now, um, again, what you want to do is to put the right sides to right sides. So uh -huh. you find your back centre back point, just like we did with the neck band. And then you've got a back seam on the hood, so you don't have to worry too yeah. much about that. Now, have I, am I doing that right? No, I'm not. So it's the other way around. What's she doing? Oh, I don't think I'm... Yes, it's... Hang on. I think it's like the lining. <laughs> not right side it's the together. the lining side. Lining side, side together. Yes. Pin the hood to the neck. Right. You'd never know she'd written this pattern, would you? Um, so I'm, get, I'm getting confused right. here. So, um, yes. So, no, it's definitely that way, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, so you pin the hood to it's, yeah, the... Yeah, it's right side. It should be right yes, side together. Yes, it should be. I'm oh, sorry, I'm, get, I'm having a bit of a sort of moment, really. Um, but then the lining is the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm getting my sort of fronts and backs uh, all mixed uh, up. Hang on, hang on. The teal fabric isn't available in the three-metre bundle, but it's still available by the half-metre, isn't it? So, Derek, you haven't missed out on the teal. You just need to buy it by the, by the half-metre. Um, this is the denim one, though. This, you have to see the denim one. This is the denim one. How are we going up there? That's the denim one. That's the teal one there. That's the denim. But the, the, both those are available by the half metre. It's just the bundles that have sold out. Now, when you pin, <coughs> that, when you pin it to the front, yeah. you have a notch on the front um, of the hood and you have to match that up to the centre front because there is a slight overlap there on right. the front. Mm -hmm. So as long as this, the notch is matched up to the centre front, front piece, then you should be, you should be fine. Yeah. And then, of course, you've also got the notches for the sides, the shoulder seams okay. as well. And then you sew that around. Oh, Alison said, forgot to say I love the pattern, Fiona. Alison Marion, that is. Oh, right. Lots Thank of you love it. It's flying out. Flying out, $17.99. We'll do a recap in a second. So you're pinning that on and then we're going to sew round. Have we got time to sew it on? V yeah, what you can do is while you're sewing, I might do a re okay. start the recap. Yeah, that's that a good right? idea. And then yeah. you can show it when it's done. Right, pattern, pattern, pattern goes up to a size 26. It goes from a small to a 2XL. You can either have it as a long one or a short one. You can have a hood top or you can have the stand collar. Pockets, patch on the front or inset. Oh, there you go. There's lots of that middle one strobed a bit. Or was that what the fabric was like? I think it did. Be nice if that was what the fabric was like, wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at you with all your lippy on there. It, it's that one there. You see, it's that one. Does it strobe on this camera? Is it strobing on real life? No. Okay, it's because it's not moving, isn't it? Anyway, that's the pattern. Very popular. Seventeen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Fabric-wise, we have got the um, ochre three-meter bundle. Still available. The three-meter bundle in ochre. Thirty-five pounds and ninety-nine pence, or you can buy it by the half meter. Six forty-nine for half a meter. Then we have the denim as a bundle, bundle, bundle. Just to confirm, that it's two and a half meted for the knee. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Derek needed the top 
Yeah, hang on. 2.1 meters you need for the biggest size. So, yeah, you'll have to buy two and a half meters. Yes, Derek. Right, this is the denim bundle, three meters. Or if you want to buy it by the half meter, here it is. You'd be wearing, do you know they do uh, rehearsals on a Sunday from one o'clock till nine o'clock? Or every Sunday for the musical he's doing. 6.49. Yeah, I know. It's like a full-time job, that. Then I've got the teal. Now, I've not got the teal in a bundle, is that right? Only by the half metre. Then we've got the green splashy one. In the soft green. Only in the bundle, this one. Single figures. Single figures. Lovely, isn't it? I like that one. That will make a lovely dress as well, that one. And then, last but not least, we've got this one here. Now, for some reason, there's four metres in this bundle, and we don't quite know why. 59.99 is very popular. It's much, much finer, this one. It's the teal, no, not teal, jade Amaru Luxury. 59.99. That comes by the half metre as well. 7.99, that one. 7.99. Now, I've got the fancy big scissors. Well, we call them fancy. Now, I had these. She's got my, she's a fifth she. Fiona's got my pair of there. I launched these on Sunday. You get a tape measure, you get a quick and pick, and you get your 12 inch shears for $19.99. $19.99. I might cut some fabric with them in the next hour. Oh, yeah, they're going to be fantastic for the boiled wool that Fiona's doing in her next show. Got a message from Sue very quickly. New sewers, please. For, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. New sewer, tips please for cutting and sewing jersey. Help. Sue, didn't need to shout. Um, right, use a ballpoint needle. Use your scissors to cut out. Um, and this is very, very stable, this. So you can pin your pattern to this one. It's not a problem. A lot of time with jersey, you have to place a weight on it as well. Um, if it's your first time you've ever worked with jersey, use a, st a stable one like this, not a f really fluid one, because they're the ones that can put you off. But you'll, you'll get to that one. But this, if you're going to do this, either get the teal, the ochre, or the um, denim, rather than the other two. That's all I'm saying. If you're in Yeah, a fleece back. Yeah. A fleece back. Fleece and it's back. also got, it's brushed on the back. So it's, uh, and the terry back is when it's got the loop back yes. and it's not brushed. So it's a, it's a little bit lighter. So this is the heaviest weight. Yeah, and then that's and the, then, yes. the lighter weight there. Right, Joe, how are you doing with that? Right, baby? I've sewn it on. See, it's very quick, isn't it, coming yeah. together. And, you know. That looks like it might be my size, that one. Well, it, it's like a, it's, it's a poncho at the moment. Well, yeah, I, well, I meant so when you finish teams. it in the break, yeah. to be my size. Um, and then the last thing I would do, see, I've, I've made a little bit of a mistake there, but, you know, just telly sewing. And then I would just sort of like pin, pin that nicely in place, yep. like so, all the way around. And then I would top stitch it round the so that there's a nice uh, line of stitching. And did you also top stitch around the neck as well? And then top stitch yeah. around the neck. Thank you, John. You're yes. welcome. <laughs> so you're just pressing the seam allowance downwards. So finish it off if you've got a nice overlocker, and then or not if you know, just leave it. If and, not, and, and then just press it downwards. Top stitch it round the neckline and top stitch it round the hood, and get down that beach. Exactly. I would say. Another quick question. Or a nice walk. Dog work, my Jamaican friend. Would you wash the fabric before you made it? That was another question that came in earlier. Uh, I would wash any fabric before I made it, just for security, really. Okay, there so, you go. That yeah. was your answer. You yeah. see, I wouldn't on this one. Wouldn't you? No. Why is that? To know. <laughs> just in my brain. You know how you just go with your gut thing. I mean, just... you know, sometimes fabrics they shrink. You yeah. don't know that. Yeah, but so... it's fine if that shrinks. It's still going to be big, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Um... I just, I just thought it'll be easier to sew while it's still got the dress, whatever dressing is in it, because it's still very stable, yes. and then I'd wash it afterwards. Yes. Well, if you're you, not, when you, know, you wash it, it might go a little bit... I mean, bit. when it shrinks, it's only very, very marginal, yeah, exactly. isn't it? Uh, but sometimes fabric has got uh, dye loss, a little bit of dye loss, and you haven't got to worry about that with this anyway. Well, no, except if you if you put a pale thing in it and, and, and it, one of them does run. Yeah. Anyway, we've got to go, got to go. Fiona's back in now at a time. She's doing the co coat again. Yes. But we're doing a hack on it. We're doing a hack. There's the real one. Yeah. And then this is the one we're going to do. Who's that stylish lady there? There? Well, that's our younger sister, that one there. Look. 
Uh, so that's one we're going to be doing. I'll be back straight after this break with uh, the quilt and some pre-cuts. We'll see you in three. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page.
Isn't this lovely? This is so gorgeous. Look at all the loads have gone already. Loads have gone already, just so you know. And I haven't got as many. Rebecca Reed had a William Morris one on last week, and I haven't got as many as she had on her show. I remember they sold out completely within the show with people gagging for more. Right, it's 149.99, three split pay of 49 pounds and 99 pence. It's William Morris Tartan Quilt. Uh, 130 centers centimetres by 161 centimetres. You get everything that's in this box. It's the William Morris fabric. It's the finished quilt size, such that 19 fabrics, right? Over six metres of fabric in there. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Do you ever look inside? Now do it. Oh, why have they put four pieces of tape on this one? Oh, did it slide off? See, because the cave ones don't normally, do they? Oh, yeah, there you go. Cat put the four bits of cellar tape on, you see. So have you already been in this one, then? Oh, yes, here we go. So, there's the instructions. It's a beginner, a beginner quilt. Look, here's the instructions. I know, but look, 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 look. Tells you all the different fabrics that you've got in all the different, how, mu how much you've got of each of them. You need to get your own backing, obviously, and you need to get your own wadding. Uh, but I'll go through all this fabric in a second. Look, how brilliant is that? It tells you all the cutting out, what you cut out of fabric A, oh, sorry, I put that cutter. What you cut out of fabric B, fabric C, fabric D. You can't go wrong, really, can you? Then the sewing, finishing, quilt, uh, quilt top assembly. Oh look, oh look at the way it's set. Now isn't that funny, let me look at the real thing. I didn't notice that on the real thing. So it's a blue in the middle, that must be, is that the middle there then? Blue in the middle, then four, four grey ones there, yeah. Then four red ones, yeah. Oh I see, there it is, so there's your centre block there. How fun, then a white, it's because it's on the side isn't it? It's pushed over to the side. How lovely is that? And there it, oh, there it is, the finished thing. The tartan quilt's beautiful. And you've got a mini border and then the wider border there. Right, let's have a look inside. This is already open. Yours won't be. Ours is already open because Kat's already been in it. So now, Kat, does it include, does it include binding? Because some do and some don't. Right, now, it doesn't say, so it must include the binding. Hang on, let's have a look. It's the blue spot. Yeah, 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 it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in. Because some of them don't have the binding in, and we always like to tell you the truth. So it's everything that you can see here, everything that's there. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? I love this one. Now we had this one, do you remember we had this one coloured in, didn't we, in like a turquoisey colour? That's nice, that line one, isn't it? Oh, now, I'm not supposed to make a mess of this, am I? So remember, you get over nine metres, no, six metres, six metres of fabric, 19 different fabrics. Here we go. Oh, look at them all, the way they're packed, it's beautiful. There's your strawberry thief in red big, strawberry thief in red little. Now, I want to call that snake's head, but that's not right, is it snake's head? Yeah, hang on. It, it, yeah, it's snake! Oh, well, I never. Snakehead, you see. Isn't that, oh, isn't it funny what your brain keeps hold of? Right? Then there was this one. That was willow or vine or something, that one, wasn't it? They, oh, I love this. That's just, this is the one little Paul likes. He wants a shirt made out of that. Then there's your red dot. Now, there's, oh, look at that silhouette one. That's marigold. Then look at that great big bold print in there. Now this one might not have the name on it because it's a smaller piece, this one. No, here we go. Bachelor's button. That's right. Bachelor's button. Oh my word, look at all these different... You see now, look, you've got everything in here really, haven't you? Hmm? Strawberry Thief, but massive. Then you've got your... Uh, there, aren't they beautiful? Look at that... I don't know if that one is, is it? That's marigold, that one. Marigold. That's marigold. Look at this. I've never seen this one before. 
That's the same as that first one, look, but just in a navy blue and a petroly blue. What was it called? What was this one called? Oh, mine. <laughs> I don't think it's called mine, that one. It's because they've cut it off. Mineral, oh, from the mineral collection. Maybe that's mineral. No, mineral. Anyway, look, 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 look. Because this is your border. That's your border, look, with your rabbits on. No, now you don't need to worry about the direction, look, because across the top here you've got the strawberry thieves. Then down the side here you've got the sideways rabbits. Then across the bottom, they've got the, ra the upside down. The thing is, it doesn't matter, does it? Because look at here, you don't have to worry about direction on all of them because we've got a strawberry thief looking that way, looking that way, looking that way, looking that way. It's just up to you, isn't it? It's just random, isn't it? I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one at all. Oh, look at the colour of that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, heather, I'd say it was a heather, musky heather. And then this, that's your board, that's your binding, look, and your inner border, look. Oh, they're beautiful, these fabrics, aren't they? Now, I've made the right old mess of these. And Emma's supposedly rushing off again after the show. There are 19 different fabrics there, 19 over 6 metres of fabric, complete instructions. No, in there, in there, all those different fabrics, look, they haven't got any planes, they've got all the beautiful William Morris prints in there. Stunning, isn't it? So that's your front and your binding. Half the stock's gone, half the stock has gone. Once you've all checked out, half the stock has gone. Oh, I love it. I might come back to it in a minute because I need to get on. But look. Oh, no. Who has? Cheryl. She's got the rabbit as wallpaper. Very nice. Which room is that in? Or? Who has? Oh, Baffa says the rabbit one is her favourite one. Now she's in soon, Baffa. Baffa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting all my words muddled up today. She hasn't got a BAFTA, but BAFTA is in soon. She, oh, she's doing amazing as well. Yeah. And what? Oh, Tuesday. Oh, it's in Cheryl's lounge. Oh, Cheryl, I bet that's beautiful. Uh, Teresa loves William Morris and she thinks this quilt is fabulous. Isn't it? Isn't it? Now, do we have to send this one back, or can that go round to my house? No, we have to send it back. Yeah, I've got to send it back. Look. Not that we're allowed. It's upside down, of course, whoever hung it up. <laughs> Let me have a look. Let me have a look at the picture. No, it's exactly the same as the picture. Rabel's in the wrong place. I just think it looked lovely on your sofa. I think that's one you need in your lounge, isn't it, really? Or on your wall, you know, as you go up your stairs, have you got a bit, my stairs, I go up four like that, turn round, go up four like that, and then turn round and go up four like that. That wall there is a really, really deep wall. And what I was going to do is I was going to have, like, William Morris wallpaper all through my, th from the hall, up the stairs, up the landing, all round the bedrooms, going to my office. I can't afford it. Can't afford it. I think I might. What I might do is I might get a paintbrush and draw a few strawberry thieves on and paint it myself. Anyway, check out on that. Check out on that. Check out on that. One hundred and forty nine ninety nine. Three split. Remember, three split pace. What date is it today? October the sixteenth, November. Oh, be paid for by Christmas. Be paid for by Christmas. How brilliant is that? I think it's lovely and beginner. Nobody is ever going to believe you. Oh, no, it's my first ever quilt. Nobody will believe you. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, bless you. Bless you. Well done if you've got yours already. Well done. How, well, no, no, no. It wasn't the first, wasn't it? The um, Becca Reads was the first, or no, not the first one, but like the, she had one last week. I haven't had them for ages, have we? She had one, was it last week or the week before? Anyway, it's sold out, sold out, sold out. This, and this will do the same. This will do the same. Oh, oh, now, um, are you sure? 
Kat's had a rummage in the schedule coming up and she can't see any more coming up. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Call that fab. There it is. Are you sure? Okay, and we just I've just found that's exclusive to us. Can't get it anywhere else. Package especially for us. So lovely. And also, do you know what? The thing is, you can put those squares in whichever. I know there's a pattern, but you could do that. If there's something you don't like there, you can move them around. If you wanted to. It's up to you. Completely up, that's up to you. Can we just look at it again from a distance? So have a look there. So you can see the middle's navy blue, and then you've got your grey and your red round it, and then you've got another row around that. So easy to put together. So easy. Beginner. Beginner, beginner, beginner. I oh know. Keep looking at that because it's beautiful, isn't it? Right, there are no more William Morris quilts at this moment in time in the system. So if you're thinking of getting one, maybe. And also, what a lovely Christmas present. Oh, can you imagine gifting that? You won't want to. You won't want to gift it at all. But you can do. Oh, that's better. I've got my screen back now. Much, I feel much better. It's kind of been cold. Right, more brand new. Free spirit. Well, before I go on to that, I just need to tell you this, right, before... On Sunday, I had these again, right? I sold more of these on Sunday than we've got in stock now. It's eight ounces of Moda fabric, right? Now, it's beautiful. Even Jan, you know, Jan, she said she's bought two and she says they are brilliant. Everybody, I'll be totally honest with you, one lady did complain because all of hers were white. Now, if that happened, we'll just swap it for you. Obviously, we, we, we kind of wouldn't want that to happen. We haven't bagged them up. Moja have bagged them up. But I just want you to see, they're not, they're not the ends of a design roll. These ones here, well, if you look at this, right? So if you think a fabric is 40 inches wide, they've obviously cut three 10-inch uh, layer cakes. And this is what's left over. There's your selvage. And there's the line where they've cut them out. See, so that's what these are. They could be bigger pieces, they could be smaller pieces, but they're all usable. They're all totally and utterly usable. They're 100% cotton. They're Moda fabric. You know how gorgeous Moda fabrics are. 14 .99. 14 that, that works out to 8 ounces. It's done by weight, right? Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. Now, I, you won't get this one because this is now our studio one, but you could get one with exquisite fabrics in like that. Totally and utterly usable. Yeah, now, I can't guarantee this, but all the ones we've seen in the studio, we were, on Sunday, we meant to call up loads of them and we forgot to do it. Um, they seem to all go together. What's in the bag all goes together. If you've had one of these in the past, let me know. Let me know what you thought of it. Oh, we see pictures on the fan page. Well, Jan put, oh, that's how I know about Jan's, because she put pictures on the fan page of hers. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. They're beautiful, aren't they? Eight ounces. It's done by weight. It's a good weight of fabric. That. Sorry. Oh, and while we're here, whilst we're here, these scissors. We didn't really see them. When I first went to Wimbledon School of Art in 1981, 40 years ago, I met Dulcie and all the team. Right. These scissors here. These are 12-inch shears. You get a Retractable tape measure, and you get a quick unpick in there as well. These are exquisite. Now, when I got mine, these are 12 inches, right? You're going to see Fiona use these in the next hour. In the next hour, right? Mine weigh a ton. These have been designed so they're balanced, they're beautifully balanced, but they're not too heavy. Also, all handle, my ones, the ones I've got, are like, cast iron or pig iron or something like that. These are covered in some sort of, I don't want to say silicon in case it's not silicon, but you know on the little iron and you know on rotary cutters, there's that soft touch bit around the edge. Well, these are completely covered. This bit here, completely covered now, so you're not going to get that like achy hand sort of thing. And then, look at this. That's just, well, let me do this. I'll go through several layers. It just slides through this fabric. Isn't that beautiful? These won't go to waste, don't worry. They'll go in little square as cornerstones and things like that. Or half square triangles. Aren't they? Ju it just glides through the fabric. There they are. 19 
19.99 and you get this and you get this. Imagine those as a gift. Somebody's going to think you spend a fortune on them. Oh, here you go. Jackie bought the Moda scrap bag. She got the B collection. Fabulous or lovely quality. It's all Moda. It's all Moda. You know it's going to be good quality. Could be from any of their ranges. Right, 19.99 those scissors. Right, now I need to go back to new today. I've got Tula Pink line works. Now, you know we've had all these fabrics already. These will go, well, they're black and white, basically. Black and white. Right, which one do you want to go to first? Five inch squares, right? So you look at these, right? The five inch squares, they come in the mixed, the black, and the white. Let's start with white now. Cat saying, I said, oh, they're all white, they're all white. Cat says they've got patterns on them. Uh oh. I'm not going to slice. There you go. Can you see? The oh, yeah, look, you can see the pattern on them. There you go. Hey, I've got it, done it. Oh, you might not know. We still need to see your picture because you might not see it in real life. Look. Look. They've all got that swallow and stardust pattern on them. Look. Now, I don't know. Look, can you see there? Because in real life, they're here, but you can't see them. You'll see them at home, obviously. Can you see? Can you see there? Oh, 14.99. They're five inch, 42, five inch squares. You get there, 14.99. So if ever you're going to use a white, you don't want a, just a plain solid white, then use these. Aren't they lovely? They're all the same. They're all exact same. Or they're not, they'll all be from different parts of that fabric, obviously, but they're all five inch squares. They haven't got a zigzaggy edge. You've got a laser cut edge. And there they all are. You get 42 of them, 42 of them, all five inch squares. Tula pink, five inch squares. <laughs> yeah, I don't, there you go, I've got it, I've done it. I'm getting the next ones ready. Don't look at me. I'm getting the next ones ready, but the bags are, oh, you better see the pattern on the black one really well. <laughs> Don't come back to me. I'm struggling, that's right. I'm, I'm with you now, I'm with you now. Anyway, they're the white ones, $14.99. Keep going through those people multi-buying. People are multi-buying those. Five inch free spirit fabric. Right, now let's go to the black because you can really see them on the black, look. So if you need a bit, oh, in real life you can see it really well. Let's just have a look, can you see? So that's the same as the pattern on the white there, 14 99 have we got a still of this? There you go. There you go. Imagine if you did half square triangles with the black and the white. How striking. Now you could do pinwheel in black and white. Oh, can you imagine? Ooh. Barbara McClay. I have a cheeky morning off, so watching you with a cup of tea. Loving your shirt. That's Barbara McClay, who's on every day, it seems, in November. Uh, I'm, I'm not complaining. Uh, and then Becky Alexander Frost said, you've got a dirty laugh, John, that always sets me off. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? It's 25 to 10 in the morning. How very dare you. Anyway, they're the black ones, 14 99 Now, isn't that funny? The white is more popular than the black, but there's more black ones in the baskets. So once you check out, the black will be more popular. But you're not checking out at this moment in time. Are you waiting to see the mixed? That's what I want to know. Well, what's in the mix, did you say? Oh, oh, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the mix to be mix of those, those, and those, right? That's what I thought the mix was going to, can you see all three of those? I thought the mix was going to be that, that, and that, right? Wait till you see this. Right, these won't, these won't stick around. These won't stick around, watch. Ready? Look, gorgeous, loads of those. Then you've got the white ones. Yeah, got those. 
Then you've got the black one. But look! Pom pom! Pom 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 pom! In black and white. Now you get quite a few of each one. But then look! Zebra! I can't remember what the zebra one was called now. Look, a few zebras. Uh, that's the skunk. The skunk, that one. So make sure the whole range. Then you've got marquee stripes, tent stripes. I'm not, look. I know I'm getting overexcited and I know a lot of you don't like it when I get overexcited, but we've never had these before. Never had these before. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. <coughs> yes, I am. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Minerals. Minerals. Or geodes, I like to call those. Oh, my word. Look. Pandas. Pandalicious. Pandemonium. Pandemonium, that one was called. Pandemonium. That's right, because that one's called Stinky something. I can't... What was the zebra one called? Little Stinker. Raccoon. Raccoon. Oh, Lima, is it? It's not a raccoon. Lima alone, that one's called. Lima alone, that one's called, yeah. Then you've got that one, which is your albino um, peacocks. Look. Can't remember what that one's called. Then you've got more. Oh. Other way around. Multi-buying. Well, oh, oh, and then there's the black one. There's the black one. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Fourteen ninety nine. Julius says, I love it when you get all excited, John. Oh, so people have been complaining, Julius. So I have to be careful. Pam Mini Honey says, you're allowed to get overexcited. It's Tula Pink. I know, Pam Mini Honey. I love it. This one's open now. This one will have to go to my house. If you buy all of them now, then this one can go to my house for me to look after. Oh, I think this is brilliant. Why didn't we have this one? We launched the collection. That's what I don't understand. Oh, do you know what? A lot of these fabrics were caught up in the old um, transporty thing, weren't they? Oh, uh, apparently they were scheduled. So what's the zebra one called? Doesn't matter, it's fine. Fourteen ninety nine. These are actually... No, I don't mean that fabric. I meant the zebra one. This one here is our actual working drawings. That one there is our actual, with all their notes and everything. But when it was the zebras on their own, there was a name for it, wasn't there? That's that one, isn't it? What's the one with the zebras on their own? Of course, I can't find it now, can I? That one. It could be a play on something to do with zebras or... Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. Read between the lines. That was it. Thanks, Cat. And these fairy flakes. What did they were called that? Anyway, thank you, Julia. As the saying goes, don't let anyone dull your dull your sparkle. Excitable, better than boring, says Margaret. Thank you. Bless you. Oh, because I sneeze. Thank you, Maria. Oh, actually, uh, uh, yeah, and I will do this while I'm here. Oh, I've got the proper one. Okay. Fourteen ninety nine. These are brilliant, aren't they? When you think they're Tula Pink Free Spirit, and you pay fourteen ninety nine for any designer one, wouldn't you? I can't. I, Oh, that's nice. Who said I can't be doing with presenters who don't care about the products they sell? So uninspiring. You get excited as you like. The native lighting one is TV gold. Well, I tell you what, I had a TV lighting show. I wasn't naughty on it at all last week, and it was so, it was Sunday. So busy. So, and Claire's in again next week. Next week. Soon. 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 Right. <coughs> Got to get a move on. Twenty minutes. Let's do the ten-inch version. Of, right. I'm going to do the ten-inch version of that one then. Oh, look, I have to keep this one now as so. well. Look, 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 you get full on. Oh, my word, look, 44 99 This is brilliant because you get much more of the fabric, don't you? Ha. 
you get four five inch squares out of each of these, remember? So 10 inches because you've got five, 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 five. So hang on. So four times 42 is 160. Is 168. So you're actually getting 168 of the. 168 of those in this pack for 44.99. Yeah, so if you bought four of these, they'd be £60, right? But you can get the equivalent for £44.99 out of there. <gasps> love, 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 love. £44.99. Gorgeous. I am rushing now because I've realised we've only got 20 minutes left. Keep going through. I'm not going to open. I've got good quantity. Just as well I've opened them now, isn't it? I'm not going to open the black one because you know what the black one looks like inside. Forty-four ninety-nine again. There they are. Are you sure they're the ten inch, not the five inch? There you go. Forty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And the white one. Sorry, I'm rushing. White one at forty-four ninety-nine. Fairy flakes in white. Go, oh, I rang up about my doors. <coughs> you know, my doors, they're due this week. I said, oh, hello, Kevin. Any side of my door? He said, I'll get back to you, John. And then he rang back and he went, let's put it this way. You'll have them by Christmas. So I said, oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. And then he said, no, it's not my smash door. This is my new front door, back door and side door. Uh, and um, he said, they're due to be delivered to the warehouse on the 10th of December and I, 8th of December and I said I'll take the week a uh, few days and the week after and you can come and fit them they went oh, I wouldn't do that anyway fat quarters fat quarters fat quarters I don't mind I don't mind and did you know there's going to be a shortage of glass oh cat you'll if you order new windows they won't be till, till spring because you need gas to make glass because glass is melted down sand or something like that isn't it yeah, so you uh, if you order your windows now, I bet you don't get them until March. And, but order them now, because the prices are going to go up. If you order it now, yeah. Anyway, fat quarters, there's me, listen to me. Look, these are fat quarters, look. Look. I thought you had your new front door already. What was that picture I saw then? Oh... Oh, I only saw one and well, I didn't really like it very much. I hope you haven't picked that one. Look! Fat quarters! Uh, how much was it? Oh, yours was cheaper than mine. I've ordered three of them though, remember Emma. 49 99 Which one shall I open? Peacocks. Oh no, Cat wasn't going to say peacocks. Look, 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 look. Uh, Claire says, one of my favourite quotes, don't let the muggies get you down. Oh, I don't know what that is. Be enthusiastic. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just saying. I was just saying. Trees says, have I missed something? Has someone said John was overexcited? Love you as you are, John Scott. Never change. I won't. Don't worry. Morning, John. Bit late. Had to get my grandson as my daughter's gone into labour. Oh my word! And it's her birthday as well. Well, that'd be a birthday present and a half, wouldn't it? Anyway, look. Thirteen fat quarters, forty-nine ninety-nine. Beautiful, aren't they? Free spirit fabric. L How much? For oh, less than four pounds a fat quarter. Less than four pounds a fat quarter for a designer Tula Pink Free Spirit Fat Quarter. Design rolls, well, we call them jelly rolls, don't we, at Moda? Oh, it's not Moda. Sorry. You're quite right, Kat. Sorry. I've been calling them all the wrong thing. Moda, you can call design jelly rolls. Oh, got all three. Oh, fantastic. Which one's first? 
White first. I'm not going to open them, obviously, because you've seen the fabric. It's not plain white. It can't be the same picture because it's a different shape. Let's have a look then. <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> they're not two and a half inch design roll pieces, are they? Anyway, take that away. Forty-four ninety-nine. 44 99 you get 40 pieces in there, all two and a half inches. These are laser cut. These aren't zigzaggy cut. They're laser cut, these. We've been waiting for these for ages. Well, no, we won't get them in again because we'll have moved on. We'll move on to the next two, won't we? Anyway, that's the white one, black one. They have got prints on them. I'll show you the picture of the print in a second if you just tuned in. $44.99. Okay, it says, I'm overexcited. My 580 just arrived and the mixed Tula Pink 5-inch, my favourite pre-cut. Oh, oh, you're going to love it. We won't see Kate again today. She'll have that 570 out of its box and she'll be whizzing along in it. 44. I got my sewing machine from uh, fr where I had it. I nearly said the name of the shop then. Where I had it uh, serviced in Hannah's village and Hannah wasn't there. No, she was here. And then the mixed one, the mixed one in here. I love this one. Get this one, buy this one, buy this one. If you can buy any of them, buy this one. You get the black one and the white one in there, look, but you also get all the patterns as well. Lulu, morning, Johnny. I'm enjoying watching all the beautiful fabric while getting ready for my trip to Nottingham Cider Festival. Have a good day. Ooh, when are you going to start drinking cider? I don't know where Lulu's going from, though, you see. Oh, Sue's going back to bed. She's never felt so ill. Oh, you take care, Sue. Are they all the different fabrics? Sorry, did you show there? Obviously, they're the two and a half inch strips, but yeah. That's all of our brand new tulip pink. Look at all this I haven't even gone through. Uh, let's just go. How are, we, how are we doing with that quilt? I don't want anyone to miss out on the quilt. Right, half the stock's been checked out and there's even more in baskets. Let's just double check. How oh, I was going to say, how come the sewing machine's there when it's on the floor? <laughs> it was a still we took earlier, obviously. This one, sorry. So that takes us over half, half now, is it? Yeah. More than half the stock of that's gone. Morning, John. My seven-month-old goddaughter, Autumn, is loving watching you and laughing at the screen. Loving the show from Tracy and Stratford to Avon. Tracy, have I have ever seen you in Tesco's or Waitrose? I live there. Well, I live in a village five miles south, so hello. Do you, say, do you know what? You know Angelina from Gems, Gemporia? She was in Tesco's the same time as me, and she went in and she went to with producer Rachel, our friend Rachel from Dudley. Oh, I saw John Scott in um, Tesco's the other night. Why didn't you come and say hello? So if you see me in Tesco's, come and say, or Waitrose, come and say hello. Cave fat quarter pack. I've only got the one. Have I got prism? I haven't got any prism to have. Oh, did you see Helen's Bargello that she made out of prism on the Facebook fan page? It is, oh, well, I'm going to nick it. Right, so this one looks like equator, this one. Equator, this one is. 20, 20, you get 20 in there. Four pounds each it works out at. Oh, Linda says, this community is so wonderful. Where else do you get to share the excitement of new machines, beautiful fabrics, inspirational patterns with like-minded people? Oh, she's going all the way from Essex to a cider festival. My word. Anyway, 79 99 beautiful, aren't they? Right, Kat's saying she'd put those with the black of the Tula Pink. Oh, we've got this one in the design roll as well. Yeah, I can see it over there. I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Equator in the design roll, $44.99. There you go, is that the right one? Yes, it is. Lovely colours and hot, summery vibes. Oh, Kat's mum's buying, sitting by a swimming pool in. Where is she? What country is she in? 
Spain, whereabouts in Spain? Oh, she's Marbella. Marbella. She's gone with her husband, Kat's dad, and two other people. But they're not sitting together. Like, Kat's mum was sitting with the other man, and the other man's wife was sitting with dad, yeah? 44.99. On the aeroplane. No, she wasn't. Oh, they look, are they identical twins? Moving on. Uh, I want to do a bit more black and white. Moda, illustrations, illustration. Now, we did have a um, panel to go with this, didn't we, as well? They're lovely because you get black, black on white, you get white on black, and then you get grey. Oh, OK, the picture's no good to show you. I'm not going to open them because I haven't got very many of those now. 17. You get seven. Seventeen in there. Uh, is anyone going to the Malvern quilt show tomorrow? My next door neighbour, Chris, is going. If you see Chris, say hello. Um, at Malvern's shows on for more than one day, though, isn't it? I think Chris is going on Saturday. I'm here all weekend. I can't be going at visiting anybody or anything. Next. Uh, squeeze it. What's this one here? This is nice. These are Fat Eights Mill Creek Gardens. How many of these have I got? Oh. There's 35 in there. They're Fat Eights. Makes them just over two pounds each, doesn't it, look? Lovely colours. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Mill Creek Gardens. They're lovely. Who is it by? Moda. Who's that lady? Jan Patek. Oh, Jan Patek. She looks like Catherine Tate, doesn't she? We're loving, loving those colours. Very traditional, aren't they, those? Well, I've got another fat quarter bundle, which I've never seen before. I've missed out a lot going on holiday, haven't I? This one's Riley Blake, Warm Wishes. Oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. That shouldn't, that meant, oh, it's brand new. I was going to say, who put this in here? Hayley put this in. This isn't meant to be here. I'm too late, I've opened it. It's too late, I'm going to do it. Christmas, fat quarters. Oh, look, I love this one. Our house, our church, the main road. Look. Oh, you've seen this one already. Look. So you've got all your pale green ones, first of all. Then you've got, oh, they're not the same. Normally they do the same but different, look, grey ones with parcels and snowmen. Then you've got your latte ones. Then you've got your white ones. Then you've got your red and white ones. Oh, and the pink ones are divine. Oh, look, there's the Our Home one. Brand new, flying out. Absolutely flying out, these are. Oh, look, I love that one. Oh, yeah, let's do a Deliveroo. I love your rebellious side, says Princess. I know I'm not supposed to open this one. <laughs> Don't care. It's absolutely flying out. It's Riley Blake. Riley Blake. It's Norman. Candy. Oh, we never had those candy sticks. Are they an American thing, those candy sticks? Because we never had them when we were little. Hmm? Do I know who? Oh, right. Colin the Caterpillar, yeah. Oh, that sounds horrible. Who bought them for you? Oh, she won't be watching. It's fine. They're horrible. There we go. Hang on. That's not that one. That's that one. That's that one. That's no money one. There you go. Three of each colourway. Look. Aren't they gorgeous? 72.99. You get 20. What? Right. Hang on a second. 
They're about three pounds fifty. Hang on, my my brain, my brain's not going. How much are they each? Oh, three forty-seven a fat quarter for Riley Blake. Um, they're brand new. Not supposed to be in the show either. Not supposed to be here. Haley put them in. It's fine. Haley put them in. She's in charge. Percy pigs are better, cat. Cat. Percy pigs are better. The vegetarian ones. Oh no, we we had some vegan ones in here once. They were very sweet. Anyway, seventy two ninety nine. Come on, I've got to get a move on. Are there any left? Right, the most popular item of the hour, these. And there's a few left if you haven't come in to get them yet. Line work mix, fourteen ninety nine. Oh, oh my word, shed loads of the... Oh, I don't suppose to say that, am I? Shed loads. So many of these have gone. <laughs> shed loads have gone of these. I'm not surprised. Look, you've got your pom-poms, pandemonium, lima alone. Can't remember what the white pe albedo peacocks was called. That's up, uh, minerals, hexes. Pom pom. Between the lines. Stinky fella. What? These are most affordable uh, to the pink pre cuts today. Jackie says, You're all cheering up. Found out yesterday we're going to be great grandparents in April. Ah, oh, is that the ones that just got married recently? April, May, June, July. Were well, they on honeymoon in July? Stent stripes, pom poms. Fairy, what's it? Fairy dust. No, it's called, what's it called? Fairy flakes. I'm nearly, nearly there. Gorgeous. Right, I need to warn you about this, right? Fiona's coming up in a second. We've got, at 11 o'clock, we've got a professional two hours, right? Can we show the pictures of what we've got? Is that point? We can do it from the website. We can do the, let's go to pre-order. Let's go to pre-order. I just need to show you. Fiona's up next doing a coat again and we're doing a hack on it. Right, go to the bottom of pre-order. These are selling already, right? So, Gary and George are in. They, between them, are going to be doing the Juki Professional Steam Iron. Save £50. They're selling already. Now, two of you won that in the Christmas raffle. No, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Christmas prizes, right? If you are one of those two people, do message in and tell us what you uh, what you think of them right but those are going already you're saving 50 pounds then we've got the blind hemmer industrial sewing machine now um i, I think it's gary that's going to be doing demo on this one i can't remember which way around it is now but anyway oh george is doing that one george is doing that one lawrence his dad used to still runs franklin's shop in colchester where i used to go in 1984 to 1988 and lawrence was the young lad Lawrence was the young lad in the shop, right? And they had the mum and the dad, and they had the two brothers. Lawrence would walk... Anyway, I'll tell you later. Next one. And then, so we've done that one. Then we've got this sewing machine, just does a straight stitch. Brand new to sewing... Uh, oh, yeah, because that was sewing quarter, wasn't it? We had it in sewing quarter. We had it in sewing quarter. Does a straight stitch only. Goes very, 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 very fast, right? And then uh, we've also got the electric scissors. And for some reason, there's two bottles of press press in that hour as well. Right, okay, Fiona's up after the break. We're back, we're back on schedule now, we're back on schedule. So let me just clear a table and wipe her table for her before she comes in. Uh, we'll see you in four from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up 
to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. 
If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Just saying, should we do panto? Kat and I, we're going to work in theatre and do panto this year. That'd be nice. Not be in it. We won't be in it. We'll do the costumes, everything. Anyway, Sona's back, Sona's back, Sona's back. We're doing two patterns in this hour. We're going to start off with the Ursula Cotigan, which is this pattern here. Now, it's £18.50, sizes 8 to 20. Now, in there, we've well, got something in my way. Um, you can either make a nice long one like this, which you'll see Fiona wearing in a minute, or you can make a nice short. Oh, we've got pictures. Or you make a nice short one like that. Oh, it's not even pictures, the video's there, it's the short one. Is that your house? That's my garden studio. Oh, darling, you need to cut yes. the lawn. Well, actually, it's all paved, it's all um, it's covered in stones now. We've oh, is it? Yeah, we've completely redone that. Okay, that, that yeah. goes on for ages, that bit, doesn't it? Mm. So that's at the end of the garden where you go mm. to do your sewing and your designing, is it? Yeah, oh, it's my haven. And have we got a picture of the long one as well? Is yeah, that that one? one? That's in linen. So that's this oh, one. That's here. in linen, yep. right? That's so that, that looks quite too. Scandinavian, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. I can see the reflection of your house now. Mm. Oh, it's very seasidey, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Can you see the sea from your house? No. Oh no. no. <laughs> and then this one here is one for as well. You'll see that one in a minute. Yeah. What we're going to do on today's show now, if you want to buy the pattern, right? Then if you want to see how to make that as is, like this or like the one Fiona's wearing, it's all on her So Girl blog. Because we're going to do a hack on that today. And the hack is gorgeous because the hack looks like this. There, the blue one. The blue one that's next to Fiona, yeah. Blue one? Oh, what, this one? No, no, the blue one next to you there. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. No. There, it the is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Got confused there. Right, the other pattern we're going to talk about in this hour is the Brompton military style hack which you can also make out of the bald wool that we've got for the coat today. <clears throat> There's the pattern. Comes in small, medium or large. Nine pounds. Nine pounds. Oh, your hair's longer on that one. Mm. And we've got a picture of someone else wearing that hat. Let's have a look. Oh, mm. who's that? Jen That's Leg. Jen Leg. She's yeah. glamorous, isn't she? Hello to Jen. She a friend of yours then? I feel like she's a friend, but that's the thing about social media, isn't it? You have all these people following you and you get chatting to them and, and she, you know, she often makes... So she's a virtual friend. Well, she posts pictures of things that she's made. Oh, nice can we have a look at the picture again? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So hang on, watch. Is, is the coat yours as well? No. No. No, just but the hat. She, yeah, she's a lovely lady. She's a hairdresser. Uh -huh. But she does a lot of crafting and she made that coat as well. And she does she live near coat. you? Because look at the seaside. No, uh, I don't know where she lives, actually. <gasps> Yeah, we like her um, boots as well. Some, yes, near the anyway, coast, obviously. and she's called Jen Leg. Jen Leg, yes. She's Jen been Leg. a bit poorly recently as well. So. Oh, you get better yeah. soon. Anyway, nine pounds, nine pounds, nine pounds is the pattern. Right, we have got several fabrics. They're all boiled wools. Yeah. Now, I've. What are you saying? I was sighing. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> right, we've got them in different colours. Now, we've got them by the half metre, but we've also got them in bundles as well. So, shall we start with this, this darker blue one that we've got made the hack out of? Mm. It ends 96. Now, did we get a three metre? Uh, what kind of size bundle are they come in? I've only got half metres here. We've got a three metre bundle. Show you what you get in your bundle. Yeah. So now, this is only half a metre that I'm showing you here, but if you buy a three metre bundle, it's 64 99 But you will get three metres. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. It's lovely. That Now, it looks a bit dark on that one. Can we do it to that one over there? Because it looks a little bit dark on the telly. Come to me, then I'll twist it. Oh, actually, there, no, there you go. That picture's fine. That picture's fine. That's the lovely colour it is there. So now the three metre bundle is 64.99. Is Kat in there or out here? Oh, okay, she's just going to get the three metre bundle. So we'll just uh, chat amongst yourselves for a moment. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Shh, don't shout. Is that the three metre version of this? No, it's sapphire. Okay, we'll move on to the next one then. Because we need you to change the graphics. Oh. Here we go. Sorry, Fiona. <laughs> Only happens on your shows. <laughs> They're all stacked up on the shelf next door. 
So I'll, I'll show you what a three meter bundle looks like when the next one, when I show you sapphire. Have we done that one in half? Oh, hang on, did we do that one in half meter? Okay, we'll do that one in half meter first, sorry. Don't you think that's such a good price though? Oh no, it's fantastic. Considering it's 100% wool. Yeah, boiled wool as well. And it's not itchy. That's what I was thinking. Oh, oh, it's going to be horrible such, and itchy. And it's, it's not such itchy. a pleasure to So it's 10.99 for half a meter. Is that one called teal? Okay. It's mm. not teal, it's petrol blue. Look at, that's what you get for your half a meter look. So my sample is done in that fabric. Yeah. So we'll look at that in a second. It's it's more of a, it, don't think the tealness. The no, it's not teal though, is it? It's petrol, isn't it? it yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's like a petrol, but it's, it is a glorious colour, isn't it? Beautiful colour. It's a darker version of the sapphire. Right, well, going on to the sapphire mm. now. So this is sapphire. This is what you'll get at home. Yours will be better wrapped than this. Right, this is what you get for your three metre bundle. You see, I just didn't want you to look at that and go, 64.99. This is what you get for your 64.99. You see, that's what it's all about, mm. isn't it? So sapphire boiled wool, 64.99, three metres. I mean, okay. you pay sort of like nearly that for just cotton, don't you? Yes, exactly. No, no, exactly. And then here is your half metre. By the half metre. Oh, hang on, I'm getting problems now. Okay, have a look at that one. There you go. Beautiful. You're eating what? Saurine malt loaf. That won't do you any good. Righty-ho. Then I've also got the colour that you're going to be working in, which I love. Sangria. <laughs> I've not seen this kind of for. I'd have called it Ras. Mm, I'd have called it Ras because there's lots of colours yeah, in there. It's like aren't a there? deep raspberry, isn't mm. it? Mm. But it's got like I can see purples in it as well as mm. the pinks and the gorgeous, fuchsias and everything. Jewel. Oh right, now on my Facebook it looks bright red. It's mm. not red at all. It's a dark magenta. magenta. Mm. No. They're all looking a bit red. That one there. What's what's that one that on looks too um, pink, preview? Doesn't it? Preview colours best. That, oh, it still looks red, though. It looks pink there, doesn't yeah. it? But it's not pink. It's, like, much deeper. It's than dark it. magenta, like crushed berries. It's like a looks. ruby, like a deep ruby. It's like jewel-like. Yes, colour, that's exactly it? what it's like. Mm. Ruby, dark ruby. If you think of a Madagascan ruby... No, that's too purple now, that one. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely magenta, and it's beautiful. Right, so that's it in the bundle. We've also got it in the half metre if you want to make it in the hat. Ten ninety nine, ten pound ninety nine for half a meter. That that one's all right. That one that one seems to be all right now. Oh no, you see when it jumps from my preview screen to my main screen. How much fabric do I need to make the hat? Love the sangria bald wool. Thanks, Sharon. It's beautiful. Half a meter, just by half. And you'll have some left over, won't you? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, I think you would. I think you could make a couple of hats out of half. I a think meter. you could as well because because mm -hmm. the width of the fabric. Yeah. Anyway, so that's your sangria. Then I've got, the, I want to call this Bordeaux, but it's obviously not going to be called Bordeaux. Claret. Wine. What's it called? Wine. Wine. Now, this one's not in bundles. This one's only available by the half metre for some reason. Not sure why. Maybe it's limited and we couldn't make bundles out of it. Gary's here, everyone. He's waving. I hope you're not wearing that T-shirt on air, Gary. He's very casual. He's going topless, apparently. Oh, Ooh. Emma's very happy because Emma's <laughs> in love with Gary. Right, then I've got this beautiful grey. Three metre bundle in the grey. What are you looking for? Oh, now, this is George. Who I, you won't see him yet. This is George here, who I asked to be a friend on Facebook age ago, and he's just completely ignored me. <laughs> ignored me completely. And I know your dad, young man. <laughs> right, anyway, they, they'll be setting up for later. 64.99. For the three metre bundle. Okay, and then we've got it by the half metre. What we called it? Silver. Mm, I'd be tempted to say pewter myself. What about you? Like a grey marl. Grey marl. All right then. <laughs> and loads and loads and loads of people are buying half metres. I think it's for the hat. I think it's all for the hat, isn't it? I think it would look great. Hat season. Yeah. 
Well, I arrived this morning and Kat went, where's your coat? Why haven't you got a coat on? I've only gone from my back door into my car, driven here and got out and walked in again. You don't need a coat for that, do you? You didn't wear a coat. Your, did you? your cat said that. Cat. Oh, cat. No, I haven't your done cat. Harvey. <laughs> Where's your coat, John? Why are you wearing a coat? Going, right, I've done that in both lengths, right? And then, Rose. Okay. See, Palmer Violet, I'd call that. <laughs> Shows your age. <laughs> Oi, they still sell Palmer Violets. <laughs> Is this only yeah, so she's told me I'm fat <laughs> and old now. Oh, right, have me back again. No. What date did you say you were in again? <laughs> I'm off that day. <laughs> right, okay, so this is called Rose, this one. It's definitely a, like a lilac-y, lavender-y, violet -y Dust, colour. It's beautiful. Dusty pink. Mm? Dusty pink. Dusky pink. <laughs> right, and what about half a metre? Have we got this by the half metre? Okay, then we'll get on with some sewing. Oh, yeah, and you'll need some media weight interfacing. Only a small bit. So Only a tiny you've got bit. Some in your stash, I haven't got it here, know. unless you've got some in your stash. Yeah, you've uh, got, Kat's you got it. We haven't got it here, just three ninety nine. Yeah, you only need a bit for the medium the back weight. Neck, wants, that's right. all. Right, so there it is. Right, so we're starting with. Oh, now, can we just before we talk about the hack? If somebody buys the pattern and they want to make it the way you've made it, they can make that out of the boiled wool, can't they? Yes, they can. And any yes. any any things they might need to know will be on your blog, so blog, because the construction is sort of the same as it is, but you're just going to hack it today, aren't you? Yes. You're right there. No, I don't think I put my mic. Have I put my microphone on? Oh yes, I have. Yes, um, sorry, what was the question? Uh, if you make it out of the boiled wool, yes, then they can go to your blog and see how to make it. How, the, the traditional how to one from adapt the pattern. the pattern because it's sort of quite thick fabric. Yeah. You, you know, to be quite honest, you can make it as it is. But to be honest, I think it's it's just with this front front band because this is not a separate band that you stitch on. This is uh, just folded back, and the, what you have to do is fold back half a centimeter and then fold back another three or four right. centimeters. And you might first find it, it, it does make it sort of slightly bulky there, which you'd be fine if you've got a walking foot. But if you haven't, just just and because it doesn't fray. You can just fold it back once, once. you know, Perfect. and so makes it the less bulky, you know. And if they're going to make it out of their own fabric, like the, the fabric you've made yours out yes. of, it looks like a lovely, is it a boucle or something like that? I can't see. It's a jacquard. A jacquard, woven right? jacquard, yeah. Then they, all the instructions on how to make it are in, in here. Yes. And they can go to your blog to see you making it out of a another fabric rather yes. than the boiled wool. Yes. 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 But today, for the boiled wool, we're going to do a hack. Because the boiled wool doesn't have any frayed edges at all, you can leave them raw. So yeah. we're just going to sort of, I'm going to show you a different way of using the pattern so that it makes it almost like a sort of slightly waterfall, very sort of Japanese understated, uh -huh. almost like a sort of throw on cardigan um, and, and just no hems really. You still yeah. do the pockets in the same way, yeah. but you just don't have your, you just leave this. There's so, no facing. So because there's sort of slightly more fabric here, you're just allowing it to just fall back like that. And then I give you on the blog a pattern piece, very simple rectangle. And I'll show you that when I'm doing my demo, that you attach on the back instead of your facing. Okay, so that so, rectangle isn't in here. No. But you'll tell but us on the blog it's, and today. Yeah, so it's how just to measurements it. because it's literally a, a sort of rectangle. Perfect. Yeah. So that's okay, that's lovely. the only add-on bit. Yeah. Now, um, some of the pat so on the pattern you can you have an optional back belt as well. So if you look at this one, it's got the back belt. You don't have to have this, but right. if you want to put it on, you can. So it's an optional thing. Mine's got it. Mine's got yes. it here. Yes, it's nice. Okay. I think it looks nice with a short jacket, don't you? Yes, but I think it is. Yes, but I think with the hack, I probably wouldn't bother with that. No. And then with this long linen one, I haven't, I haven't put it on because it's very much a oh, dust. Oh no, because you want the linen one to be like a dust yes, coat. Yes, it's like a go. duster coat. That and one, that one also it? only has one fastening at the top, at the neck. Yes, so no but you, you could put more on if you wanted. Oh I no, mean, I quite like it like that because then it's going to it what opens, you're wearing underneath. That's right. Got, yeah. Yes, and it's got. I mean, you know, if you've got one special vintage button, and in my case, mm. only one of them, <laughs> you know, that's the obvious solution. Okay, isn't now it? are there, there's no buttonholes on this one. Are the buttonholes on the one? You're no, wearing? I don't put buttonholes. At all, but you could if you wanted to. Right. But the only thing, the only reason I didn't is because you've got like a hem there. If you've got thicker fabrics, it's not always that easy. And, and also, not everyone likes to do a buttonhole, they're frightening. No, and they, they sort of, when you have 
when you've got it open, it, it's, you've just got this gaping hole here. I think yeah. it's a bit unsightly. So I just think, I wanted it to have a retro look. No, no, it's lovely, so definitely. I just, it's a feature of the yeah. pen, but you can put buttonholes on if you Brilliant. want to. Brilliant. Okay, so where do we start? What okay, we so and um, just a little extra yeah. thing. If you've got the boiled wool, you've got a free shawl scarf pattern on the, to download on the website, on the blog rather. Right. So if you've got, if you're making a hat and you've got a bit of extra fabric, I think you probably could make a hat and the shawl. It's just a really nice little matching thing. And that's really, a free pattern of that's yours on download. your blog. That's a free Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Right. So here's the pattern. Right. So obviously you've got the lay plans there. So you've got different layouts for different um, widths of fabric. So mm -hmm. obviously for the larger width of fabric, you just need to fold the fabric over so partially. Um, and then there's your pattern pieces and then there's your pocket insertion. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could just put a patch pocket on. I mean, you don't have to do my pocket. I mean, my pocket is rather lovely. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's uh, just as good to put a patch pocket on yeah. if you want to. And then it takes you through to the facing bit and everything, which you won't be doing if you're doing the hack. So that's right. just the... Um, so all in all, it's quite a straightforward, if you're not using the board wall, if you're using your own fabrics, it's quite mm. a straightforward pattern again, isn't it? I think it's a straightforward yeah. pattern, yes. It's just got facings and a front-hemmed mm -hmm. front band. But I will show you how to do the other one as well, sort of like, you know, I'll just explain it okay, as I, when I get to that stage. So the first stage is to do the lovely pocket. So here's one I've made earlier. So here it is, and it's sort of been top-stitched on the... Um, it's been top stitched afterwards, so you can accentuate yes. the the shape of the pocket, and also it fixes it in place, so it doesn't sort of waggle around underneath. That's lovely. Now, could you, mm. um, you put it back down the table? There, could that inside bit be a different colour? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? So, if you had the row, some of the rose one or some of the grey yeah. one, you could do an, uh, an uh, just the, the the back part of the pocket could be yeah. a different colour. You it? could, yes, that would be lovely. Yes, well Just done, hacking John. as Thank I go you. here. Yeah, that's no, all. it's good. It's good to sort of like, you know, try out some different ideas. Now, uh, so here's your pocket piece. You've got two. You've got one that's got a sort of hole cut out of it. Right. And you've got another one that's the, the backing bit. Right. So the, you first of all, you put on your, the uh, cut out po pocket piece. So you just pin it at the in a curved edge on the right now is that the right side right sides curves? together now obviously with the boiled wall you haven't got a right or wrong side no. so it doesn't really matter but if you have it's the right sides together okay. and then you're just going to pin it and you know i quite like putting my pins like this and then you can just literally sew over them but i'm sure a lot <gasps> of people would be gasping at that but you know, when it's telly sewing, you just have to think about yeah. speed, don't also, you? Also, when I when I learned, we sewed over we sewed over pins when I first started. Did you? We so it's okay then, is it? Yeah, according to. The Pauline law. says the rose is her favourite. The rose coloured is her favourite. It's pretty, isn't mm. it? So, so what are you doing? Now I've got turquoise blue stitching in here, so you'll be able to see the stitch line, but I would <laughs> obviously recommend having the same colour thread as... Okay. But, and having said that, you know, you could actually have a little bit of contrast yeah. stitching going on, couldn't you? In fact, especially when you're defining the edge of the pockets, that might be quite nice. So we're sewing around the inner, inner edge. What's the seam allowance? So it's a centimetre down around uh -huh. there. And then take that off. And now you can either clip it and trim it. So we just trim it down. Just trim off the bulk and then just, just nick it all the way around and that will just allow it to sit a little bit better mm -hmm. when you turn it. Do you only snip you don't you don't cut out V's? Well you could you know if I had more time I probably would cut out V's I think I do say in the pattern to cut out V's but okay. um, I just think for speed I'm just doing it like that. Yeah. Right so um, we get our Taylor's ham. Now, when you're pressing boiled wool, I would not press the living daylights out of it because it can flatten it and lose its bounce. Right. So either put a 
a nice cloth over it or just literally steam it and then press it down with your hand right. or if you've got some could use a clapper could use a Would clapper that be too much? yes but when you're when you're actually pressing seams open you don't have to worry too much because if you're pressing on to the seam allowance that's okay it's just when you're pressing onto the main yeah. body so now this might be a silly question can you wash boiled wool question isn't it uh, I don't see why not no. but I would you know obviously you don't want to felt it any more than it no, is no 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 but if you want so to once you could, rather than taking the dry cleaners could you put it through a delicate wash on your what's well, uh, not your sewing machine your washing machine yeah Ooh. what's the ma what's the manufacturer's I'll find I think out. It, I think it is a cool wash isn't it on the boiled wool cat's gonna find out for us now not my cat at home the cat in the gallery I mean a lot of you know it will sort of does it has to be said you know it pills a little bit but it's, this isn't actually that bad no. it doesn't pill that much but um it's quite rare to find things that actually are 100 percent wool these mm -hmm. days isn't it everything's got synthetics in it yeah. now personally i try and avoid synthetics uh -huh. it's just not good for the environment and i think also the, the wool industry is having a bit of a hard time yeah. isn't it so Donna says, could you stop top stitch using a decorative stitch? Yes, lovely. Love that idea. Oh, here you go. Okay, a gentle, this is the manufacturer's washing instructions, a gentle, lukewarm bath. Okay, <laughs> the actual bath would be quite good, so you'd have to move it around too much. With a specific, like, woolite wash. You know, a lot of well, sewing a lot of wash sewing machines, a lot of washing machines have a wool cycle, don't yeah, they? Yeah, exactly. Or delicate. So I, say, I, I put it on delicates in your mm. washing machine. It's saying don't agitate it too much. Don't wrinkle it. Mm. Squeeze it rather than wring it. Rinse and roll and press in a towel. Oh, right. Okay. Or dry clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've washed boiled wool in a machine before. I'm going to take a piece home and try it later. To be honest, when do you ever wash jackets? I mean, I don't wash them. <laughs> no, no, no. But if you had a coat coat that got a gr like, say you'd been yeah. to the chip shop and it came, you stank of chips, right? <laughs> yeah. You'd either hang it in the garden to air it off yes. for breeze or something, but yes. sometimes you just want to freshen it up, don't yes, you? Yes, you do, yes. Or dry cleaning doesn't it. freshen it up, just, does it? Just slightly sponge it, I think. Yeah. Right, so I'm now top stitching around this bit here so um and i've extended the length of my um stitch so that um i can so and i've also got i've got my walking foot on uh -huh. but you are you sure you'd be able to manage without it um but just extend your length and actually do you know what this blue stitching looks rather lovely oh there you go Look at that. Doesn't match the other side though. That's the Let's only trouble. Oh yes. Doesn't match the other side. That's all right. Could be I'll a feature I'll have to redo it feature. later, won't I? Or we'll do the other side blue. So now we take the, um, so flip it over and we're going to put the, we're going to put the, uh, the pocket lining mm -hmm. on top. So there we go. We're matching up the outer Now th it's not it's not a huge pocket this one. It's sort of enough to kind of like you know do a pose in it. All oh, right, but not keep things in. You know, like your your RuPaul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, and your glasses and things. But I mean, yeah. it's not it, they're not deep pockets or no. anything. There we go. So pin it like that. I'm just going to be a bit minimal with my pins. You know, if you feel a bit nervous about pinning and sewing, you could always hand tack it first, couldn't you? We could use clips, wonder clips. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> controversial. I'll put those back. They're, they're good for some things, but they could get, get in the way, really, couldn't yeah. they? So. Oh, yeah, Donna was used for breeze as well. Just freshening up. Oh, for breeze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do it. My nan did. Just spray perfume all over it. 
I follow this woman and she makes lots of clothes out of um, African fabric. She said her mother never washed clothes. She just always just sponged clean them, like cleaned them. Well, also, it's not very good for the environment. Every time you wash, no. I've noticed, every time you wash clothes, little polyester particles come off or little yeah, particles come off and go right. into the sea. Yeah. Um, Kat saying, when I worked in theatre, to be used for breeze, it wasn't invented when I worked in theatre, Kat. <laughs> and we definitely didn't spray it with vodka. <laughs> Apparently vodka. these days they spray it with vodka mixed with Febreze. Don't <laughs> drink it afterwards, Kat, though. <laughs> so when, when, you've, when you've done that, you just yeah. lay, lay it out on a table like so. Uh -huh. And then you just want to pin it down. And then we're going to re-stitch it. Oh, right, yes, I see. This so, is your f so this is what's creating the top stitch outline of yeah. the pocket. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we basically follow the line of stitching all the way around. Do you stitch it from this side? You stitch it on the wrong side yeah, yeah. because you're just going to re-stitch on top right. of what you've previously stitched. And then that way, you know, and if you've kept your one centimetre seam allowance, then you're basically going to make sure that they're both the same, yeah. aren't you? Got a question from Anne saying, I bought a three metre bundle. Will I need extra fabric to make a matching hat? Do you think we'll be able to get it out? Well, if she's making a short jacket, definitely. Yeah. A long one, it could depend on your size. But you know what? There's probably bits of it that you can eke out a hat out of because they're only small pieces. Yeah. The biggest bit is the, is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong camera. Yeah, the sorry. biggest bit is the circle. So you should, you should be able to sort of fit that in. Do you know, if you can't, you could always sort of segment your pieces together and make a, like a sort of... Yeah, like a baker boy cap. You? Yeah, so... There you go. I'm sure Good that you'll be able to get one out. Another now. message now from Lisa. I wash my, oh, here we go. I wash my boiled wood coat again in the washing machine. It's absolutely fine. I did pre-wash the fabric before cutting it out because it, it shrunk a tiny little bit. In theory, it shouldn't shrink at all because it's already been boiled, isn't it? But there mm. you go. Put it on your delicate, I'm going to say put it on your delicate, yeah. delicate wash on yeah. lukewarm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good to know. Oop. Oh, what have you done? Something's gone wrong there. Oh, hang on. Got a question. While, while uh, Fiona's looking at that, I'll do another question. Oh, it's an email, sorry. Yeah, in the Sangria colourway, flecks of other colours. No, no orange flecks. It's like pink, red, purple and magenta. You are right over there? It kind of keeps bashing into my walking foot. Has, has the walking foot slipped off? It could be, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Oh, God, right. <laughs> oh. Maybe it needs tightening up. I think it needs tightening. I think sometimes when you when you sew with um, walking foot, it tends it to sort of undo. Off. Yeah, yeah exactly. so I'm just going to tighten it up. So bear with me. There. I'll just tighten this. I think it's my fault for not tight and putting it on tightly enough. There we go. Right. Sorry about that, folks. Don't forget to sorry, don't forget to check out your coat pattern while we're looking at that. Which is the most popular colour? Oh, hang on. I'll be making full length and larger size. You only need half a metre fat for the hat, Anne. You only need half a metre. So, hang on. So, and let's have a look. Uh, look at the size. Look at the size chart here. So, that's for the... That's the coat again, is it? So, the larger size there, it's saying... Where's the fabric? Two... Oh, hang on. No, no. Short jacket, short, long coat. Oh, it says 3.1 metres. These are only three metres. Oh, no, 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 because it's 60 inches wide. Oh, no, Anne, don't buy any more. Don't buy any more. Look, the long coat, size 20, is 2.3 metres. You'll have, you'll have some left. You'll have some left. Thank you, Emma. Thank you for that. You won't, don't buy any more. You'll have some left. It's because it's 60 inches wide. If it had been narrower, you wouldn't have had any left. Thank you. Yeah, popularity-wise. Sangria. And which one? And Sapphire, the two pop most popular ones. You're loving your bright colours there. It's because it's miserable weather out there, isn't it? That's why. I put all my garden furniture, not my new garden furniture, that's never been unpacked, but my original sit sitting garden furniture all gone in the garage now. Oh, no. Are you going to do something for Halloween in the garden, John? No. no. My, at Halloween, I switch all the lights off and nobody's allowed to knock on my door. 
<laughs> and you say bar scrooge as well do you so yes like humbug humbug now um so i've top stitched around the outer edge and now i'm just going to see that you've got a bit of a wacky oh, bit yes. there so i'm going to i'm going to stitch that i'm going to tack stitch machine tack it down within the seam allowance within the seam allowance that's right so there we go Now the next bit is what's the next bit? Right, we're going to put <laughs> <laughs> we're going to put the um, front to the back. So right. obviously right sides together. If you've got a right side and a wrong so side. So now these pattern pieces are the pattern pieces within the pattern, are they? How have we ha how have we made? We've done any hack yet? So at Not the moment yet. everything it's, it's is as the would, pattern is. Yes. Oh, brilliant. That's right. Yeah. Yes. It's only really at the end, so it's instead of putting the facing on, yeah, okay. you're just attaching a oh, brilliant. another bit. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's a very simple hack, really. Yeah. It's about and what you don't do. And yet it looks completely do. different, doesn't it? I thought it, it was does, going to be quite yes. a major hack, but it's not at all. Yes, and I mean, when I first did this, I put it on and I just literally wore it. I think I went to bed in it. No, no. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration. But I absolutely sort of loved wearing it. And yeah. I think that's why I thought, oh, this, you know, people should know about this because it's, you know, it's a really nice, a nice, comfortable, relaxing wear, uh -huh. you know. That's like when you're a child and you get new roller skates and you want to, you're so loved them, <laughs> yeah. you want to go to bed now. Message from Glynis. Where is it coming up? Morning, John and Fiona. I put a garment into a duvet uh -huh. and not or use safety pins to reduce the bag size. Cool wash, 800 spin, and hang a dry on a windy day. Glynis. Or oh, roll it in a towel, Glynis. If it's not windy or if it's raining outside, roll it in a towel. Is that Glynis? And Mesh and Elizabeth, really enjoying Fiona's demo. I'm mm. totally in love with the quilt behind it. Just slipped into my basket with, with the coat again pattern. Mm. I should hope so too. <laughs> yeah. Angela Presley's message in. Hello, Fiona Angela, and John. Love to see you both. And the gorgeous Ursula yeah. and the bald wool colours are fabulous. I always love your modelling, Fiona. Oh, Lots of love lovely. from Angela, the sewing Aww, club. How are you, Angela? I haven't seen you for she's ages. She's so lovely, isn't she, Angela? Crazy is the word so you're looking for. Crazy. Yeah. She's a lovely bag. She's going to be on the programme again. Yeah. Well, I presume so. Last time she was on, she had her own um, pattern for a bag. Yeah. It was beautiful. Come on, Angela, get another pattern on the go. Yeah, get another pattern out, Angela. <laughs> I think she, because Angela does a lot of teaching, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, and I suppose the, the mm. lessons will be back now, won't they? Yeah, and she's got a sort of, I was saying, you know, you're lucky you've got your own premises. So, you know, I haven't got that, so. You've got your I, shed. <laughs> well, yes, that's where I do my, you know, work. But I used to have people in, to, in my studio to do, you know, but I could only have like two or three. Oh, OK. Um, but I've sort of like, so busy that I've just decided to well, concentrate you have to decide on which, one thing, which bit really. You, yes, you have to that's concentrate. right. You can't, you can't spread yourself too thinly that you don't do any of them justice sort of thing. That's right, yes. And and also after lockdown, I wanted to do new things. You know, I didn't want to go back and do the workshops I was doing before. I wanted to go on, you know, yeah. to, you know just sort of keep myself excited really. Yeah. Um, and I just didn't have the mental space for that. Now, uh, what do we do next? I'm going to leave the sleeves off because I'm going to focus on the neck Okay, band. the sleeves are quite simple, aren't sleeves they? Sleeves are simple because what you do is you sew down one side. Yeah. How much time have we got, John? Uh, we've got about 15 minutes. Right, so the, the side seams, you, and now this is the time where you put your back band on. Here we are. Here's if you're going to put a back band If you're going to put a band on. And it's very easy. It's just like a, a strip that you sew down one side Get your loop turner, turn it inside out. Oh, we that's what the loop, loop turner, turner was is. for. <laughs> oh. um, and then I, I ironed my seam in the middle of one of the sides so that that's the, on the that's inside. The skin, and yeah. then you can top stitch it either side if you want to. Yeah. It looks just as good with and that. And then it just gets fitted into the and side And then that seams. just pin, gets pinned into the side seam. Yeah. So before you sew the side seams together, which is just literally pinning them together underneath from the bottom of the uh, armhole to the lower edge right. and pin that together, sew it along. And of course, all your, all your back band gets stitched yeah. in at the same time. So the sleeve heads aren't like a typical sleeve head, is it just a curved? Sleeve heads are, here we go. So for the hack, you're doing your sleeve. So once you've joined your side seam, 
you'll put your sleeve in um, and it's it's got a curved yeah, so it's so not like got your proper full-on sleeve. It's much easier to put up. Put yes, in. but you've got a front and a back. Mm -hmm. So you want to just put your little notch in there yeah, for your for back, back for your back bit. Now, with it, when it comes to the sleeve edge, you 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 know, on mine, I just left it raw. This is for the hack. Right. Obviously, for the now there are two lengths of sleeve because I'm a big fan of three-quarter length sleeves because uh -huh. I think it looks very sort of scandy. Yeah. <laughs> it's also very flattering because that's all yeah, the, on any size so. of lady. That's yes, very flattering. Yes, and I can do the washing up as well. Yeah. Um, In your best coat. Although my husband does all the washing yeah, up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, um, but there's a longer length sleeve as well because I sort of thought, well, not everybody's going to want to be, you know, to like that. So it's got a classic length. Yeah. Uh, with a hem and you just turned it and turned it in this fabric then. that's right yeah. yes now for the hack I thought you now originally I just sort of stitched it straight like that but then I thought well why not just four centimeters at the from the bottom hang on just, just look at that yeah just stitch it the other way up so stitch it down and then stop just before the um just before the end and then flip it inside out and sew that last bit on the wrong side right so therefore you could if you wanted to you could actually have a turn back cuff like nice. that nice i mean that's lovely isn't it yeah. but you know if you want to just have it straight mm -hmm. just have it straight yeah. you know this oh, it's is your hack you do what you want that's with it. right yeah okay so we're not concentrating on the sleeves we're just going to concentrate on the neckline so right? we're going to go to the neckline so um now you what you want to do i'm not going to do it today but you would top stitch so you'd press your shoulder seam in fact i might just press it now okay and you would top stitch the um seam allowance talking underneath the table yeah you want to press the seam allowance towards the um, back yeah and then top stitch it on the right side right just at the back just at the back mm -hmm. and then what you want to do is Take your rectangle. Now, this is a sized piece, so each size has got a slightly different size. Right. Where do they find out what size they need to cut? That's on the blog. On the blog, right? So go blog. Blog yeah. So obviously, if you you know you haven't got a right or wrong side, so you just want to find your centre point there. Mm -hmm. Don't know if I've notched it, and then your centre of your back, neck. Now we're going to have the right side facing us and just fold it over, just match your shoulder seams, pinch it together and there's your centre point. And then you just literally, I think we know what that is now, don't we? We could take that off. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're just putting it, literally laying it on top like that and then there aren't any notches on this because it is just like I said a measurement but you yeah. know as long as you make sure it's even both sides just don't stretch it as you put it on just yeah. let's lay it on and then you're going straight edge to a curved edge and then the same on the other side There we go, and then pop that on the machine. Mm -hmm. Now, I would do a, quite a small seam allowance here. Right. So, if you just do half, like half centimetre, if you do a centimetre, you can always trim it down, it's not really a problem. Uh huh. And then, obviously you won't have blue thread. Mine is going to be like a feature, but yours hopefully will, the colour match will be, this, you know, just won't, you won't see your stitching particularly. No, you're getting to the shoulder seam now, so just make sure that you just pop your foot over it. Mm -hmm. You always stop and just hop over. And then just make sure you keep your edges together. Yeah, try not to stretch it as you sew as well. You know, because um, boiled wool is a knitted fabric, uh -huh. so 
although the boiling of it has made it more stable it still does have a bit of stretch to it yeah and then there we go Right. And then, do you think I've done it on the wrong side? What's the, what? <laughs> I've stitched it on the wrong side. But anyway, there you go. You've, it, it, it does actually have the instructions on it. So it goes the other way up so that the seam is actually on the outside. But don't worry, because you, do, you don't want to see that here. You oh, see I that see, on the reverse I see, I see. Side. So, so yes, just bear with me with that yeah. bit. Um, and then you see it just sort of like folds down. So obviously that seam is on the other, other side. side. Mind you, you see, I quite like sometimes to, uh, to see that line of stitching there. And what I would do is I'd also do the cuff the same way so that you have it looks like it's not deconstructed, but it looks like it, so you see seams. Do you know what I mean? So yes. I might even put instead of putting your curve pockets on, I might put patch pockets on, yes. but have them have the seams stitched that way, so everything showing. is seen on the outside as well. Yes, you see, there's such a lot. You pay of a lot of money for that if you go to a top designer. Well, do you know I, what mean, I mean, it's it's quite a sort of Japanese kind of yes, way of doing yeah. things, isn't it? Where you're not you're not hiding things. You're yeah. it's, you're making a feature out of them. So. Wabi sabi, what will be will be. That's right, Wabi Sabi. It's a nice sauce as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, so I had a question from Anne. Uh, thanks for that, John. Sorry to begin. Do I need anything to support the peak of the hat? Uh, the, uh, you need to put, in the peak of the hat, you need to put um, iron on interfacing. And did you say there was something? That you could put Decaville in it, but it'll make it very difficult it's because it's not meant to be a hard peak, is it? Actually, Anne, we're going to do the hat in a second. It's, yes, it's we're going to do the hat in a second, so we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, so I'm just going to bring this one, which has been properly stitched, yeah. back into the picture. Uh, and you can see that I've stitched it um, on the... Uh, so the, the right side goes to the wrong side of the jacket. Yeah. And then you stitch it, and then you top stitch it down so the, on the yeah, right side. So the side. seam's underneath the collar. That's right. That's right, and it's yeah. all explained on the blog. Yeah. I mean, it's the simplest thing. It's just you have to sew it on the right side. So that means then that the the the, the revere on here is just where that that is just what's on. Yes. The jacket right. anyway. That's from so from we, the collar onwards. That's right. So if you don't have that collar, what you would do if it's a normal one is that you would have uh, your facing pieces yeah. here, which is where you put the interfacing on. Yeah. And those would join. If I bring this one back, they join here. So you add that in to the side bit here, yeah. stitch it down, and then it pulls it, it pulls it back. Yeah. Do you see like, what I mean? So it's like very simple way of like kind this. of that's right. So you can see it up there. Okay. Yeah, so you're stitching it together and then sorry, you put it on the right side of the boiled wool. It's quite misleading when boiled wool is the same both sides. Yeah. You stitch it down and then that pulls it back and then you, you sew your facing in. Okay. So it's it, And then you can see that your hem is naturally formed by the facing going back and you can just sew it down. So it's very easy. Uh, then, okay, Donna says she used to have a wool coat with seams on the outside. Right, we've literally got four minutes left. Oh. So should we talk about the hat very quickly? Yes. That's all right. I can find the bits. Where are they? <laughs> oh, oh, no. We are buried. Here we go. Right. So um, I, I thought that if I made a larger size hat, because it's boiled wool, then it would be accommodate for the thickness of the fabric. You don't need to do it. Right. Because I made a large one and it was a large. So right. I just think, you know, just make go. Make to just size. Make to size. Mm -hmm. Um, but basically what you have is a circle for the head, you've got a side band, you've got a, 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 a back band as well. Um, hang on, what do I call these pieces? Side bands, side back, and then you've got peak. So you have three peak pieces, right. which you sew together 
but the inner piece you trim down the edge of the seam allowance so it's basically something that you sit within the peak to give it the stiffness that you need now there's just one thing that if you are sewing with thick fabrics like this what i would suggest is you can see that i haven't put any no i suggest to put some nice fleece interfacing 8640. In yes mm -hmm. But I thought with this one, because it's quite bulky, I would leave that off. And then I sewed it fine. But I thought, well, what about if you added it in after you'd sewn it? You could always, um, instead of ironing, you could always spray it on, couldn't you? Yeah. Or just a bit of bit of extra fabric, really, mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit. Because you'll need half a metre of lining for this as well, or a piece of lining. 30 centimetres well, of lining, yeah. yeah. So you make the same crown, side and back side, front side and back side pieces. Uh -huh. And then, so you've got a, like a cap. The other thing, it makes quite a nice little berry as well, without the peak. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just so another added as, bit. And just ask, what's inside your peak? Is there anything inside your peak? So inside the peak is one piece that's been interfaced uh -huh. and then stitched to give it sort of strength. As in stitched yeah. up and down, up and down, up then and down. Yeah. With this boiled wall, I didn't bother interfacing the other two pieces because I just thought I don't want it to get too bulky because the trickiest bit is when you're sewing the peak onto the band. Now, what I was saying to you earlier, John, if you've got bulky fabric and you're getting, you've got, you've got quite a few seams there, quite, you know, underneath, yeah. get a hammer and bash it down just to reduce it down, flatten it a bit more yeah. and you'll make it, make it a lot easier. Obviously, you put a bit of a uh, bit of uh, cloth over to yeah. protect your fabric, and that will just reduce down those little side bits here. It's just here and here. The other tip is to start at the centre of the peak. I think I do mention this in the pattern, and work outwards. Then go back, start at the centre, and move outwards. Right. Much easier than going from one side to the uh -huh. other. And then, um, you know, because I, I wouldn't say this is a beginner's project to have, you know, it, it, it's, there's bits which are a little bit challenging, yeah. but, you know, no more than or less than a bag or, you know, sometimes you get bags that are a little bit tricky. This is not, I wouldn't say it's tricky, it's just that peak, it's just a little bit challenging. Tack yeah, it's it. just not a first time, it's just not no, a first project. No, I had a beginner pattern. sort of write to me and I said, you know, this is, I wouldn't say it's a beginner's no. project. No, we like that honesty. We don't want people to buy yeah. it and it's not quite yeah. right for them, you know. Yeah, but I would say have a go, you know, if oh, you yeah. fancy making a hat because it's such good fun. Yeah. I really love making And that. also, you don't have to make it in boiled wool the first time. You don't have to. You can to. make it in denim the first yes, time. Yes, yes, or would linen be or something. And that more stable or and even not as bulky in the seams, exactly. would it? Exactly, exactly. You get the idea of how yeah. it's made. So then at the end, you can see that I've sort of tacked my peak band, peak and band onto my outer hat, my, my crown and my side band, uh -huh. and then my um, my lining piece, and you just leave a little bit open. I leave a little bit open in the crown, uh, just so that I can turn it in the side out. Equally, you could always leave an opening here and turn it in, but anyway. Um, and then you put your crown on, you're sort of matching your side seams to each other. Pop your crown on like that. It's like bagging out a bag. Isn't it, it is, yeah. yeah. So you're putting on your lining. Match up all the, you know, this is where your clips come in really <laughs> useful. Clips. Really. Yay, wonder clips. Yeah, if you haven't got any clips, get some clips because there are certain projects, especially with bags, hats, and that sort of thing, which, you know, they just are, they're just so easy to keep everything together. So match up your side seams, probably better than I have done today. And then um, and then sew it round. Yeah. Uh, leave a little opening in the crown, bag it out, and then stitch up your lining, pop it on, and take You're the You're ready to go. So you've got a hat, out. a coat, and a scarf <laughs> yes. all to go to match. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, when did you say you were back in? I think it's 16th of December, which is the week before Christmas. Yay! We'll be all be snowed in. I shall be coming with a, my tinsel. Oh, lovely. <laughs> well, the whole set will be decorated by then. Uh, lovely to see you. I just need to recap lovely very to quickly. So, the So Girl pattern for the Ursula coat again. Available in two lengths, short jacket or long coat, uh, sizes 8 to 20, suitable for intermediates, £18.50. Sorry, say again? C Helen says, could you do just a three-quarter length coat if you wanted to? Yeah, just uh, you might need a little bit more fabric. Oh, yeah, you, you might not get uh, it out of your bundle. You might need more, might well, need to buy probably, the fabric. Well, you would get it out of the bundle, the three-metre bundle. Oh, you would? Well, yes, because that's the long length, isn't it? Yeah. So you get the three-quarter length, yeah. Oh, there you go. 
You wouldn't need as much. No. Oh, see, three quarters. I'm taking three quarters longer than you, but you mean shorter. Yeah, of course. Mm. Of course. Sorry, mm. my bad. Right, 8150, the, the pattern for the hat. Brompton military style hat. Very, very popular. Stop banging your microphone. Nine pounds. You will need interfacing and lining with this one. But again, go to the blog. Go to the So Girl blog. You'll see all everything about it on there. Oh, okay, we're not going to go through the board walls. Have a look on the website because after the break, Gary and George are up. We're doing a straight stitch sewing machine, which goes very fast. We're doing an industrial iron, which really irons. We're doing a brand new to us um, blind hemming machine, like industrial machine. And we're doing the old faithful electric scissors. We've got a lot to clear now. So we'll see you in five minutes from now. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. Hi everyone, I'm Yvonne McAtamney. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I uh, started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day but it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but 
My favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here. So most of my time is uh, in Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewers together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon.
Hello. My stash and your collection with my very favourite fabrics and sewing patterns, including my very own range uh, right here, exclusive to Sewing Street. Something you may not know about me, now let's have a think, a lot of this has been covered on the Sewing Bee, but uh, I am a Blue Peter badge winner. I know, I know. I haven't worn it in a while. Slightly too old to get into Warwick Castle these days wearing it, but you never, I, do I pass for 16? I don't know. Possibly not anymore. Um, and I'm also, hence the piano, uh, a pianist I've been playing since the age of seven, when my school teacher at the time taught me a little under duress from my mother because he thought I would be terrible. Turned out I wasn't, but there we go. Such is life, you never know until you give it a go. <gasps> Have I just invented a new catchphrase? I don't know. You never know until you give it a go. Caption across the screen, please. Thank you very much. So do join me, popping up on your screens on here on... I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret so you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members-only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week and you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Right, we've got, I don't know if the menu on the, on the website was the same as this, but we've got a fabulous two hours for you now. It's, we're calling it the professional two hours, like I'm not professional normally, but no, it's all to do with getting that professional finish. Now we've got George and we've got Gary. There's George. Wait, Hello. Wait. All right. All right. All right. That's <laughs> why I do that. All right. And we've got Gary. All right. We're all, right. We're all, all from right. Essex. Now, you know Gary from Dukey, and Dukey's part of the Franklin's brand. Yes. And this is George, who is a Franklin. Okay. Yes, yeah. He is a Franklin. And I know, <laughs> this is when I worked at uh, Crusader in Colchester, 84 to 88, my local shop was Franklin's in Colchester. And the Franklin's family, who still have it today, used to serve me then. I used to be going down with little purchase orders and buy my thread and my fabric and everything like that. And I love the fact that it all kind of ties in together. 
So, in this too, I knew his dad and well, the parents and grandparents, really. It's 84, so long you went even. No. Were you born <laughs> yeah. in 84? Ah, uh, yes, I did. Thank you for, the, thank you for that, but <laughs> just about. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do over this next two hours is we have got. Right, okay. Uh, George is going to show it in a second, right? We've got this machine that does blind hemming, and I was like, oh, who, need, who needs a blind hemming? I can't tell you how brilliant it is, right? I can't tell you how fantastic it is. So George is going to show that. While he's showing that, we're also going to show an industrial iron because he's, Gary's going to... Not that Gary's anyone's assistant, but Gary's going to be the ironing assistant. I can be the assistant today. We're he's going to be that. the assistant to start <laughs> today. So then we're going to show you this incredible uh, steam iron, which is rather like one I bought from Franklin's back in the 80s. Obviously, it's updated a bit since then. Uh, back in day, and I can't tell you how brilliant that is and then Gary's then got a Juki sewing machine which you haven't seen here at Sewing Street before which is a, a straight stitch machine and then after that we've also got the electric scissors so it's all different things that are going to help to get you a professional finish now just to warn you the iron is selling already because it's a trial I'm going to I'm being totally and utterly honest with you right because it's a trial we've only got a few of everything we can get more George has promised, Gary's promised, we can get more. But just if you're sitting on the fence, I'll keep you updated about what the stock's like and everything. But because it's a trial, we've only got minimum limited amounts today, but we can get you some more. All right? So, I don't need to say anything else. I'm going to go over to the corner, because obviously we're keeping socially distancing and everything like that. And we're going to start off with George and, well, a machine that I just thought... I, I, I'm going to shut up. You look at it because it's brilliant. George, welcome. I've not, we've not met before here. Yes. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, John. And you. So, um, so here I'm with the Tony Felling Machine. Um, and Tony is an industrial company. So they make machines that go worldwide for um, curtain making, um, dress making. Um, and basically what they've done is they've made this single, uh, single thread machine, um, which to to blind hem the bottom of curtains, the bottom of trousers, the bottom of skirts, any different weight of fabric you want to put under it. And Tony are known for their quality. So about 10 years ago, these machines were really, really popular. Um, and then what happened was lots of copy brands started to copy them. And the thing is with the felling machine, you have to be so accurate with the needle that any movement in the pin Will, will cause it not to catch and it will just cause a terrible looking stitch. So the Tony machine is known for its accuracy. So I'm going to start off with some um, sort of curtain weight material. Can I ask first of all, so anyone at home doesn't know what a blind hem is, what, what actually is a blind hem? Okay, so a blind hem is at the bottom of trousers when you want to turn them up. Um, it sews it from the back of the fabric hooks it round, hooks into the underneath of it, and it doesn't show through the other side. So it's cause, because back in my theatre days, we wouldn't have had anything like this. We would have to hand stitch, peer, like if somebody's making wedding dresses or ball gowns and things like that, you'd always have to hand, hand stitch them because you didn't want to see a machine line. So we were doing our own blind stitching, but by hand. Yes. Now, I mean, I'm sure these machines must have been out, but we never had the option. This, this, so this is, you can hand um, wedding dresses, ball gowns, curtains, like you say, and not see any stitches on the right side of the fabric. Is that it? That's it, exactly, yeah. And it just whips it through there so quickly, so easily oh, okay. as well. So let's um, see how it works, because some sewing machines have got a blind hem feature on them, haven't they? But you do have to fold the fabric back, and you have to, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, not the fiddliest thing, but it's not... It's not the easiest thing either, is it? No, the, it, it, it never comes out perfectly with a sewing machine. Um, and it is just a copy of a proper felling machine like this. Right. And so that's what we're trying to do, to bring more from that industrial um, side of things to the domestic right. market. So, so on, on the tiny felling machine, rather than lifting the foot, you actually lower the bed here. Okay, and how have you done that then? So I've got uh, a knee lift in here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so thing. I can... <laughs> so when I you're sitting not... down at a table, it'll work brilliantly because it'll be at the right level. You're having to lift your knee a bit high, aren't you? There? That's it, yeah. So you literally just put the fabric folded over under the machine. Exactly. You can fold it once, fold it twice. So I'm going to start on the middle and then um, show you the different ways you can, you can affect, okay. affect the fabric. So um, this dial on here 
don't know if you can, can see. You oh yeah, see yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. You see this the dial on here, I don't know if you can see it, moves in tiny little notches. Yeah. And I've got uh, arrows on here, more and less. So more is then feeding more fabric up into that needle. So the, the thicker the fabric, the more fabric you want to feed in, and then the thinner the fabric, the less you want to feed in. Okay. So that's so sensitive, that dial. So if I just start sewing here. So uh, is it just a foot pedal, like a normal sewing machine that you're using under there? It's just a standard yeah. foot pedal, yeah, similar to an overlocker. Okay, so now tell us what the machine is physically doing. Oh. So that's just sewn through on that side. I've used a contrasting thread so you can see that absolutely well, is nothing. you can't nothing. see. I thought it hadn't worked. <laughs> so can I just, just put that bit back to where it should be, right? So you've literally folded the fabric over to where you want the hem to be and you're just running it through like a normal sewing machine but the needle's coming from the side. Yes, that's and it. And it's just picking up a tiny thread from the main fabric and then the actual hem at the same time. Yes. Exactly. And it to, I, I, right, okay. I'm amazed. Now, is there a bobbin? Uh, no, there's no bobbin. So it's a single thread uh, just through that needle. And I don't know if you can see the mechanism on here. But the egg has got a close up of that. There. It pulls around. So if I'm moving now. Oh my. That is goodness. bringing that thread around, looping it back, and then going back through itself. Uh huh. So like what sort of setting have you got that on? Because that's, is that a denim? I can't see it from here. So this is a thick upholstery oh, okay, fabric. Fine. So I've got this on more. Right, okay. And on, on thick upholstery weight fabrics. But um, not, you see, even on a sewing machine, you can see the, the tiniest you of specs. You will see it catching. I can't see anything at yeah. all on there. No, that's that hook coming through and back um, and the single thread. Right. I also need to point out that the very bright light, which you can sort of see on the front of George's machine there. So, so that's lighting. There you go. Look, it's lighting where you're going. Now, that comes with it, doesn't it? The, the light comes with it. Yes, it? indeed. So it's a magnetic light. So you can take it on and off. And it also comes up the way you want it. Get when to you... the needle, change the thread. OK, we, we've included it in the price today. Uh, £579. It's uh, split pay, split pay, split pay, three payments, £193. And we're also giving you four reels of light, uh, of thread, reels of thread and the light, so you're saving over £66. Right, I'm going to let you just get on. I'll shut up. I'll let you get on with the <laughs> demo. In so, crack, so, crack it on. So, I'm going to um, now just bring it to the edge of the fabric. So, for things like trousers and things like that, I'm right on the edge. And I've got a little guide here which I can follow. Yeah. Just to bring that in. Like that. And as you can see on the other side, it just doesn't show at all, but that has caught it and you've got a strong... Oh, hang on a sec, we just need to see the... the there you go, there you go, there you go. Can we go to the other... There you go, there you go. Strong so hold on there. That's the side that I've sewn on. And then that's the other side. So is that what it looks like? So on both of those things, when you did the first one and that one, that, that's... That's, That's the line of stitching you get on the, on the wrong side of the fabric. Ex exactly. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. So now sewing along, right on, I'm right on the edge now, so it's just taking that edge. And then if I want to, I can do a double fold on there. Right. So bring that around. Uh, Pauline says, I never knew about blind hemming machines. This is fascinating. Princess, you can trust Princess. She went, well, hello, George. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to our ladies and gentlemen. So what do you do? So you fold so it over I'm twice. Now I've folded it over twice. Right. So for things like trousers and stuff like that, heavier weight trousers, court, um, chinos and things like that, you would fold it over twice and just catching right along that edge there. So did you change the dial because you folded it over twice? Was the dial still at the same place? The dial's still at the same place. Uh, place that's more reliant on the fabric rather than the fold. Okay. So let's say I want to finish round. So generally, um, for dressmaking, this would be um, on the uh, within a, a trouser leg. Right. So you have actually also got the uh, free arm on this. Oh, so, okay. So oh, I'm, yeah. So if the trouser's made and you're going round the bottom of a pair of jeans, yes. you're saying you can slide something off there and make it into a free arm. Exactly. So I'm going to take this out now. Yeah. So I'm going to pull the, uh, turn the, turn the hand wheel. Actually, turns away from you on this right. machine, and then the needle is going to go towards the looper. 
Right. I just lower that bed, pull that okay, out so like that. Okay, so tell me, without getting it too scientific, how is it, how is it physically working? You've got one thread coming off your spool. Is it easy to thread? That's what a lot of people at home are going to be saying. How on earth am I going to thread a machine like this? Yeah, it's very, very straightforward. Um, it's all, it's all um, guided throughout. So you just take it through the holes. There's four holes to take it through in the tension bar yeah. and then through the needle. And, and I presume you get a, um, a pamphlet, instructions manual and everything like that. Yes, right? you do. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. OK, got a question from Paulie. Is it coming on the bottom of the screen? There you go. Hi, John, does this have the curved needle? I bought one, but it has a straight needle which continuously breaks. No, it's not got a straight needle in it, has it? No, this one has got a curved needle in there. Um, I don't know what they were thinking when they invented this straight needle one because it doesn't work um, in comparison to one, one of these with a curved needle. OK, brilliant. So you literally thread it up, go through the side of the needle, and that's it. That's, that, that's all you have to do to set it up. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, as you can see there on the double fold on there, that's the there back go, of the fabric. Go. Just push it. That's it. There, that's it. On there. Oh, so brilliant. it even looks neat on the inside. Yeah. And then that's the that's other side. Absolutely nothing. So on any suit trousers or anything like that where you don't want to see any stitches, it's just a mate. I can't exactly. believe that it doesn't pick anything up from the main fabric. But that's on thick yes uh, habit, um furnishing fabric, furnishing fabric yeah. that's it so coming along to a linen right so more of a mid-weight sort of fabric uh-huh and this is just how accurate oh hang on sorry i've is. just got to say this uh, don't look at me you, you keep going okay. how many baskets cat and how many have i got Oh, OK, then. So people are checking out. There's lots in baskets. I mean, keep watching the demonstration. You're all right at the moment. You don't need to. Um, you're not going to miss out at the moment. Yeah. So coming onto this linen fabric on here. Yeah. Again, just use my knee, lower the bed. I'm going to start off on the edge here. And this is where this dial comes in. So I'm going to go forward a little bit. Check the back and I haven't need to adjust it at all on there. So if I carry on. Okay, so what, what, what um, setting have you got your green dial on for this one then? So I've got this at the moment on, uh, on seven, so it's still quite high for this fabric. Okay. Because it's got quite a loose weave on there. So are you suggesting when we're at home, don't go straight onto your fabric, practice with a little bit of your spare fabric, because if you've got the setting on wrong, you might possibly see that's what it's all about, yeah, yeah um, getting, adjusting the machine to the, the thickness of the fabric, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so I've just gone straight onto there and it hasn't come yeah. through, but it's nice and caught along that side. Absolutely. Now, Kat's just said in, the, in my ear, well, of course, at home you'll be using a, a matching thread. Actually, it doesn't matter because you've got a pinky purple thread on on green fabric and you can't see it. So exactly. I, in an ideal world, you match it, but you don't have to. If you suddenly got mm. white on, you think, oh, well, I'll just do this. You're not going to see it anyway, are you? That's it. Yeah. Um, uh, you can just get as close to it. You know, yeah. it, it grays with light, uh, darker colors um, and a beige with a lighter color. That's and, fantastic. And that's all you it? need. And also, it's not difficult to thread up. Kate says, this is like some sort of magic. I'm loving this demo. OK, I'm transfixed by it. It's amazing. So we're on linen now. So we're on linen. So if I um, just keep going again, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do that double fold. Yeah. Now I don't fold do it up. what George is doing at home on yours. This is just showing don't go halfway along and then go into a double. And it's, you can either do a single layer or a double layer. It's just very quickly turning it over. But that's it. So again, I've got that good guide on the end. I'm just running up against there, not watching the needle, watching the guide. Uh -huh. um, so keep going. And then, again, when I've finished on the loop, just turn that away from you. Yeah. The needle's going to go down into that looper, uh, pull the bed down, and just pull that out the back. How did you, how, when, earlier, when you said you can make it into a free arm machine, how does that happen? So I've got this platform on here. Yeah. And I've just got a little screw on here that I just undo. Oh, OK. Just push it out. Click that away. That's tiny, that's brilliant. So even for the skinniest, 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 because like people, I bet you've got a pair, like those, they're like a second skin, aren't they? Those really, yeah. really, really skinny jeans and everything. You could just do it like a, a hem that big sort of thing. Exactly, on children's clothes as well. Um, uh, yeah, you, the, you've got 
lots of different options with that sort of size on there. Okay, so the next question is, where do people buy the needles from? They actually come with a pack of needles, don't they, to start with? Yeah, so it comes with a spare set of needles. The needles on these machines last such a long time as yeah. well. Um, and if you want to get spare needles, you can come to Franklin's Group. Um, and oh, God, plug and it. Post plug them plug out it. To you. There's one yeah. in Colchester. There's one in Chal Is your shop in Chelmsford? No, in Chelmsford. Gary's yeah. is in Chelmsford. And then where's Neil? Salisbury. Salisbury. Salisbury as well. And there's Ipswich and Dovercourt as well. Oh, they're new yeah. ones. I didn't know about those. Yeah. Oh, we've not met those people yet, <laughs> though. Not yeah. met those people yet. Uh, another question. Uh, what about Lycra and Dancewear? So, um, Lycra and Dancewear, you are more likely to use a cover stitch on. Okay. Um, which is a different sort of finish. Yeah, which um, you're an expert on as well. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. yes, yeah. So um, for things like knitted fabrics, this is perfect for. Um, but yeah, Lycra and Dancewear is more Use of a, a cover, cover stitch, stitch rather than one of these. Perfect. Yes. So um, from that, um, moving on to even finer fabric here. So again, slippery. Um, what kind of fabric is it, Joe? Sort of a crepe. Crepe sort of fabric, this one. <laughs> You're not worked in the haberdashery and fabric section of the shop yet. <laughs> well, well. breakfast, I think, is crepe for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Laurie says, interesting demo. Never seen a machine like this before. Thank you for bringing it, George. Kim, no, there's no bobbin. There's no bobbin. It's just, a, I know it's incredible, but there's no bobbin. And also, there is a special needle to use, Carol. It's a curved needle. Um, but you, they come in. They come in. You get a pack of them with it. They last for ages. And if you do need any, if you do need any more, you just go to the Franklin's Group. And do you do, do mail order then? Franklin's yes, group. indeed. They don't have to go all yeah. the way to Colchester. To no, get we can get those posted out. Okay. Um, <laughs> Larry says, "I wish I was 18 again." Hello, George. Yeah, hello. <laughs> um, and that's it for the time being. Right. So carry on. So now you're so. on. Uh, fine crepe fabric. Yes. So indeed. evening gowns. Uh, Kate Middleton's bridesmaid's dress at the wedding. So, put that back on. Sit on there. Okay, I need to warn you. Three have been checked out. Fifteen are in baskets. That's taking our. Uh, that's taking our stock to. I told you everything was very, very limited today. That's taking our stock. Oh, there go four of me now checked out. Also, please take advantage of the split payments because it'll still... Now, do these come straight from you? Yes, they do. So they're in the warehouse, ready to go in Essex. So as soon as you pay your first payment of £193 tonight, Gary's team will get an email to say, send one to this person, and then you carry on paying for the rest afterwards. You've received it after the first payment. What's the matter, George? You look worried. So, no, I just, so going on to this fabric here. So this is where, going on to the light fabric, and this is where the accuracy of the machine really comes in. Because on the back of here now, I've got a little bit of pink coming through. Have you? If you can just about see the dots oh, on there. Oh, yeah, you can, you can see it. But you see now... That looks like Bruce Oldfield does like a pin, uh, like um, a prick stitch on his hems. You know what I mean? So it's just a, so you can see that right. it's hand stitched and everything. That's what that looks like. It doesn't look like an industrial thing. It looks like a little pink. If you want that, can you then alter it so that we can't see that? Yeah, that's it. So that's the sensitivity of the machine on the different fabrics. So I can just do a couple of diet, couple of notches less. Okay, I'll do that in a second. On there, so it's starting to disappear there. Right, so this is why it's important to always do your test piece before you do it on the dress or whatever. Or the That's it. Or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer so. says, is the needle easy to change? Uh, yes, uh, yeah, it's similar to a sewing machine needle. Just unscrew it, um, take it out and, and put, Has put it the needle in. Well, no, actually, you don't need to know if it's got a flat back. It's be facing in the wrong direction if you put it in back to front, wouldn't it? It can only go in one way, then. That's it, yeah, and it's quite... You, you can just run it over by hand, make sure it goes into that guide. Perfect. On there. So... Yeah. Carry on through there. That's it, a little bit less. Derek wants to know, is there a thread cutter on the machine? George never seems to be cutting any thread. No, so that's a technique. I'll show you that next time I finish. Okay. Um. Five have gone now. E more in, all right, even, oh, right, now. If you all check out, I've got two left. It suddenly got that serious now. If you all check out, there's two left. Right, what are you doing? So I'm just pulling that thread through a little bit um, with my stopping and starting there. Oh, okay. 
Um, I'll ask Gary. Gary, warranty. Yes. Do we know what, what warranty does this have? One year warranty. One year warranty. One year warranty. And who, if they're stuck with anything, who can they ring? Our, our group. Again, so, so, we're, so the service to back up everything that we offer through Juki, again, yeah. we offer for all of our machines we supply. Right. Again, being semi-commercial, that sort of heavy duty on there, reliability is fantastic. Servicing is extremely minimal on there because obviously mm. there's no pattern mechanisms gearing that way drop of oil every now and then looks after itself but as i think at home i hopefully realize we've got lots of help lines we've got backup service it's all there for all you of do our realize machines. if when your lando buys one should be ringing you every 10 uh, minutes absolutely <laughs> there's no problem with that at all so, <laughs> so, so they ring so they'll get all this information when they when their pack arrives mm, that's exactly that will be there with the machine and again well. it's only 395 posted packaging it's quite a it's not a heavy machine but it's not a lightweight it's machine, a solid it? it's actually because it's a cast machine body as well it's the interior that's why there's no vibration movement on there so it's, it's a solid machine yeah, yeah. brilliant okay are you all right there now, George? Yes, all good. So, again, just adjusting that. It's so... Just to get that perfect stitch on there. So, on there now. Is it gone now? That's it. No, brilliant. So that was just literally... If you had your scrap piece of fabric, just keep practicing, keep practicing till you get the... the, the, the it's not, what, it's not called the tension, is it? What would it be called, the, the, the pressure? The, the, um, yeah, there's a, a pin in, underneath. Um, so, yeah, you could use it, the pressure or the lift right. uh, of the pin, lifting that fabric up in. And um, exactly, yeah. On it. So you can actually run it as it's going through and just, just adapt that. Oh, OK, so you have to keep stopping and starting. You can't just No, keep... just run it as it's going through. And that's Check really the, the only dial setting on the whole machine isn't it because there's not a tension setting there's not anything else you've got a tension wheel at the top that your thread comes through but that's it isn't it that's it yeah yeah you've just got the tension on the top and, and how then, fine and then, so. can we go then that's a fine trace so um what this also has on there oh, is, actually, is, is the a skip we stitch the cutting the thread cutting uh, yes so what i'm going to do is turn turn the hand wheel so yeah. turn it away from you and then as the needle is just going on its forward sort of strike, um, just towards that looper there. I just drop the um, the bed and pull it out the back. Oh, it does it automatically like for you then. That's it. Fantastic. Yeah. And it and it then secures the thread as well. Brilliant. So, what I have also got on this is a skip stitch. A so if a skip stitch. Okay. So if I'm going onto a really lightweight mm -hmm. fabric, shimmery fabric like this one. You see, we can always tell what fabrics Gary's going to show because they're all the ones from his house, aren't they? There is sofa and his curtains and everything. These aren't from your house, are they, George? <laughs> no, we made mine this morning when, he caught, when we came together. Oh, that's together. from your that's house exactly, as well. This oh, is it. You can tell my style of fabric. <laughs> right. Oh, OK. Um, good question from Sue. How do I keep the turn up regular? Because you can't pin it, can you? Uh, you can pin it. Yeah, yeah, you can you, you can, can pin, pin it. just yeah. take your pins out as you're going along. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, this is where my iron comes in. Oh, the iron. So we're doing this fabric. Oh now. yeah, because if you press it first, absolutely with the iron, you've got that sharp, sharp lovely line. Lovely sharp seam. We're coming to the iron in a minute. <laughs> right, so that's the back of this fabric no. with a standard stitch on there. Now I've matched this to the thread because it is so fine. But if I, if, if I wanted it to be even less notable than it already is, um, so... The, but that's incredible, because that fabric is notoriously difficult to hem and, and sew anyway, isn't it? Because it goes that's everywhere, it, yeah. and you can see every puncture of the needle. When you sew it with a normal sewing machine, even with a brand new needle, you can see every puncture stitch, really, can't you? Exactly. How it's just picking up that tiny, tiny, tiny bit of... It's, it must just be the, the tiniest it's, of uh, it's things. a couple of threads yeah. on the back every but time. But it's strong enough to work as a hem. It's not like tiny, oh, it'll break the minute you put your feet in or you put it on or anything. It's going to hold it. Well, this it? is what they do on, uh, in professional sewing. So store-bought garments will have this mm. finish. So there'll so. be one of these in Mike Baldwin's factory then, won't there? Nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I'll move on. <laughs> so, um, and it doesn't take up much room either in your sewing room, does it? <laughs> No, it's very small, simple, like an overlocker. Again, you can have your overlocker there, it's a yeah. telling machine next to it. Um, so on, on this lightweight fabric, um, I've got it on no skip oh, at yes, the moment. Oh, yes, skip stitch, yeah, yeah. 
So I'm going to flick it, flick it forward to skip stitch. Right. Now what that, what's that, what that is going to do, because the pin underneath is actually moving up and down, so it's going to miss a stitch and then come up to catch the next stitch. Um, because normally you don't want you don't want your sewing machine to skip stitches, do you? But this is deliberately skipping, skipping every stitch. other stitch, then. And so you can see on the back there, it's every other stitch, and it's even less. less that is incredible, isn't it? For delicate like bridesmaids' fabrics, uh, bridesmaids' dresses, and all sorts of things like that, it's just amazing. Yep. Beautiful also, move. also, like um, a lot of it's coming back in fashion in the 80s when I was at Colchester, I used to make a lot of wedding dresses and they used to have so much ruffled and I'd have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of metres of fabric to hem yes. to then make a ruffle out of. This you could just literally run it through and you won't have any, you won't see any of it at all. Exactly. Yeah, it saves so much time and, and again you get that professional sort of finish on the back. That is amazing, isn't it? Uh, the Going very quiet. Yeah, it. no, it's like in all, just you know how much I've got a passion for machines that yeah. work and work well. Yeah, and that's exactly what it does. Yeah, it looks like a machine. It looks like a machine that you would love because it looks like it it's looks like a machine engineered to work, do a job, and it does it fantastically. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see the you know the full metal body of it, the weight of it. Um, it's built to do a job. And Tony, this company is it called Tony the company? Tony, yes. Who are they then? Um, so they are a Taiwanese company. Um, and so they've been around for a long time in the industry, um, uh, making purely this sort of machine, really, um, industrial and more of a domestic version like this. And as I say, up, up until about 10 years ago, they were really popular until other companies started to copy them. And because of the precision of this machine, the, these copies were just inaccurate. They would work some days, not the other days. Um, and so it sort of the thing is, this is what I can, I can vouch now, because I, I obviously know Gary really well. You, you definitely, and the Franklin family, mm. wouldn't promote anything that wasn't top-notch, top quality. I mean, I'm, they've been around, how long have the, you know, the Franklin shop's been around? 67 years. Exactly, now. you know yeah. what I mean? And everything, like I bought my first industrial sewing machine, my single sewing machine from Franklin's in Colchester. Yeah. You own, it's not like, you're not fl fly by night to, oh, let, let, sell this, sell this, sell this. You're only gonna sell something that has the highest quality and something you know you can put your, because otherwise we're well, gonna come back to you, well, girls. Exactly, Franklin's, it all comes, Gary, it comes back to us, that's right. The, the reputation, the name, the pro yeah. on that would just go down and down. Yeah, on exactly. And, and, and just by looking at it there, it's incredible. And as George it. was saying, we've like we had some of those that we've been tried and tested over the last sort of decade, really. Mm -hmm. And they've brought out ones with straight needles rather than curved needles. Again, much lower prices. We've just walked away. Again, if they don't do the job consistently, yeah. But it's like it. you say, like with the cover stitch machine, things like that. Yeah. You get what you pay for, oh, very sort much of thing. So. And you will yeah. only your you will only supply one that you know will work properly one that's going to last it's going to work exactly, is, yeah exactly. not be frustrating I mean, yeah exactly <laughs> uh, anything else you want to show me then uh, no, I think oh we're, what do you get we're, with we're, it what do you get with it so when the box arrives you get yeah. the machine you get the light then do yes. you get any screwdrivers or anything like yes that? you get a uh, a tool bag with it as well with right. your screwdrivers um, you get a clamp as well to clamp the machine to the table make sure it's fully secure Mind on you, there. it hasn't moved at all has it so it's very solid again, yeah yeah, uh, spare needles, um, spanners in there. And did you say oil? You have to oil it every it, now. Is a, there's just the moving looper in there, just a drop of oil every, every literally. literally a drop of oil every now and then. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Right um, now, weren't you going to throw something to Gary? He was going to, but he just left me out. So yeah. he's like, I, I got to iron no hems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 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 what you could do is you could press the hem first before. So what we might do is get yeah. you to press a hem, Indeed. and then throw it back to you to actually so it's how to stitch. That means I can give you some fabrics to try them without you knowing. So yeah, there exactly. we go. Right, yeah. Come on, then. let's get a fight going. Then. <laughs> So, right, this so is now it. let's talk about, so we, should we talk about, the, don't go anywhere, don't move that machine around. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just taking this fabric right, out. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the iron and then we'll yeah. throw you some things to, to show us how to do it on. Right, I need, to, I need to just warn you though, how many are in, how many have gone, how many in baskets, how many left? Right, nine have been checked out, right? Uh, 16 are left, but 20 people have got them in their baskets. And for now, that's it. We can get more, we can get more, but... I don't know when, well, if they're in stock or whatever. But anyway, that I'm just keeping you totally, utterly informed of how many there are. 
Uh, we will obviously try and get it back straight away. Uh, uh, you know, anything to get these boys back in because we love having you on our Thank show. You. But, but do you know what I mean? It's kind of like, if you want it, there's more of you want it in your baskets than we've actually got stock of at the moment. Okay, so we'll stop there for a minute and we'll go on to the you. Is that I said? You? Just? Yeah. It, that it, means it, play, game, doesn't it? I'm not... French. Quite, is it, I thought uh, you were fluent. He's Italian. Why is it not a French <laughs> word on is it? That, that, French, that word's French. Uh, okay, do you know definitely no. more than me anyway, on that well, one? Anyway, right, yeah. I'll come a bit closer. What is this machine then? Right, around? well, as you know, we do like, say, Pacific tools to do Pacific jobs on there. And you say with, with the felling machine, the hammer, absolutely fantastic. It's designed to do that one job. Obviously, irons are a, a, a tool that we use every single day, generally. And I've, obviously, at home, I've got domestic irons and also a commercial iron at work, which I'm fortunate enough for that, is because there's nothing worse when you get into work or got creases or it's been in the van or something like that, I can just hang it up. And the nice thing with this, as well as being an iron, we can do upright steaming on there as well. So it's just nice to have my shirt hang up. It can just drop the creases sorry out. Sorry everyone at home, that was louder than they were Oh, sorry, <laughs> there was a right next to the microphone. Okay, there. so before we go on to what it does, yeah. Where's the water? Right, so what we have got is, is a conventional iron, but as you can see, it looks quite either old-fashioned, like the ones you just put on the stove or something like I that. I don't remember that. Or industrial. Yeah. <laughs> but this is an industrial iron, so it is 850-watt iron. It's a powerful iron on its own, right. but it does come with a separate steam generator, and that's what this box is here. Right. So the water tank is at the back. It has a pressure release valve as well, so obviously it's perfectly safe. Right, can I just say else. something here very uh, quickly? Um, do not open it when there's pressure going. I only say this because where we used to work at Sewing Quarter, yeah. we had somebody, we didn't have this one, but we opened the, a young lad who wasn't experienced in the world of sewing and thing, realised it ran out of water, tried to open it while the pressure was on. Yeah. That's one thing you have got to be. There is a no. And I'm not trying to be negative. No, absolutely. No, it's an, like it is a big no-no. It's one no, thing that right. you have to be careful of. Again, with it, you've got obviously boiling hot steam underneath yeah. there. You, you can see what comes out of the iron, so it's going to come out of a pressure yes. valve as well if you release it on there. Right. It's, don't get me wrong, you can't just release it. You no. have to unlock it no, properly no, on there. So, like fighting. But obviously, what he did yeah. there. So, uh, yeah, so with the steam generator, the nice thing about it, I can turn the steam generator off and just use it as a conventional iron. So, I have need the steam generator. I've still got my iron settings as well. Right. I could change the pressure of steam. So right. again, if I'm more lighter, fragile work, or I'm not upright steaming or anything like that. Right. So I've, I've got that flexibility again, uh, which is nice for different types of fabrics, finishes. I was going to say, because people look at that and go, oh, well, I could do denim with it, or I could do French wrap, but I couldn't do a silk chiffon with that. Oh, that's it. Well, you very much can do yeah. as well, because because of the, the steam generator on there. So, for instance, I've just got some wool fabric here, which is yeah. um, there, obviously all creased up and screwed. A lot of time, you don't want to pressurise it too much. Obviously, the pile's on there as well. But also, you don't want to saturate it either. No. So, what you can do, you don't actually have to put the iron on. You can just hover it. I was going to you make the noise again. Okay. And then I can actually then steam without actually touching the fabric at all. Because that's what Fiona was saying. She's just made the coat out of boiled wool. And she yeah. said, if you iron it too heavily, you'll lose the loft of it and everything. Whereas with that, you wouldn't have to. That's it. So I've not actually then obviously flattened the iron on the fabric at all. Right. Just to steam. Oh. Oops, on there. This one does lay down. Proper silicon pad, so yeah. it is designed to lay down. And now. Perfect. As we can see, absolutely perfect on there. And obviously, I was screwing it up for a bit on there. So the fragile fabrics, and it's the same as when you come to something like velvets as well. Obviously, you don't want to... Uh, if you iron velvet, it gives a lot of friction marks. Yeah. You definitely just generally well, avoid Well, also, that. if you iron a seam in velvet, on the right side, you get that awful... You know what I mean? Like, if you've sewn a seam and then you press the velvet, you get the seam edge it's, coming through onto the right side. Absolutely, because you've moved the pile yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to disturb that. So again, we can then just... Not touching the fabric at all. We can just through. But also, now this might be I might be jumping the what's it here, but you see on the telly loads of, of people steaming. I'm not saying use this to clean your sink with or your tiles with, but like if you want to clean a cushion cover or something like that, isn't steam exactly. meant to be a really, really good 
Well, um, it lifts it yes, lifts yes. all the dirt, but yeah. also say bacteria, etc. Obviously, that's you're it, yeah, working at over 100 degrees uh, yeah. in there. So obviously, for bacteria, obviously, what is happening at the moment, as we all know, to be safe that well, way. Something happening, Jerry? Uh, well, I, I believe I've heard something <laughs> on the news throughout the last. It didn't hit Essex, though, did it? <laughs> no, we're safe down yeah. there. So, um, so, so, so on soft velvet, it's just brilliant. Absolutely, yeah. So we don't have to damage any fabric at all. And um, the pile's not uh, been the, affected. The pile's anything, not been affected whatsoever. He is safe for then, they say cleaning curtains, obviously, you, most curtains are dry clean only. Instead of having to take them down, you're losing them for a couple of days, etc. Mm -hmm. that way. No, have you seen, also, have you seen the cost? Because oh, yeah. they weigh them, don't they? <laughs> you take exactly. your curtains in, they weigh yeah. them. If you've go got them lined and interlined, yeah. it's a fortune mm -hmm. on that. So, mm -hmm. so again, an upright steaming as well for soft furnishings. Obviously, your settee and yeah, things well, like the that. Cat. I've got Dulcie's cat staying with me at the moment. Right. And he went up the chimney yesterday and he's run all over the sofa. And there's sooty paw prints. So he's literally those. sooty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so uh, certainly on something like that as well. So there's multiple uses uh, on there, uh, but obviously within the manufacturing time as well, the steam generator, once this is switched on, obviously we're sitting there, we, it lasts for many, many hours on now, right. so depending on the amount, but you're not filling up a sort of oh, domestic, you do 100 milliliters or something like that. Yeah, exactly, That's it. You've exactly. got, got a lot on there. So the nice thing there, and also as we pointed as before as well, with blouses upright, hanging, also knitwear. Well, not um, just blouses, linen suits. Oh, any linen, any linen, suits. linen suits. I was waiting for the bit of linen to come over, but I didn't get it from George over there. So. <laughs> well, George's shirt needs to. His shirt, well, well <laughs> <laughs> I can't say nothing. Um, but with something like that, then you say with the linens, with, uh, but also then pressing it for permanent creases. I just need to interrupt you one second. There's an issue on checking out on the web. If you're having any issues, please just ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. We haven't even done that. That's not the price. Is that this? £299? Is it at the moment? <laughs> okay, right. I didn't know that. And this isn't me being all, oh, is that my shopping telly, shopping telly. I know that these shouldn't be £299, right? So hang on, we've taken, you've taken £50 off, so it should be £340. But even at £349, this, for this, it's a really, really good Again, price. Again, if you look at sort of a lot of the big steam generators, on, you are expecting to pay a lot more for it on there. Definitely. Obviously, with ourselves, we do deal with a lot of big manufacturers. Yeah. We do buy good quantities and obviously on supplying a lot of of the industrial units out there. Yeah. So we have uh, got a very, very good deal on that at the moment. Um, and you can use split pay three split payments of 99.66. So you pay your first 99.66 today. We'll email Gary's team. They'll start shipping it out from tomorrow. Right, now I know people at home be going, oh, I don't, I don't need one of these because I don't do much ironing. I just do my blouses and a bit of sewing and everything like that. Yeah. It's, Instead of, obviously, you don't need your domestic iron as well. Oh, no, that, that, this that is, now goes this is completely very it. much so. Also, um, you say with patchwork quilters as well, where you're constantly on there. So hopefully it might expand what you would use an iron for. But like a lot of quilters don't use steam. So you said you can switch, switch the steam off got completely. Button, button on the front. So we have steam uh, or iron on and off and steam on and off as well. Okay. So and someone else is going to say, my ironing board's not big enough to have that on the end of it. Right. And then included it, which, sorry, we can't sort of fit no, up you can, there at the can moment. You lift it? it does come with a portable stand as well on casters. So it moves around. That's What's the, that? What's that thing? That's there? the filling bottle for the steamer. You get that and, as well. And this all comes complete with it as well. So on yeah. you could have that beside or underneath your ironing board. Absolutely. You, uh, you have it next to your workbench. Like at the moment, obviously, I'm using, which a lot of us have got, especially if we are quilts and patchwork yeah. and that as well, we've got our double-sided cutting pad on there. Absolutely ideal. So we can carry that around with us, which works well with that as well. So that but, all comes with it? That's not extra? No, this is all included within that, that package price on there at the moment. Yeah, so. you don't get the ironing pad, obviously. You get the table, the water filler, and the whole thing. Right, what, talk us through more. Talk us through more. Yeah, so with that, so what we're going to do is say, with, certainly with hems and things like that, again, going back to the wall, obviously it's very springy, doesn't hold. So what we can then do, it, it just say we just pop it on. We're going to put a little bit of steam then through the hem. I do apologise, I should actually be doing it on the reverse side really. We yeah. don't want to be any sheen on the wall. So we do it just on the reverse side. And just say, just put a little bit of steam across it. You see, George, that's what you should have done before you started doing all and your sewing, wasn't it? Really? There you have one permanently creased steam, just okay, as simple I'm thinking and easy denim. as that. Again with denim as well. So I'm just going to pass that over to George. I'll Thank do you very that. Much. And then that, you just whiz that through. So with the wool fabric, I'm going to put this up to, um, to more 
Um, so it's pushing that right up there so it gets right the way through. And how many? Uh, brick. Okay, I just need to tell you that two of the irons have checked out since we've started and there are 12 in baskets. Again, we're limited, limited, limited. There are issues checking out on the website, so please, please, please call the website. Uh, call, the, call the call center. Call. I was out of shot then. I was busy standing here reading it. Um, there are issues on checking out on the web. Please ring. The, if you want to check out, please ring the call center. It's completely for free. And they're literally just around the corner. Not in this building, but they're just around the corner. Okay. So that's done there on, on there. So that's the uh, underside. Nice and neat. Right along the edge of the fabric um, on there. Yeah. And then that's the other side. <gasps> that crisp. That is just finish. incredible. Now, um, the uh, Hemmer, Blind Hemmer Industrial, how are we doing on stock on that one then? Okay, but how many in baskets? Uh, just checking. Sorry, we just have to check. I don't want anyone to miss out, you see, because I know lots of people want these. Okay, there are 13 machines not checked out, but there are 20 in baskets. So seven of you are going to be told, I'm sorry, it's gone. If there's a pro there is a problem checking out the website, I think it's because it's so busy. Please go to the call centre and confirm your order. You split pay as well. You split pay. Right, go back to the iron now. Indeed. So what I've done is like the triple C on a, on a pair of jeans down the edge. On yeah, you there. love doing this. I, I do like doing yeah. this, obviously, with the power of the machines, but yeah. also the power of the iron as well. So again, it's one of those things where certainly with... I think using oh. maybe overlockers on there as well. You don't want pins in your work. No. Sewing machines, you don't want to strike a pin with a needle well, or something like that. Well, this way you wouldn't need pins. If you were going to blind hem it, you wouldn't even need a pin, would you? Because no. that's going to hold it in place. And you could just whiz along and do that. 100%, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, hang on. Somebody's asked to throw up. The thread in the blind hemming, oh, that's a good question. We are, we are, how much thread are we giving with it? So we're giving four reels of thread with this one. Okay, but what kind of thread is it? Do you, can you buy it normally? It's not, nor, it's not normal sewing thread, is it? No, so this is, what we're using on it is, a, is an extra fine thread, which, again, they use in the um, uh, professional uh, workplace. And where can we buy that from, then? So um, you can, again, get that through Franklin's. We, uh, Franklin's we're giving group. you some good plugs today. <laughs> yeah. Only because only we don't sell it. If we were selling it, I'd be telling you to sell us. We, we don't sell it. We don't sell it. So can you use standard thread or not? Is it too thick? You can't. You could use standard thread, but again, you want the best finish. So yeah, yeah. this finer thread. It's, it's, it's sensible just to catch it's that. less to, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, what's it called? Super fine? So uh, uh, this oh. one is called... Um, I, I, I do like that one. It's yeah, so it's um, yeah a fine, and also you can use it for an embroidery thread as well. So it is it is just a finer um, thread. And if you look again at a professional shirt, you'll notice the threads, even in normal sewing, are finer than what we use uh, at home. Perfect. Thank you for that question. Back to you in the iron. On the iron. So obviously heavy, obviously heavyweight denim on that. So to to normally iron is a lot of pressure needed to get that creasing in there. With ourselves, obviously, all I've done is just add a little bit of steam. I did actually just rest the iron and just run it across, but with no actual pressure by myself on there. Just straight up seam, and again, if we just have a look at the seam on the other side, yeah, absolutely sharp, perfect on there. So again, it's just the power of steam. But also, if you're if you're pleating something, if you've got yeah. to pleat a skirt or pleat anything. That, that's going to put your pleat, because you know you have to pin and pin and pin, pin and pin. pin. That's gonna, and also it'll keep your pleats in place while you're stitching. The amount of times you're sewing a pleat and it'll, if it's not in place, it'll move and you'll end up with exactly one going. Yeah. Well, certainly, obviously, through costume making and the years' experience you've had through there. All right, you, I'm not you, that old. Yeah, <laughs> a few years, a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, yeah, you would know, obviously, pinning takes time. Pinning, yeah. pinning can be ha hassle on there as well. Yeah. So anything steaming, obviously, with knitwear as well for pleats dropping in there. It's, it's just such a multiple choice because you're not pressurising anything. Yeah, of course. So so when I'm ironing my shirt, yeah. I don't need as much steam as you just had. Then, or do I keep it on that setting for my shirt? Swings well? and roundabouts uh, on there. It depends. I like to steam a shirt by you or iron a shirt by using just steam. Right. So I will have it on a large uh, maximum sort of steam, two and a half bar. It really, as you say, it jets out really yeah. nice there. But if I'm ironing on an ironing board, then I would turn the steam down because I don't want to then saturate the, the board underneath. Of course, keep yeah. it wet. 
So it depends what type you are going to be doing. In a factory, it's just say, with panels and different things, I would have it set up in the dress form, yeah. and then literally just upright steam on there to finish. Okay, so I, at home, before because I've got all my shirts, I iron them all. Yeah. I wash them all, dry them, let them dry naturally, and then hang them on the rail. Then in the morning, I choose the five that I'm bringing here, or the night before, I choose the five I'm bringing in. Yeah. And I literally sit and iron them. Could I put a shirt that's slightly creased on my mannequin yep. and steam it and on top right and it'll, I don't need to... No, absolutely not. Again, depending on the mannequin, obviously you've got to be careful because yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. it will take the steam on there. Yeah. Uh, but no, you can do that. What I what I actually do, say if, if I'm in a place as well, you've got just a rail, you can just hang it on the rail so the steam then just comes through. Oh, so people, I don't even need to put it on the mannequin. Coat the rail will probably be a lot easier that way. We can just do that. Obviously, if we want creases down in the arms or something if you, like yeah, that. Yeah, but a lot of people don't want those. No, in films, you, you'd never put a crease in because continuity, you never might get the crease back in the same place you never put a crease in. Right, but a lot of people so don't. I like a crease down there. Yeah. But a lot of people, and not that you can see it on my shirts, but a lot of people don't like that crease going down the side there. No, so with that, then you just haven't got to worry about, it, say, literally setting up ironing boards or anything like that. Quick steam, job done. Perfect. Also, it's, it's one of those things as well, if people, ironing is an art. Mm -hmm. uh, on there, I've, I've, it's actually, I could say, it's one of my goddaughters as well, teaching us to, to iron. It's, she's a fantastic dressmaker. I mean, you say, well, iron. Oh, no, mum does it. No, no, right, this will help. And yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah, totally. So if you're not a good ironer or uh, on something like that, you don't realise, then steaming is the way to go as well. So yes. you can actually take a lot of that out. You say with dry cleaning, say with trousers, suits as well. Steaming knows to help clean if you want a quick freshen up, yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that, instead of going into the dry cleaners. So, yeah, so. And dry cleaners aren't cheap anymore. And the, right, right, quick exactly. question number two. There was one from uh, Norma. John, do you have to use treated water? Oh, good question, Norma. Do I have to use treated water? Depending on the area. In Essex, our water is very hard. Um, so like we, the blokes. Well, <laughs> well, we're always, uh, so, all right, mate. All right, mate. <laughs> as, we, as we first said when we come on. All right, yeah. so indeed. <laughs> oh, Essex so it's really hard water in Essex. It's really hard water in Essex. So we do use treated water on there. Right. It's basically on when there. you say treated water, Dis what's it You can use a distilled water, something like that. Just buy that from the chemist or, you or could, something. You can filter it or filter bottled it, water. Yeah. Is absolutely got, fine. Filtered water. Can you use bottled in water in your eye? Now, posh you. <laughs> <laughs> so you just boil some water. You, would that be? Would boiled water be alright? Because is that not? You have to get. You, you are taking some of the scan out of it, but right, really, that's water. not doing. A, if you want to really like anything which which pumps steam or water through, longevity is down to how clean it. Of keeps. course, yeah. So the the cleaner the water, the longer it is going to be better. Do they way. need servicing? No, basically. No. Okay, no. and do these come with a warranty as well? Uh, yeah, 12 months warranty, well, one year. So warranty. The, the warranty is your manufacturer's warranty. Yeah. So if it breaks down, you'll fix it. If you drop it on the floor and smash it, that's not... That's Alas, not, no. no, 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 no. Ho ho we have house insurance for that. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so, well, don't talk to me about house insurance. All right. <laughs> Did you say there was uh, some more messages? Oh, two questions. This is for you. Two questions about the blind hem machine. Sorry, That's Gary. all right. <laughs> uh, can this blind hemming thread hold a use a clear blind hemming thread large cone yes you could do as an invisible thread you could run that through there no problem at all and a bigger and the bigger cone as well yes yeah it's got that large area for large cones perfect yes. next one can i use the blind hemmer on jersey fabrics as Anne in cheshire um, you could use it on jersey fabrics. Again, jersey fabrics are more made for a cover stitch. Yeah. Um, but on a cover stitch, you have, you, you've still got to have a line, haven't you, on a cover stitch? You can't do it blind, can you? On the, oh, I don't know, you're the expert. On a cover stitch, can you have it blind on one side and just the stitching on the other side? Blind, no. As in, as in, yeah, you would still have those, two, generally two lines of sewing on yeah, the top, on straight the, lines, and at the bottom it would web either, yeah, underneath. Yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no way, so there's no way of having Jersey or stretch with nothing on that side and the stitching on that side, really. I was just looking at <laughs> you, you, yeah, absolutely. You oh, can, oh. Yeah, they, they, you can certainly use the hemmer on it. Yeah. Um, the only thing you will um, sort of lose a bit is a bit of the elasticity yeah, within, yeah, yeah, within the stitch, but certainly it will blind hemmer stretch fabric, yeah. a, a thicker fabric, because it's got quite a deep pile, so it's actually easier to catch than yeah. half of the, the lighter weight fabrics. Yeah. 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 It's really if you do the sk skip stitch as well, then that gives you the space between the stitches for the elasticity. It or not. will do. The only thing sometimes with a certain jersey of how soft it is, yeah. when you skip stitch what you don't want is that bit in the middle oh, to wave. Oh, to bounce. So yes. by having a, a constant row of stitch, yeah. it will help keep it flatter. Perfect. So yeah, so I, yeah, with that. Another thing, going back to the, the nylon threads, because when I use the blind hammers, I do a, a lot with the nylon threads right. in there. And certainly for things like curtains and things like that, what you're necessarily not going to iron, because obviously you can't iron nylon thread. But 
with curtains that have they're all dry clean, so obviously with something like that, absolutely no problems at all. Yeah. But if you are using a nylon thread and then you are using it on garments, trousers, etc., that way, and instead of ironing it, steam it. You steam it. <laughs> so, there you go. Which is yeah. that. So there is that way around as well. So that's the only thing I will say with the fine nylon thread. Of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you say another message from Julie earlier? Oh, it's just on the phone, it's just on the phone. Okay, then. Right. So so, I, oh, I've what? actually just got, I've got some knitted fabric here oh, okay. to show how it works with that sort of stretch. God, they're ready for everything, these boys, aren't they? Yeah, poor old Emma, struggling. While you're setting that up, Claire says, Gary, will you ever be bringing the Juki G220 again? Uh, it's certainly one day we certainly hope so. Right. Yeah, it's still it's still a, a very popular machine on there. As we all know, limitations of stocks coming through, but hopefully one day, yes. And where have you been up to your ranges? Uh, um, exhibitions are started yeah, up again yeah, now, so here and everywhere. Come second place. Well, no, it's, it's nice. some of us go out of on, on holidays and we don't get a chance. Oh, to get, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, George, what are you doing? <laughs> so I'm just just running through this um, this knitted fabric here. Um, so I come to the end there again. Just bring that needle out on that stroke in. Pull that out the back and on there again. An invisible hem, and oh. it does actually have a surprising oh, amount no, of stretch in there. It's, it's, got, it's, got, got, stretch it's it. got movement, but it's not got full elasticity. I don't want somebody to go like that. So with what it you're saying is, right. don't put it around my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we just see? Oh yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. So, so that, yeah, what so. is that fabric then? It's like a soft jersey? Yeah, soft gonna... knitted. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Right, okay. Okay, so hang on a second. So what Kat's saying, she's on the phone just trying to sort this out. What's the matter, Kat? Right. Right. Okay, right, okay, okay, okay. If you've got this machine in your basket, you have to ring up. If you definitely want it, you have to ring up. There's no way you're going to be able to check it out on the web. There's an issue, some glitch, I don't know what it is. So the only way to secure it now is by ringing the call centre. And there's way too many people got it in their baskets. I promise you, as soon as we can, we'll get... Well, we'll get the young version back. <laughs> but we'll, we'll all get them back. We, we've got people talking at the moment, trying to sort it out. But that's the only way you can check it out at the moment. But there's way, way, way too many of you got that in your basket now. That's the blind hemming one there. It's not yours until you've either spoken to somebody or you've got confirmation that you've checked it out. Okay, so that's the blind hemmer. Now, is there anything else you wanted to... What time is it? Oh, 12 o'clock. The, the hours with you, like, fly by, Yeah, it does. It absolutely is brilliant. Uh, what else do you want to talk to me about this iron? Right, well... Uh, Really, that's what the iron offers. Yep. Obviously, as far as it goes, like with ourselves, we don't just stick things in it. So there's no flashing lights. There's no this, that, and the other. Yeah. It does have safety features over the cutouts. Over it is left on. How heavy is it? Um, you don't have to tell me exactly. That, is it like a heavy? No, I don't mean the, the, the whole. Oh, the, the, the whole thing. Obviously, it, it's with the water in. You are going to be looking about six kilos. But that. Oh, that's right. That's like a big sewing machine. Yeah, this, this but it. That, yeah. it'll be on your table anyway. And it'll be really on the table. Not really going to move that much. No, that's, that's and once it. it's in situ, it's not really the kind of eye. Well, it's got wheels on it for you to wheel you around. But it's not it the around. kind of thing that's going to move around that much if you're going to have it by your ironing board or by your workstation. Well, and also with something like that, as I say, if if we are around the house, we're we doing our soft furnishing around the house or something like that. Obviously, we are wheeling it up. How to... long's the wire, the cord, the cord on it? The um, oh, okay. meter and a half. Yeah, I, and I half. would say there. And a good question. You just you just did. How heavy would you say the the actual unit, because you're gonna if you're doing lots and lots of ironing. That's it. It, it has got some weight to it. As we, you yeah. know, a light iron is not good for much on there. You need some weight to oh, your yeah, iron course, in there. Course, so I would certainly say a bag of sugar, a couple of pounds. <laughs> one, one kilo, two, okay, two pounds, then. something two like that, pounds. I would say. Something like that on there, yeah. Fantastic. It's about that sort of weight. And it's got a cork handle, it looks it's like. It's got there. the cork so handle. So that's not ever going to get hot, is it's it? It's never going to get hot. Also, it's not going to be slippery at all as well, because obviously with the amount mm. of steam, it's going to be good grip. And good question. Does any of it get warm apart from the bottom of the iron? Uh, the tank, you will feel some heat through the tank. Yeah. But as you say, it is hot, but I have got my hands on there, so it is safe. It's not burning, but yeah. it is warm, because obviously you've got warm, warm like a kettle. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I only uh, asked because I went to, I bought a friend of mine, uh, one of those cookery, Italian cookery, and I went to stuff, and I went like this, and I put my hand down like ooh. that, and that was, the, it didn't look like anything, and there was no sign, and it was, no. I burnt the hole in the bottom of my hand. That's anyway, ouch. let's quickly do this, and this iron is £299, saving £50 today. Uh, now, I can't guarantee if we get it back that it'll be that price either. 
That could just be our launch price today. Uh, you can get it on three split payments, £99.66. Uh, remember, once you've paid your first payment today or later on tonight, that uh, means that it will they'll set the wheels in motion and um, Franklin's will send it out to you after the first payment. Then you just pay the other two. It's paid for by Christmas, remember. So not that you're going to buy an iron for someone else for Christmas. Think about self-gifting or anything. If you buy somebody an iron for Christmas, you might get a slap. Right, OK, so Gary, you're done. We're going to have a break now. And then just recap on this, even though we've got way too many people have got them in their baskets. Just recap on this Tony uh, blind hemming machine. It's £579. You can get it on split pay. Again, it will be sent out the minute your first payment is taken. There are so many people got that in their baskets. £193 you'll pay today. And you do that three times. Again, paid for by Christmas. What a brilliant machine. And there's me going, oh, why do we need a blind hemming machine? Anyway, there's so many who've got that in your basket. We're going to go for a break now, because when we come back after the break, we've still got 55 minutes left, haven't we? We're going to do this machine that's been sitting here next to me, and we're going to do the scissors, and, well, we might recap something else. We'll see you in five minutes from now. I'm so excited to tell you about Yarn Lane's Mystery Christmas Crochet Along, or CAL for short. Whether you're a crochet beginner or more experienced, you are going to love this project. As it builds each week into a beautiful, traditional Christmas blanket. But, now this is the mystery part. To keep you guessing, and to make it fun, we're going to keep the finished design a secret. So you'll only know what the finished blanket looks like at the very end when you add the border. We have set up a special members only Facebook group where we'll be posting the next set of instructions each week. And you can ask me and Wendy Orlando, our star designer, any questions. It's going to be such a great community. So head to www.yarnlane.com for more details of how it all works and to buy your kit to join in with the Christmas cow fun. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Gary's obviously got a new sofa cover because he's brought in his old wipey downy one here already. <laughs> right, okay, so now the machines, the machines, our website has gone completely, well, it's blown up basically. If you see anything you like, please ring the call centre. It's free, it's free, they're just round the corner um, because there are things are getting stuck in baskets and stuff like that. The only way of, I, and also in this hour, I won't be able to tell you uh, how many I've got of everything left simply because the, the website's all, so Cat can't see, so. Right, I can tell you that we're starting off with 10 of this straight stitch machine. So Gary, why would I need a straight stitch machine? Right, well, as I sort of said briefly, and as I think you guys really do know, I do love my quality. Yeah. And with a lot of machines, and with the multi-functions on machines now, a lot of it does get taken away from that performance and perfection of straight stitch. Also, we know probably 90% of our sewing is straight stitch only as well. So why not have a machine? Nowadays, we're getting machines specialists now, like a, a blind hammer to do that job, and we know it does it perfectly. Yeah. Cover stitch machine, an overlocker. We're, we're realising now buying these tools is making our lives easier. It's giving us perfection of stitch. It's allowing us to do a lot more as well. Mm -hmm. So. The, the TL, the 2200, is my straight stitch machine. This is not a new machine for me. I, I, I've loved this machine. I've had this machine 
probably now in this sort of version of about 25 years. Well, the thing is, you always say this, don't you? If it ain't broke, don't fix exactly, it. Exactly. If it worked yeah. perfectly, why am I going to change it? Yeah. To make it, There's no it's need to redesign the wheel, yeah. as such to say, on there. So, yeah. um, but what with uh, what this actually is, where there's other machines out there, heavy duty, semi commercial, semi professional, there are all these names they chuck on them. They are all domestic machines. They've just made bigger. Right. So the interior of it's domestic, and that's obviously the biggest downfall. When they're selling them as a, that semi commercial machine, and they've got a domestic interior, you know the quality, the strength, the power is not going to be there. This machine, I'm just going to take that off. It comes with a nice large table on there. It's got oh, it's got quite wide. It's a nine inch. Bed, it's then, a nine inch throw, but also it's very high. This has the biggest rolling section on any machine. Right. So, but what this actually is, this is not just a domestic machine we've made bigger. This is actually off our industrial line. This right. is a full proper solid metal machine. No free arm facility. It is just a solid high speed flatbed machine to do that one job and does it perfectly on right. there. But it doesn't matter what we're doing on the game. This typical Juki quality on there, we can put shears through it, heavy weights fabric through it, or whether we're doing quilting, patchwork, soft furnishings, it just coats with it and does it perfectly. Produces up to 1500 stitches a minute. So with most domestic machines, range from about 800 to maybe 1000 thereabouts. So it's a lot faster. We have got a full speed control on it, so it doesn't have to be frightening. We can control the machine perfectly. Obviously, being fully industrial, it does come with the industrial bobbing system, which is actually in the side here. So I'm just going to turn that on okay. and then pull the flap up so we can see oh, okay. in the bobbing system. As we, as you, I hope you can see in there, it is complete metal. Everything is f solid in there. You got. Is there a way we can turn it, Emma, so we can see inside? There? I, I, you stay where oh, you are, Gary. Don't oh move yeah, so oh, there we go. There we go. We we'll do that one there. There so, you go. As we can see, it's a so it's like an old-fashioned. Like uh, my first sewing machine had that kind of. Well, you say old-fashioned. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's like. Virtually every single dress uh, industrial machine has that same system right. on there. It's a rotary but domestic, system. My first Frister Rossman or whatever I had, right? Yeah, would have had, had a similar sort yeah. of system yeah. to it. Yeah. The thing is, with like the Frister Rossman, it's called uh, basically you have central bobbin CB systems on there which are oscillated, uh -huh. or you have the, like, the industrial which is full rotary, a lot smoother, a lot faster. Therefore, the stitch performance is a lot greater yeah, as well. So, yeah, that is why it is in there. But the nice thing with that, it is easy to get to. Yeah. So it's not, so we've taken the extension table off. So it is a very conventional bobbin system just in the side okay. on there. So that's sort of showing you really about the machine. It's just, it is an industrial machine for the table. It's not a big domestic machine okay. on there. But it's not scary. It's very easy and very conventional. So I'm just going to turn it background again. Oh, <laughs> suction on there. On the <laughs> That's a little bit more on there. So first of all, winding the bobbin. So the bobbin winder is on top, pretty much the same as most domestic machines. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the thread through the guide at the back and then like all, all sort of machines which have the bobbin winders on top, you will have a pressure spring as well, mm -hmm. which you just wrap the thread around and then the correct, the correct way of threading or winding the bobbin is then you just poke it through one of the holes and then pull the thread up through the you top. You see the hole right there. It, that's, I'm struggling bobbin. more now. <laughs> uh, now the bobbin looks like, is it a metal bobbin? It's a game, so metal you bobbin. you only use those bobbins in it? It's one of those questions I get asked a lot. Does it take universal bobbins? Nothing takes universal bobbins. There's no such thing as a universal bobbin. Very, very important for performance of machines, the right bobbin in the right machine. Yeah. These are the most common bobbin in the world. So, right. uh, because it's the same as the industrials. But could I use, if I've got a Juke, say I've got a Juke. Domestic. Domestic, could um, I put that in there? No, they are okay, different no, no, again. No, that, again, because of the bobbin system, it's a very different mm -hmm, bobbin system fine. on there. But you get, you get quite a few with it. Well, we, we've, uh, you, get, you get four or five with, the five with the machine, and we are throwing an extra 10 with some the actual oh. gift package that oh, we're okay, putting perfect. with it as well. So, we put that in we've there. We've got no mention that on the graphics. Ah, oh, right. I, okay. I'll tell you what we're, we're putting with it. Oh, we've always got to come with a little few extras, oh, haven't course, we? So. Yeah. So from there, so we just the bobbin then just clips into place, engage the bobbin winder yeah. by pushing the lever across. The machine will automatically clutch itself, i.e. the needle will yeah. Yeah, stop moving. Put my foot down and wind. Right well, fast. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, it will pop off when it's full. Obviously, I can stop the machine at any point I want to. 
and then just by just depressurizing off like so. Okay. So I just. But if, it, if you're just filling whole bottom, it'll do that. It will just do yeah. that absolutely. Yeah. So but I will just take that off a little bit early. Then we have the bobbin case. So it's a full rotary bobbin case on there. So the bobbin just drops in. The thread pulls through the tension. So if you have got come from a domestic with a drop-in bobbin, you'll be very used to that system, but I'm just holding the system yeah, instead of it actually being in the there, machine. Yeah. So you've still you've got your tension slot and your tension spring, which you just pull the thread through. Yeah. So very simple. Holding the lever, that's, that's your handle. That stops the bobbin from dropping out as well on there. And then literally it will just locate like so and just locks into place in Brilliant. there. So nice and easy to insert that way. The threading, there is a couple of more guides and the nice, the swings and roundabouts on the threading and the tension systems on here. A lot of people when they sort of, they, get, they can be a little bit frustrated because there's certain threads they can't use or thicknesses they can't go up to, especially now with a lot of people then doing heavier work, bag making, mm -hmm. uh, home furnishing that, people are trying to use heavyweight threads. Domestic machines do not like heavyweight threads. They're not timed for them. It, the system, the bobbin systems are different on that way. Obviously, with our industrial system, we can use a bigger variety of threads on there. So at the moment, this is basically the same thread as what George had on, on your hammer. What, the fine? This is extra fine 60 thickness thread. So it really is a nice, and the good thing about this for dressmaking, um, it's, it's one of those things where, again, we don't just look at machines, we look at what the machines can do and how they're going to perform. With Standard thread, a lot of standard thread you buy in the shop, it's actually a 50 thickness, so it's a little bit heavier. But if you look at the weight of your shirts, your blouses, it's a much finer weave. Really is, just matching the thread will again help with that performance and quality of stitch. So threading it up, we're just going to go through one of the guide holes on top of the machine. We're going to take it under, we're just going to go through the second guide hole. So with that, the reason we have the double holes on there is because of the speed of the machine. So with how fast the machine is, if the thread comes off and it then twists itself off the reel for any reason, the time it actually then gets down to the tensional needle, this will untwist the thread. Right, so, so you're know, still going through the thing that you filled the bob in? That's it, itself. so the one at the back, we've taken it off the tensioner though. Oh, okay, just yeah, gone through it. And right. we're just keeping it through the guide okay. at the back on there. Then we've got the pre-tensioner on there, so again this is allow us to use a lot more than variety of uh, threads on there. And also it stops any loops of threads because it holds the thread tighter. Right. So round the tension, over the check spring, under the guide, through the guide. So all of this you have so on it's your... no different to a normal sewing machine really. Exactly. It? You have all of this on your domestic machine. Yeah. But on a domestic it machine... It's more built Butch. in. They cover it on a, on a domestic machine, they cover it all with plastic. Yeah. They, they yeah, build yeah, it all this in. Is made to, so, yeah. And obviously this is just made to work and also the advantage of something like this, obviously it's a, it's a machine if you are running it sort of all day and that you are going to create more fluff, mm -hmm. it is going to need cleaning more. So the external system is so much easier to look after of rather course. than it all being built in. Yeah. So right, while you're threading that, there's a couple of yep. messages about this machine. Uh, I am lucky enough to own this machine, it's great and free motion quilting is a breeze with it from Geraldine in County Down. And there's a question from Wendy saying, does this free motion so you can use it on a quilting frame from Wendy? Absolutely, yep. Well, brilliant. And uh, certainly for the free motion uh, frame or freestanding free motion as well, superbly. I've got a bit to play with a bit okay, later on there, fine. so you we will on. have some fun. It's... Oh, I'm going to, sorry, guys, another one. Yep. Very quickly. Uh, I just want to say to everyone that this machine is absolutely brilliant from Alison in, Nor Alison in Norfolk. Brilliant, thank you very much again. Well, this is this is the nice thing with this particular machine because I've literally I've, I've been selling it sort of 25 years. It's got a fantastic following. Do you have a needle there, thread on there? And this is what I'm going to sort of show you because no industrial has basically got needle threaders. Because we want to put it more for the domestic user, let's make life a little bit easier. Yeah. Put a needle threader in it. Because of that, we've also put domestic flat sided needles in there. So industrials take round top needles, yep, you get a yep. variety of round top needles. So this is your normal? This is normal flat sided domestic needle. And, and the main purpose we've done that on this is so we can, start use, we can still use our quilting needles, our large eyed needles and things like that. So yep. we've got the variety there. So the needle threader on this one just comes down, yep. the thread hooks on, pulls across and it just pulls that loop through. Brilliant. So, because it's not front to back like every domestic machine, it is a left to right fitting uh, threading on there. So I'm just going to pop the table back on, uh, like so, and then 
the controls on the machine. So first of all, I'm just going to hold the top thread and I've got a button here which is needle up, needle down. So I just press it once, needle down, press it again, needle comes up, there's my underneath bob bobbin thread, which I would then just pop out the back. So you need to, it's like, it's like in the old days, you need to pull the bottom one For the through. first time only. Yeah, oh, yeah. For the, okay. Right, for the first time, yeah. because it does, the button underneath that is your thread trimmer. Right, okay. So once you've done that and it trims the thread, it will actually hold the thread for you as well. And again, like for the quilt, it was patchwork, and so the people were putting it on the long arm machines as well. Because this is an industrial arm, so it is all solid metal. Mm -hmm. Unlike domestic machines, they're making longer and longer, which still basically have a percentage of plastic on there. It is, uh, it's, sort of, it's one of those things I'm going to say it because it does sort of cringe me a little bit where people got multi-thousand pound machines, big embroidery system, and they put it on a vibrating table and try and use it on their long arm. It really, they're not designed to be bounced around so much like that. Uh -huh. This, in the US and the UK, is one of the biggest selling long arm machines. Because the nice thing with this, once you've got it on your long arm, you can take it off and still use it as a utility yeah, machine of course, as well. Yeah. So you have the best of both worlds on there. So we've got the thread trimmer, the needle up, needle down. We have a sliding speed control. You, it hasn't got a start, stop button. Everything is done with the foot control. Yeah. So unlike a domestic machine, obviously, which runs a lot slower, this one is full control with the foot. And is that just a foot thing? Oh, no, of course oh. not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so accelerator at the front, so as your normal foot pedal, and at the back, we've got what we call a heel back. So we press it down, and then that will then activate the underbed trimmer, so it will cut the, tr the threads for us. Do you have to have that? No, nope, no, nope. you can block that off. We actually, with part of the accessories, it, it, it was just simple. Oh, it's not a button, it's actually a piece of plastic. Absolutely, piece of... we don't need to put electronics on the switches and things like yeah. that. We made something very simple, just to pop on the bottom, and it takes Stops the cutter it, away. Okay. Exactly it. Because not everyone wants that, do they? No, this yeah. is especially sometimes when you are using... Uh, like a long arm machine as well. You definitely don't want to be cutting threads every time on there by accident. Yeah. Uh, but saying that with the long arm people as well, you can get separate handlebars to go onto the machine course, to yeah. drive the machine as well. Yeah. So you do get the best of both that way. So on the front also, we, we have a lever here. Uh, that's our drop feed mechanism. So again, which basically industrial. Oh, so it's very obvious because normally you go round the back. You have to or fiddle side, underneath or something like that. Yeah. This is it. Or and again, something that industrials don't have. So it's a development again we put into the machine mm -hmm. to make it a multi-use machine. And certainly for people with want to do free motion, long arm quilting, etc. Obviously, you need the feed to be dropped on there. Touch reverse. So a nice big lever, yeah. spring loaded reverse, same as what we have on the industrials there as well. So what's that big dial for? That is it. Then the only one left now is then your stitch length control, which is there. Oh, that's your length. And also you have noticed it goes up to six. Yeah. It's a bit like the old amps that go up to 11, you know it's something special. This goes up to six, so you know it's something <laughs> a little bit special on there. Right. Because it's got the full travel speed, uh, travel feed on here. The again, box feed system, which we're known for Duke, it's our industrial system. This one does have a longer travel. So for six mil. And the nice thing about that, if I want to then start using things like heavy industrial, more industrial weight threads, I can on this machine. So, and that's something I'm going to show you in a minute. So, oh, yeah. at the moment, we just so. Board, look, you sat down, <laughs> waiting. I'll be a chiffon to start with. Very much so, because again, Typical little chiffon. people think, oh, it's a heavyweight machine or something like that. Is it going to do lightweight fabrics? So, Again, you know, as you say, I, I raid my house to start off with. Yep, I bring lots yep. of things to play with. This is your Halloween costume. Exactly it. So this is then uh, my Naughty Devil costume fabric. So <laughs> <laughs> And it's see-through, ladies. Right. Something I, it does come with, and it's something I, I'm afraid I can't show you on here. Yeah. It does come with the knee lifter. Oh, yeah. Where's that plug uh, in? So that just goes into the front of the machine, just in, oh, we can see oh, a yeah, little yeah, hole yeah, there yeah. underneath. Yeah. And for those at home, the knee lifter basically is gives you hands free. Moving your knee from left to right will actually activate in the foot lift up and well, down. Well, brilliant. If you're doing quilting, you don't want to let go of the quilt. Fantastic. And you need to lift up or and multiple layers and that. Certainly thickness with soft furnishing where you're either trying to do piping yeah. and things like that. So it does come with the knee lifter. OK, stop. Two questions. Very quickly. Helen said... What oil do you use on this machine? A lightweight sewing machine oil. And you get it in the... Uh, you do get some... Oh, it was. Oh, well, probably. I think. Oh, damn, it's on the floor. Well, sorry, but it is a. It's a lightweight sewing machine oil. Oh yeah, there it's, it is. George it's an, It's a non-stain oil as well. But again, you use it so sparingly. Well, you, again, 
you would appreciate this as sort of you say coming back to those old mechanical made machines. Yeah. So you get sort of that because every gear in here is metal. It's a bit like going back to sort of we, we grew up with the old singers and things like that. And they had all the little holes in every now and then we drop the oars in because we knew how that machine was made. Exactly the same one here. One, two, three, four oil holes on top of the machine. That's all in the instructions manual. And exactly it. And then just two on the base of the okay. machine as well. Next question very quickly. I'm very aware of time. That's all. Oh, John and yes. Gary, could yeah. I attach a walking foot to this machine? Uh, you can do. Um, you certainly don't need to buy one or anything like that because, again, it's one of those attachments that come with it. Now, is that normal or is that one you've put in? No, this, the, the machine itself comes with a nice selection of standard accessories Perfect. on there. And the walking foot is obviously because they're all industrial high fitting as well. They're not domestic low fitting. So they are all, if we have a look at some of the feet on here, they are very solid feet. Yeah. Um, obviously full high arm, uh, so a high fitting feet on there. So they're very powerful. And with the walking foot as well, again, why just have the walking foot? We've actually put with it the adjustable guide. So there's a guide which basically screws onto the back of the foot. Yeah. This is all included with it as well. And um, so, can you use rulers with this? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. We'll come to that in a minute then. So, and then with for the quilting patchwork seaming, it does come then with the adjustable guide on there as well. Brilliant. So that is all part of the package. So, yep, the walking foot. Okay, one more very quickly and then we'll carry on. Uh, I have this machine which I use on a long arm frame and it's brilliant. Linda, from, I was talking about that earlier, Linda. Uh, Linda from Somerset. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Linda. Again, as I say, as you appreciate, a lot of people got into knowing this machine because of the long arm frames mm -hmm. uh, on there. And it's not just one particular make. We don't actually make a long arm frame for this film. We do our big long arm machines. But uh, there Maybe are you quite a few. Carry, put money in there. Well, you this is it. But there is quite a few manufacturers out there, and we do actually deal with all of them. Okay. Uh, we have tried our machines on oh, I see. all so of them as well. Oh, I see. You don't go with one. You, do, you go with lots. That's why uh, on there. So um, again, travelling around doing the exhibitions and people, yeah. this machine has got. A, uh, it's not blowing your own trumpet. It's got a great reputation. Is because how well it works on the frames, but also as a sort of a piecing machine, okay. but everything else. Right, back to the so, chiffon now, sorry. Back to the chiffon, which is literally going to put the foot down, and away I go. As you can hear, very smooth, very no, solid. there's no vibration whatsoever, is there? And that's, that's only on three-quarter speed as well. So we've got to the end. Obviously, we've got a reverse, which I can then just press through a tie on and off. Mm -hmm. I've got the button on the front of the machine, but also yeah. if I rather just put my heel back, press that, cuts the threads, Lift the needles out of the work. You definitely know it's cut. Uh, that's right, clonk clonk. It, it, again, it's just that sound. You know exactly what it's doing when it's doing yeah. it there. And you then, don't have to use that. You could use the. the uh, but we the can just use there. the button on the front of it as yeah. well. So this is then the chiffon. So even though people sort of say, "Oh, it's a big, heavy machine. It's not going to cope with real fragile, lightweight fabrics." Mm -hmm. Look at there, and again inside the seam on there as well. Yeah. There's no puckering, there's no pulling, it's absolutely perfect. And we can go from there, and again, sort of, you know, we'd like, well, I've got, obviously I'm having a red day today. We've got obviously. some red velvet to go. This is obviously definitely part of my costume as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we he's won't gonna, ask which bit. <laughs> he's just gonna pop that under. And then, again, I'm not gonna touch the stitch length or anything. I'm quite happy with the length on there. I'm not gonna play with tensions or anything straight through. So a completely different type of fabric again. Can you alter the foot pressure? As in? As in what's... Uh, the, 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 the foot pressure? Yes. I've got, yes indeed. Yeah, Sorry, I've yeah. got that on the top here. And as I turn it, I have got a gauging oh, yeah, yeah, guide yeah, 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 in yeah, the front see. of the screen as well. Sometimes on a thicker velvet, you want it to be not quite so... That's right. You, you want to reduce that little bit of pressure so you're not crushing the pile yeah. so much yeah. on there. So, yeah, Nothing worse than crushed piles, is there? Oh, absolutely <laughs> awful. Dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> so we just go through straight down. And as you say, we have got the speed there as well when yeah. we want it. Press the foot control, trim, finish, up. Obviously, if I had the knee lifter, I would be using that yeah. as well. And then... As we can see in there, yeah, lovely. again, oh. it hasn't puckered it, no it hasn't marks pulled or anything it, there's no on marks there. on there. And this is a nice thing, again, being a fine feed, you haven't got a, a wide feed to really grip and can mark the fabric as well, so which is really nice. Then just the awkward things on there, so something we steamed earlier. <laughs> <which> <laughs> is, 
So this is, say, if you're making things like curtains, and we all know as well, it's not just for home use. You've got people out there who are running businesses from home mm, and things like that. Especially and they, now. And they're using, especially now, exactly. And they're using their domestic machines and they're either having to turn work away because they know it's not going to cope with it or they're ruining customers' fabrics, which is obviously very expensive mm -hmm. um, on there. Or they're just not happy with the overall job because they have to struggle doing it. Or it's taking a lot more time. And obviously we know with business, time is money as well. So... Heading tape, nylon heading tape, obviously very powerful, strong anyway, so yeah. a lot of machines do bang when it goes through that. Blackout lining, not just a normal lining, so it's coated, obviously very, very solid weave uh, yeah. on there. Interlining on there, yeah. so we've got there, and then we have got then our heavier curtain fabric. Things from on your there cinema well. room at home this when you're watching a movie in the uh, afternoon. Exactly, yeah. it's full blackout, nice and dark in there, yeah. so, so we lower it up, lower it up, over. Fold the top of the... Uh, yeah, because you've got several layers fabric, going on, haven't Multiple you? layers, multiple types of fabric, and then we're going to add the heading tape onto it yeah. as well on there. And you're going to sew this on an angle. This is well. where <laughs> I'm going to have to excuse a little bit. Oh, I'm going to just turn this in a little bit for yeah, this particular right. one because of the multiple layers. <laughs> yeah. And then, obviously, this is where the, the platform is fantastic. Obviously, it supports the fabric so well on there, through, and then... So from one to the other, and as you can sort of hear when it goes through, the sound does not change at all. So even though we're going through all those layers and, and the tough It almost sounds like it's happier going through lots of layers than it is going to... Not that it was unhappy going through the chiffon, but well, because it sounds you, like it's going, oh yeah, that's nice. No, exactly it. Because you've got that heavy feed system, so even though it's not tearing into the fabric, you're always going to have that heavy sound. Yeah. So when you've got sort of the wadding and interlining, and that, obviously it's, it's sort of tame that, dumbing yeah, that exactly. sound down a little bit on there. So I just cut the threads through, and I'm going to then just run down my second line. And what rufflet tape have you got there? Is it a goblet or is uh, it No, this free? is just your, your oh. pleat. Yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, nothing no, too nothing special on this one. Way. Yeah, just your normal triple pleat one. Remember, you can use the split payment uh, option. Uh, £299 today. And is that five times? Is it five, three? Yeah, five times. You'll do five split payments, but from £299 uh, today. Oh, yeah, and you do need to... Do you need to ring the call centre? Don't try checking out on the web. So again, if we have a little look on there, so the multiple layers, they're absolutely perfect yeah. uh, on there again. So it is an all-rounder, absolutely fantastic. But as we say, we can just take it that stage further, which really puts it way above the domestic machine and the households. And that's by then using things like upholstery threads, thicker threads okay. and that, where we want to give something a bit of strength on there. So... I did wind the bobbing earlier, but oh, we, don't, yes. we don't treat oh, so it we're any, going to the any different, the so one. that's it. I'm just going to thread it up there. Okay. I'm not going to change anything else. Obviously, we've got the two points on the back, so we can wind and have one for winding as well. But Has we, it got an independent bobbin, or do you have to stop and...? It just, no, it does. It, this one, it will declutch it as it goes, but you don't have to run thread and reef. No, 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 that's fine. Reel. Two things. And then you've got your cone holder, which goes on, so we are using the large cones, which, again, you can't use this type of cone on the domestic machine. No, definitely not. So... Over through, we will thread it up exactly the same way, so no difference there at all. Let's get rid of the frayed end. So, and then the only one thing I am going to do, because it is a lot thicker the thread, I am actually going to change the needle. Oh, okay. Uh, you say that's rare for me, you know, I don't very yeah. often. No, I, no, you I, only like them if they're sh you don't normally change them, as you say, as long as they're new and sharp. Then that that's fine. is it. So, what needle are you put in? I am actually going to put a top stitch needle in. Right. So, obviously, for, it's designed then for that thicker yeah. thread. And isn't that there. the one with the bigger eye in it? The eye is sort of two and a half times bigger than a standard yeah. needle on there, because obviously, we, need, we want the thread to run through smoothly instead of getting yeah. caught. So. Very easy to change the needle, so just flat-sided needles, single screw. Okay, web's working now, you can check out on the web. If you've got the uh, blind hem or the iron, check out on the web, make sure you do. I've got a bit of news while Gary's screwing that. Uh, we've been able to get five more blind hem machines and ten more irons, and that is it. That's all we can get. We can't, not, not that they're not giving, they just said, Franklin said, that's it. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. So I'll, I'll run through those very quickly at the end, but I'm a bit worried about time. You ready, George, to go with the scissors when Gary finishes? <laughs> oh, 
What did he do then? Oh, I accidentally stood in the foot control. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that wasn't on purpose, that one. We couldn't one. have a day without a mistake, Excuse could we? Excuse really? me on that, that's it. <laughs> Obviously, it's much easier if you are just in front of the machine. Oh, it? I've got another <laughs> message. I've got another message here now. Yeah. I don't know who this is from. Oh, from our, from our buying department, the Bits Out studio. Am I meant to read this bit out? This is all the supplier has available. We are very unlikely, in capital letters, very unlikely to be doing a similar show or offering these products again, particularly the blind hemmer, in the next few months. That's come, that's come from the buying department. So if the, buy, if, the, if the hemmer sells out today, including those five, uh, was it five extra or ten? Five extra, that'll be it. That'll be it. Right. So yeah, in your own time, can yep, we have to go home at one o'clock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I know he's usually scrabbling for time just for because of what we're showing, not me just threading yeah, exactly. the machine. So right, so there we go, get rid of that. So we just thread it up exactly the same way, pop the bobbin in. Yeah. And the thing is, with something like that, again, showing you with the figure thread, it's, it's not, it's one of those things where to stand out, you've got to think, oh, is that, is that, it's only doing straight stitch still. Yeah. But people who know and who have tried to use heavyweight threads, who want that reinforced stitch, who are fed up sort of making bag handles and that they're falling apart, they're not yeah, strong exactly. enough, then certainly with something like this. So what I'm going to do, straight onto like a heavyweight vinyl, something like that, something we would really stitch. Yeah. I have marked it out on that. So what we're going to do, if you... At the moment, I say so, so many people I know have been revamping their camper vans and things mm. like that. And the problem is, you're making seats and you use out a standard thread. As soon as you sit on it, you obviously pop and it, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. good that way. So, with something like this, absolutely say, all I'm going to do, and this is a nice thing about having the extra strong, long stitch length as well, I'm going to take it up to about five, five and a half. Yeah. And then. Have you got a camper van? I haven't, no, oh. no. It's one of those things I think it's going to happen, but just not yet. <laughs> I've got so many friends who've invested in them and they literally every weekend pile stuff in it and yeah. they just go. I've, I've, again, I'm like yourself on that. I've got so many people who have, it, within the last, oh, well, actually it happened just before lockdown, just before really. Lockdown, they started yeah. getting into it, which yeah. was fortunate because I think they had so hard to get during lockdown. Yeah. So, so again, away we go. So obviously heavyweight threads, heavyweight fabric and it just glides through it. And then the only thing, other thing I can't do on the, uh, the needle threader won't work with thick fabric. Oh no, of course not. And no. I'm afraid the thread trimmer, really advise not to use it with thick fabric as yeah. well. Uh, with, sorry, with thick thread. Uh, but other than that, uh, the machine yeah, itself. Yeah, but you kind of expect that anyway. But it thank would you, that's incredible. Absolutely, just take it through. Let's just stick another row on there as well. well your camper van's going to have quilted seats. Okay? Absolutely. Well, this is what they call a diamond, uh, diamond print. If you look in a lot of the top end cars manufacturers, <laughs> this is what they use. Is it in there? Where you've got that lovely diamond stitched in the back of the seat I've and things got like that. I've chairs. I've got like canvas. Uh, in mine. I've only seen them. It's not that I own oh, it. <laughs> I've seen. Them. Well, I supplied the machines to make them. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you think they give you a discount? There is a separate cutter on the side there as well, which will then just manually do that. Yeah. So if we look, it is really a very heavy duty stitch. Uh, on there, really heavy straight, duty man. thread. Yeah, I know that's the show. I should have put my guide on, shouldn't yeah. I? Really? That's there and there. But with a stitch, with using that weight of thread, you yeah. see how heavy the thread is on there. Absolutely brilliant. And that's a nice thing. You can play around with it more. You can get the end result. You can get that professional finish yeah. on there. And it's the same as in if we're using things like nylon webbing, bag oh, handles, yes, and things like that. Things, so yeah. real, real thick, uh, heavy webbing on there. So I see. We're not just going to fold it once or twice. Well, no, because sometimes when you put it through a slider, you have to fold it over and then fold yeah. it under. Unless you have exactly, a, yeah. on itself there. So we've got that like the triple fold on there. Yeah. Uh, but again, I'm not saying other machines with the threads and that is going to sew it, but you know when it's you sew it, you're not going to have yeah. any strength there at all. So through something like that, again through. Can you set it to a quarter inch foot? It does come with a quarter inch foot. Okay, perfect. So, I need to sort yeah, that on there as well. Brilliant. So down through, again, that control I've got over the machine, it won't just race away from you. A lot of people, when they see industrials, they get a little bit frightened. Right, think, oh, it's, it's got to yeah. zoom, that's right. So no, we've still got that perfect control on there. 
Uh, absolutely no problems oh, yeah. at all. No problem at all going through that. Just take Can it. I ask you, because we're just about to run out of time if we're not careful, what you get with the machine? Right, yes, yeah, so all the extras on there. So again, very, very you would never break that. It is a very, no. very tough finish on there. So it's just expanding and obviously just making more of a professional finish of mm -hmm. what we want to do on there. So with the machine itself, Let's pull these in front of me. So here. this is standard. This, this is, is what, if you bought it from anywhere. Literally, this is, this what, is what would come yeah. with the machine as well. So on the side here, we have three free motion feet. So these are what you would use then, obviously, for uh, on the on the frames, etc. That way for your quilting, we've got your quarter inch, your one eighth. So a different sort of for stippling markings that way. And mm -hmm. um, we've actually then put the open toe with it as well, Crikey. because that one we uh, we fight again. I think from my other shows, you know my favourite feet and things I get asked for. That one is one of the most popular asked for feet. Yeah. So we now include that within the package. And if you actually, again, look at the feet, they are full industrial made I was going to say, because well. normally you just get the bottom bit to add on to mm. another one, whereas that's a that's solid... It. These are all screwing. Yeah. Because of the extra speed, there's no vibration. You know it's not something going to rattle off or anything yeah. like that. So you get those three with it. It also then comes, that's your quarter inch foot. As you can see, it's got the guide on the side as Brilliant. well. So for your seam allowance there. Also then comes with your roll hem foot uh, on there, so you're getting nice fine hemming mm -hmm. edging on there. It comes with your compensating foot. Oh what? Compensating foot. Yeah. George, do you mind just passing me the denim please? That's great, thank you very much. So as we did earlier, obviously we sewed that side seam. Yeah. So if you want to stitch the seam, the problem is if you stitch on one side and it's gripping only half of it, oh, of course. it keeps feeding yeah, off yeah, to one yeah. side or the other. So with the compensating foot, part of the foot is sprung loaded. <gasps> I've never on seen there. one of those before. So that would then sit off the fold. Wow. So the foot is sitting on the fold. So even if you go over lumps and bumps, the spring loaded part like will suspension undulate almost. exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. it, very much so. But also it gives you that perfect seam allowance How guide brilliant. as well. So never seen one of those. again, the, that is those industrial attachments on mm -hmm. there. So that comes with it there. You've got your zip foot. Right. So pretty much standard, a lot of people might recognise recognize that from an older machine. Yeah. If it's not broke, don't fix it sort of thing. And it's adjustable for left and right. So you've got the best of both worlds Brilliant. on there. As we said, it also comes then with your walking foot with guide. guide so yeah. as standard. Then it comes with spare bobbin, spare needles, oil, cleaning brush, right. knee lifter, large extension table. Can I ask what you see on the extension table? What's yep. that little square... You see beyond at the side here. Yeah. So if I didn't want to take that off at all to get to the bobbin, I oh, could lift oh, it up. Oh, I see. So it's just help. Easy access more than anything Perfect. on there. Perfect. Yep. So that uh, mm. makes it a bit easier that way. Lovely. So um, telescopic arm. So that yep. just goes down. You've got sort of a semi-hard cover. So it's hard sort oh, of either good. side, <laughs> and then it sort of protects the machine. Yeah, because it's the not top. the kind of, I mean, well, mind you, it's not a heavy machine though, is it really? Even though it's metal. Oh, it's, it is. It is quite, well, okay. I'm, I'm used to lifting them around and it does have the it's handle well built into it. But oh, okay. they, they yeah, are very solid machines, yeah. yeah okay. they really, so it's one that you're not going to move around much? Not too so much, cover, because okay. again, uh, it's making it lighter would have been putting taking it away from that full industrial yep. and putting plastic okay. parts in it. Perfect. So it, we've kept it that same on. So there. that's all the standard stuff. So that with. comes as standard with the machine. So yeah. you get a nice selection there as as well already. Yeah. And then as extra, again with with the type of finishing, different things I'm asked for as well is piping, especially when on a domestic machine, to do good close piping yeah. is very difficult because the feed system is not necessarily there, spot on. So we have put a piping foot with it. Right. So again, that's like the proper just industrial left, design. Oh, we're just underneath the there we go, I, I should look Perfect. at the camera there, this is it. So, uh, so you have got then the proper industrial style piping foot, so then it will then sit over the piping. So when it stitches, the needle then sits perfectly next okay. to the piping Lovely. at all, so it gives it spot on. And then we have put the narrow, we class it as a narrow zip foot, which basically allows us to get that little bit closer. But for me, again, it's sprung loaded, which the other piping foot as well, so it will undulate over the different yeah. thicknesses. But for me, again, for piping, especially when you're using a variety of different piping, if you're doing very yeah. fine piping, or even like the rope piping we get now, which will not go under a foot. No. I've only ever done piping with a zipper foot before. Right, so yeah. you know then the flexibility, but having yeah. that narrow one, it allows you then to do much tighter turns. So again, yeah, yeah, like on corners of cushions. And exactly. Like that. Yeah. So more for that for that use on there, which again, so it's sort of important feet that we find that way. And then the other one, which is one of my biggest selling for, is for invisible zips. 
it, once you put an invisible zip in, you then you don't look back. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, you exactly. always you do. So, to do it, don't yeah, you? so then that's the foot to do that. Fantastic. So it comes with a good, good array of feet. I'm going to cut you off there. Yep. £1,495, get it on split pay, £299, and then uh, four more after that. Right, you've got five minutes. Do the scissors. Five minutes with the scissors. <laughs> so I've got the scissors here. Um, again, with a professional show, professional scissors. So um, the beauty of these scissors, you can, they are wireless. So they've got a lithium battery, battery in there. They cut at 5,000 uh, cuts per minute. And they cut right up to an 8 mil thickness of fabric. So um, Gary, can you pass me that? Uh, oh, there you go. You, you're going to cut you're that You're going to do that? that? Oh, you're going to cut that? <laughs> That's his cushion for his camper van. <laughs> That's it. So, again, with that wadding in there, leather on top. Straight, Straight through. through. And not only that, but if you're doing upholstery and things like that and you want to curve, the beauty of these scissors is the control. So I don't have to speed through it at all. I can even angle them round and get that nice curve in there. You want my other samples now? Then, I was going to say. Go from that to that. But if you're a, if you're a dressmaker, you'll be thinking, oh, I don't need these. They'll never cut through anything that thick. You're about to do it to chiffon now, are you? Exactly. So same blade, same scissors. And again, round the shoulder, round the arm. And you get that sort of, that you get a really, real smooth cut that on there. That is brilliant, isn't it? So what do you get? Because the box seems to have lots and lots of bits in it and everything like that. What do you actually get when you buy this? Remember, it's 159.99, three split payments of 53.33. This so, is what you get. So what box. you're getting in the box here is your um, instruction manual, uh -huh. um, your charging kit. So for the wireless charger, you've got a charging kit here. Sets that on there. The battery goes in there. Um, and then also with that, obviously you get the main yeah. scissor. You get two sets of blades, set A and set B. So I've just used set A there to go from thick to thin, but B is actually a specific blade for lightweight fabric as well. But you used you used that one all right on lightweight fabric anyway, so you can sort of yeah, exactly. Jump um, between the two. Again, it's like a needle on a sewing machine. With a quality pair of scissors, you can go from light to heavy without having to worry. Do the blades ever need sharpening? Um, no, no, they will last a long time. Just avoid pins. Of course. Um, and then if you want to get spare blades, contact us at Franklin's. and we. Can That's the third out, one. Okay, then. <laughs> what else is in the box? Um, um, what else is in the box? So... So you can use them wirelessly, but you can also wire them in. So if um, we, rather than relying on the battery, you can actually directly wire them. So if I take my pair here, I just but pop out have the you not got two? Do you get two batteries? Because is, is the one actually attached already to the unit there? No. So this. So oh, okay. You get the battery, um, and then you get this, which has the cord connector on the back there. Oh, okay. So I can just plug that in here. So while you're charging up your battery one, you can carry on working it plugged in. That's it, exactly. Um, and then the cable just literally screws on here. In okay. here, I should be plugged in oh, down right? here. There we go. Oh, This is going to be fun, sorting these boxes out afterwards, isn't it? Oh, it's a screw-on <laughs> one, that's good. That's it, that screws on there. So it's nice and solid in there. And then you're away. Um, again, sort of like soft leather here. Yeah, normally our Probably boss like Neil that. will gets a cutting mat and then he gets wires from people's computers. He gets all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, go on then, what's this then? So even paper craft. So I've got a thick set of, um, a piece of cardboard here. Yeah. Corrugated cardboard. And it will just go straight through there like that. Absolutely no problem. Even again. Could it go through like balsa wood, like a very, very fine, like crafting? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, I'm um, talking very f fine balsa wood. Yeah. I don't mean like a great big chunk of wood like this, you know? Yeah, th things very fine. That, that crafting sort of popsicle sort of thickness. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it can go through that, no problem at all. 
Um, just any any, any fabric. Where have you will, got that from? It just loves. Oh, no. It's brilliant, isn't it? And also, if you if you've pinned your um, pattern piece on, you could literally just like saying follow the curves of the um, under the arm and all around the armhole and the top of a sleeve head and things like that. It's exactly. really really easy to get around without getting any because it doesn't seem to do any. Normally with little blades, you get lots of jagged, but it's actually quite smooth, isn't it? No, is it? And and on the, this this fine fabric, that's a real bad culprit for that. But it's as called you can see, it's shift. <laughs> Organza. Right? Oh, okay. uh, well done. So you can <laughs> go around absolutely no problem. Brilliant. Okay, so it's 159. Oh, I'm getting shot then. 159.99 mm -hmm. at 53.33. Right, I've got to quickly now, we've only got a few minutes left, so I've quickly just got to recap all four um, machines that we've shown you. Start on with the blind hammer. So it's £579, you're saving over £66 because you're getting the light and four reels of thread. We know there was a problem earlier with the checking out. You can now check out, it's on split pay, 193 three times. It'll be paid for by Christmas. Brilliant demonstration by George earlier. Uh, go back to YouTube later and watch it all again if you've got any, uh, uh, any questions or anything. Right, how many have I got? Oh, can we not tell? Okay, and how many people in baskets? Okay, uh, there are nine left that haven't been checked out and we think there's 30. There's definitely 22, but we think there's 30 people got it in their basket. So please be careful on that. You can now check out on the web. Then we went to the steam iron, the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant steam iron. There it is. £299, you're getting £50 off today. You get the trolley, you get the water uh, filler, you get everything with that as well. £299 in another really, really good demonstration, Gary. £99.66 on split pay three times. That's it, paid for by Christmas. Then we went on to Gary's straight stitch only machine. Graphics are having trouble keeping up with me. There you go. £1,495. Um, it's new to Sewing Street, but as Gary says, it's been around like him a long time now. Been around the block a few <laughs> times. £1,495. You get the lovely big extension table with it and all those goodies that Gary's put together with it. We haven't put how much they're all worth on the, um, on the graphics there. £299, five times. That will be yours. Then we went to the scissors. Uh, the scissors, which you've seen before, Neil doing. That's why we just had a quick demo with George on those. £159.99. You can have split pay, 53.33 over three different months there. Right. All of it comes straight from Franklin's. Uh, the minute you pay for your, if you're doing the split pay, the minute you pay your first one, and it, they all have warranty. Do they have warranty as well? Uh, yeah, this comes with a year guarantee. Year guarantee, well. year guarantee. Okay, let's look at tomorrow's menu. Tweed bag with Catherine Wright at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Fabulous Fabrics, 10 o'clock a bow clutch bag with Catherine Wright, and bag, oh, it's not bags, bag hardware. Oh, it's a bag making event, no one told me. <laughs> right, okay, and then, but then we're not doing a bag in, knit, in Yarn Lane, look, topsy-turvy knitted dolls with Catherine Wright, she's going to be busy tomorrow. Right, all I have to do now is say thank you to Gary. Thank you. And thank you to George. It's thank been absolutely brilliant. Uh, please come back and see us soon. I know you're very busy with all your stuff. Um, um, we're going to go now. Make sure you check out your baskets. Uh, well done if you've got any of these machines, especially that amazing blind hammer. It was fantastic. And I'm, I'm, uh, thank you for joining for our professional two hours because the rest of the time we're just amateurs, aren't we? I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.